Hey, what's up, guys? We are back again to speedrun Arena 20 in Clash Royale. We are sitting at 7,500 trophies, and we're going to be making our way up to 8,000 trophies and enter into Clash Fest Arena 21 and uh, hopefully pop off along the way. So our strategy today is going to be a log bait deck. The reason that we play this is because a lot of bad players will not necessarily be able to deal with the immense amount of pressure that you put on with the deck. For instance, if you are playing super aggressive with Goblin Barrels and Skeleton Barrels, they're not going to be there to be able to identify, oh, I am going to have to go and drop my arrows on the Skeleton Barrel and then save a Fire Spirit plus like another card for the Goblin Barrel and then drop another spell on the Firecracker. They're just going to like flail their stuff and fail and mess up along the way if you are allocating your Elixir correctly. You can run this with Dark Goblin. You can run this with Firecracker. Um, you can also go in for a Valkyrie instead of the Knight. You can run Ice Spirit, Electric Spirit, or Fire Spirit instead of the Ice Spirit. And then you can also play either Tesla or Inferno Tower instead of Bond Tower. I would prefer Bond Tower or Inferno Tower. Tesla isn't as good because Tesla is going to be harder to pull everything with. And also, it just doesn't have as much health. So it's going to be a little bit worse than a Bomb Tower that's a bit more robust. So the first deck that we're going to be showing today is going to be the Evo Knight version. Uh, I do like that. Also, um, you could play Evo Knight. You could play Evo Valkyrie. Uh, Evo Valkyrie gets a buff, but not right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, typically the three Evos that I would play is Evo Firecracker instead of the Dark Goblin, Evo Skeletons, or Evo Knight. Those are going to be the best ones. Let's get into the business and see if we can uh, hopefully win a lot of games today. Ideally, we can push all the way up there. Uh, ladder is not necessarily easy if you guys are playing against someone with a level advantage. Like you guys can see right now, he's dropping a level 14 minions. Not all of our cards are level 14. We have a couple cards that are underleveled, like our Skeleton Barrel and then uh, our Ice Spirit and then also our Snowball. Generally, when you have cards that give a slow effect or you can get value from like a Tornado or a Snowball or an Ice Spirit, those cards, no matter what level they're at, they will still give you value because the Snowball will still be able to push units back. A really strong card on defense from that perspective. So look at it from that uh, way when you're deciding whether you want to upgrade cards or not. Uh, always try to upgrade your evolution as fast as you possibly can to the highest possible level. That's how you're going to get the maximum value because that's the card that you're going to be cycling the most. And also evolutions just win you the games. They win you a lot more. So uh, that's generally going to be a win condition, a defensive card, and then pretty much everything at once. Let's get after it and hopefully, uh, you know, get a really good stream here. Also, if you guys haven't already, check out the uh, se session where we pushed up to Arena 20 um, through Arena 19, and we sped run that. So if you guys want to see that, that will be in the pinned comment. Definitely check that out if you haven't already. Let's get after it, and let's keep going. We're going to go for a Snowball, and we're also going to go for Skeletons as well. And yeah, I mean, this is going to be one of those games that I'm pretty happy with the start. We might not lose the first game of this stream, <laughs> which would make me very, very happy. We're going to Ice Spirit here, and it's going to not die immediately to the Fire Spirit, so it will take up one Archer hit, which is a lot of damage. And we're going to Skeleton Barrel on the right, actually. No, 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 we're to Skeleton Barrel on the left. Apparently, what I like to do is I like baiting out units if they've got a high elixir cost card, like a Wizard with the Skeleton Barrel, and then I like dropping bait cards on the other side. But since we didn't think he would do that, since we haven't really seen anything like that, we're just going to go drop our Skeleton Barrel left, accumulate our damage there, and vibe that way. So Royal Giant is the hardest card for you to counter with this deck, because... Looking at our deck, we do not have many high damage cards that can be capable of killing an RG. So you'll have to go for Ice Spirits and Snowballs sometimes if they dro drop a lot of stuff together. Um, just something to keep in mind. Like You can't really rely on your Bomb Tower. Uh, if you have Inferno Tower, it's an entirely different story. But Bomb Tower, you got to have to level it up a little bit. I was playing this earlier, and I was having a level 10 Bomb Tower into level 15 Royal Giants, and I was losing. So I think that the maximum differential that you can have is like a three level disadvantage from your opponent when they have a level 15 win condition that your cards can't counter that's going to be a problem if they have a level 15 hog rider and you have a level 10 bomb tower it still works but if you have a level 10 bomb tower versus a level 15 royal giant that you don't have enough damage per second to kill you're instantly dead so even though i was throwing like dark goblins knights and bomb towers on top of the level 15 rg i could not kill it so keep that in mind if you are trying to push up the leaderboard or trying to push up arenas it's really, really tough to do if you have a huge level disadvantage. You should jump into classic challenges or grand challenges and practice the deck then, and then you will be able to climb up a lot faster. That's the strategy. Um, if uh, if you have a level four, four or five card uh, card level disadvantage, then you have to jump into grand challenges or classic challenges. If it's only a few levels like what we have right now, I think it is playable, um, and you'll get better along the way as you play. I'm gonna go Ice Spirit here. We're gonna try to go opposite lane of our opponent. 
This isn't necessarily the best, but it is something that we can work with. I'm going to go for skeletons and pull that really far away. I think that our gameplay has been really good right now in this game. We're going to go in for a knight off to the side, and then we'll try to maybe snipe that, or we can just go skeleton barrel. So as I've said previously in these type of streams, I try to complete these within two hours because as we hit the three or four hour mark, my brain power definitely flies a little bit down, and <laughs> it will uh, be way harder for us to climb up um, if we are making misplays. You generally on ladder want to be playing at your full capacity since your opponent's card levels will be at full capacity, right? So you got to have something working for you at the max. All right, we're going to go Evo Knight here. It will be the tank for the Goblin Barrel. Hopefully we can get value. If not, then we can go for a Skeleton Barrel as well. And then we're going to use the Dark Goblin as well. And the Evo Knight's going to be tanking for a while. So we might just win the game since we baited out as a log. I think we massively outplayed him and we deserve this win. So we'll be jumping on the next one. Very cool. So as you can see, the Dark Goblin version of this deck works fairly well. I think it is nice to have the Evo Knight since the Evo Knight stays alive for much longer. So it allows you to defend against cards that you typically wouldn't be able to stop. However, I think if you're trying to progress through these arenas a bit faster and more reliably, the Firecracker is probably better. Just because the Firecracker stays alive really, really long. It's a win condition that can lock onto the tower from across the river. Just, it's nice. Really, really cool. We broke the first game loss, sir. Yeah, dude, I appreciate you. I appreciate everyone, you know, vibing with me and being so, so nice and wholesome. Chat has been really cool. All right. Do you curse off stream? Sometimes, but not often. I've been actually trying to curse less in life because it seems unnecessarily rude. GG, dude. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Hey, Jake. Good to be back watching the stream. I'm glad to have you back, Max. I love you, brother. I love you so much. It's cool to see people like you in the community. It's really dope to see people uh, supporting me for as long as you have been. So thank you, man. All right. Let's keep taking a look at some of the other stuff. I I'm going to be multitasking as we play this game a little bit. I forgot to do something. Boom. All right, we're good. We're good. All right, so you never want to be cycling an Ice Spirit into an overleveled tower because the Ice Spirit just dies. I prefer to drop it on defense here, and then we can go for a Knight as well. We do have uh, our opponent running arrows. It's important for us to take advantage of the arrows out of cycle. So we're going to try to go in for a Skeleton Barrel here with the three Skeletons that we have when our opponent has a bad card cycle. I don't want to dump a Goblin Barrel in here because we don't know if he's going to have Zap or something. There's a high likelihood. Okay, he's going to miss a lot, so that's that's really good. We can go in for an Ice Spirit in conjunction with the Dark Goblin, and I think that he loses the Executioner. I wonder if a one-level advantage will completely kill the Ice Spirit in one shot. No, it doesn't. That's really, really good for us. And the Dark Goblin does do enough, so the Executioner doesn't get that hit. Remember, he's going to have arrows in his deck with Executioner, so those are the cards that I have to be wary of. I can go for a Goblin Barrel right now. It's going to do a lot of damage, but also the P.E.K.K.A. Counter Push is moderately annoying. I'm going to try to go in for Skeletons here and then Dark Goblin on the bats first and then we can Ice Spirit afterward to go and pull back to P.E.K.K.A. Dropping your units up top is the way to ensure successful defenses. If you drop an Ice Spirit here and you cut it closer to the Dark Goblin, Dark Goblin just dies. But if you notice, I'm always dropping things up high and then I have my unit, ranged unit in the middle. So the ranged unit is able to kill all their stuff while the other card just continuously pulls their card backward. So even if it's by a little margin and it's not by much, you want to be doing that as much as you possibly can because that... That is how you win most of your games uh, on defense. And when you win the game on defense and you get positive elixir trades against your opponent, you'll dismantle them on offense because they're probably not going to be good enough to defend your spam. I mean, we're playing in, uh, you know, uh, Arena 20. So a lot of these players have been playing for a bit, but they still don't have optimal strategies. Like this guy right now, despite his cards having like a two level advantage against my Dark Goblin, it doesn't matter that much to me because I know that if I just spam Knights, I'll be all right. You want to spam your win condition, um, aka your evolution, as much as you possibly can. And it's actually ridiculous how much value you'll get. That's uh, that's Clash Royale right now, just spamming evolutions. And if you get an evolution on the field and your opponent doesn't get an evolution on the field, you're essentially getting like a level 16 or level 17 card, in my opinion. That's the, the, the value uh, translation for a lot of you guys that aren't aware of how broken evolutions are. Yeah, you want to be spamming your level 17 card as often as you possibly can. Yeah, that's going to hit my tower, but it doesn't matter. And then we can go in for Skeletons here so the P.E.K.K.A. doesn't hurt me. And then if the Executioner locks on my tower, it doesn't matter that much. You just didn't want the P.E.K.K.A. to munch on me for too long. And then we can go for another Skeleton Barrel, and then we can go for Goblin Barrel and just win this game. So, solid stuff. As you guys can see, this, this version of the deck works really, really well. I personally uh, do not like this version as much as the other one, so it's only going to get better from here, boys and girls and everyone else watching. But yeah, if you guys enjoy this type of content where I climb up the arenas, 
definitely drop a like because if you like the video, it supports me for free. And also on top of that, if you guys like the series, then I'll be doing more of it if it's liked more often. And maybe if you don't like log bait, I'll be doing this with a different deck in the future and I'll recreate this type of series, but with an entirely different deck and push all the way up from zero to the highest arena. So I might do that uh, a couple times with different decks if you guys like this content and like the video. Um, also, just want to say thanks to everyone that's supporting me and just watching. You guys are awesome and I wouldn't be able to do what I do without you guys. So very, very lucky to have such a supportive community. All right, let's take a look at some of the donos that we got. Um, Augie Tron, $5 dono says, Could you give me some advice for Evil Bomber, Log, E-Wiz, Wallbreakers, Firecracker, Skarmy, Little Prince, Mini P.E.K.K.A. Uh, Electro Wizard is a pretty bad card. I wouldn't run it very often, but you are running P.E.K.K.A., so it could make sense. It's just not necessarily usually the best option. All right, we're going to go for Knight here. Because we want the Goblins to lock onto that Knight instead of hitting our tower, ideally. Really unfortunate position where we have nothing to go encounter this Firecracker. It's going to hit my tower twice. It's fine. Oh, it only hit once. Very lucky. Very, 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 very lucky on our end. Wait, can we activate King Tower here? No, I don't think so. Um, can we get back to anything to counter this dark, uh, this stuff? No, I don't think so. I think we just take Yell. Like, that was a great snow. Uh, that was a really good poison from our opponent. But also, at the same time, I think he just spammed everything at the river. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and say it was calculated, but that poison... Ah, it killed my Dark Goblin so fast, actually. Yeah, I mean, hey, it happens, I guess. Uh, let's go Skeleton Barrel, bait out our opponent's spell, and then go for a Goblin Barrel with an Evolved Knight. That's the strat that we're going to be able to take the tower with, hopefully. If he goes Firecracker, then I'm a little bit tilted. Okay, he went Firecracker, I'm, I'm slightly tilted. Wait, that's fine. We're tilting the odds of uh, offense in our favor, maybe. Who knows? All right. Does he not have good answers to this? No, he's got log. He's had log. Hmm. The firecracker die? Oh, please tell me the firecracker doesn't kill my dark goblin. All right, thank you. Thank you for lying to me, Clash Royale. I appreciate that. All right, so we'll go skeleton barrel. We'll go ice spirit. We'll go dark goblin at the river. This might take tower, but there's also a lot of elixir. It does take tower, I'm pretty sure. The dark goblin takes tower. All right, that's really, really lucky for us. But there's a level 15 P.E.K.K.A. Pikachu, I choose you, says our opponent. Not necessarily a card that we want to see, not gonna lie. Alright, can we kill Pikachu? Is it even possible? I don't know. I mean, he's gonna battle him, too. Pikachu is uh, kind of not dying. Snowball did not kill that. Uh, I'm dead. <laughs> there's, nothing, there's nothing I can do, I don't think. Because he should just battle ram me now. Wait, that was a really bad uh, positioning of the... Oh, wait. How did that... All right. This is kind of troubling. We have to spend a lot of Elixir right now because we committed to it a little bit, but it didn't work. All right. How did I defend that? I don't know. I have no clue. All right. He should probably just spam a bandit in the middle or something. He's going to log. This is a really bad log. That was a bad night, too. We didn't kill. He needs to stop spamming that there, though. Out of all the places to drop it, it's not good. Does he know that he can poison? I guess he's just gonna log me. Oh, that hurts. That's GG. No way I stopped that. Wait, there's no way he throws those, right? Pretty much impossible. Yeah, it's not, it's not possible for him to lose this. He's gonna poison. Dude, he's dropping in the wrong spot every time. <laughs> no, <laughs> tragic. All right, so you can't win every game you play. Also, GG, give him the uh, peace out and 20 win amount. Um. That was unfortunate. I took a little bit too much damage from goblins because the goblin drill, um, spawning a whole bunch of goblins when he had that amount of stuff coming at me was pretty much impossible. Audio sounds terrible. I'm sorry about that. Sometimes that happens. Um, I can't fix the audio while I'm playing the game. If I'm playing the game, you have to understand that you know technical issues, uh, they are going to come second for me winning. I'm going to try my hardest to win the game, 
because people get really triggered when I uh, like you know when when I when I don't look at the game and don't try. So and also for my my uh, mental, I want to win most of these games. Like I want to try my hardest. Sound is gone. Yeah, I fixed it. I mean, I turned the sound off. Um, game is mute. It, was it better by the end? Is the was the game? I guess I can turn the. It was fixed. Okay, I'm sorry about that, guys. Yeah. I wish uh, I wish it wasn't like that. Oh my gosh, Mini Pekka at the river. Yeah, Mini Pekka I'm kind of traumatized by because it does kill my knight really quickly. And if you guys know anything about what I like to do in this type of deck, um, I really, 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 really like when my knight doesn't die. It is an extreme benefit for us to keep the knight alive. We're going to activate King Tower here and pull the Valkyrie. Uh, we're fine with this placement. means that the Bomb Tower kills the Valk. The, the Valk does die and then the Firecracker dies too. I'm going to go Skeleton Barrel, play aggressive here. Ideally, we want to go opposite side of people that have this amount of splash damage because we're going to drop something absurd and unhinged right now. Probably like a Mega Knight. Oh, wait. Seriously? Okay. Well, I was hoping he'd drop something unhinged. And then uh, he would just, you know, go into us. Uh, this is looking really bad for me. If you guys are unaware why how I play this, I'm always, always, always going to go and drop my unit first. And the reason why you drop your unit before dropping a Snowball because the snowball doesn't stay on the map forever. The skeletons, they accumulate damage over time. So the earlier you drop them on defense, the better. That's why you drop your skeletons before you drop your ice spear or before you drop anything else. Oh my gosh, I messed that up. That's annoying. Well, I think the Dark Elm would have killed it anyway, to be honest. Uh, that's Copium, but that is also accurate. Oh, that was a misplay on my end. What is he? Okay. Uh, that was lucky and it worked out for me. We take those. I'm gonna Hog Rider me probably. I actually have to do this. It's so scuffed. <laughs> All right, because we have fast reflexes, we actually do stop the Valkyrie there, and that was a terrible firecracker. Uh, we can go skeletons. We can go dark goblin, kill his dark goblin. Even though his is level fourteen and real mean, we're fine. Our dark goblin probably takes tower. I don't think he's fast enough to defend that. He's gonna like drop a mini pack of, like two seconds later. Oh, he zaps it. Interesting. Wait, what am I doing? Why am I dropping an ice spear? I'm so stupid. Why is he dropping a firecracker in the river? What? Oh, because it doesn't die. I forgot his car. His firecracker is freaking immortal. This firecracker is immortal. That, that's why. That's why. That's why he dropped it. Obviously, if you have an immortal firecracker, why would you not drop it? The strategies. Immortal firecracker for the win, man. Thanks. I should have let that happen. My bad. It's still very winnable. Especially if we get damage to the goblin barrel right now, like we are. Okay, we're, we're gonna win this. We're gonna win this. It'd be light work, please. Skeleton surround, we're clean with it. We can go for a goblin barrel here, and then we can go knight. Dropping the knight right as soon as the goblin barrel is about to hit. Better. Knight gets one hit on the tower. Nope, doesn't. Ice spirit pulls back. Skeleton barrel here because he can't do anything. I guess he can hog rider, but he's probably so overwhelmed by what's going on in the game that he's not gonna hog rider me. Mini pack is actually obnoxious. He does hog rider. Okay, well, we're still in a really good spot. I'm going to snowball here, but we're going to wait a split second. We're not going to drop it too soon. We want to be able to snowball back. All the goblins take no damage. Evo Knight's dead. Nothing that's going to happen there. The bats just kill it. This might be horrible on my end. I don't... Oh, no, no. He has no elixir. He's griefing. Wait, he's zapped? Maybe we're griefing. Hope not. Nah, no, no, no. We're not griefing. We're not griefing. All right, so we can go for a goblin barrel again, but we want to go skeleton barrel with it. He's going to go bats. My man is not dropping the cards he should be. There's the bats. <laughs> what the? Yo, stop it. I'm down, my guy. Alright, we're fine. If you hog rider with that, I think we probably lose, honestly. Oh no. Ugh. Not a good loss. My bad, guys. Ugh. All right.
We'll switch to the better version of the deck, I think. Um, like, I actually do want to win one more game with that, that deck because I think the deck is pretty good, but... Man, I messed that up. That should have been a W. That should have been a W. Time to lock in? Yeah, that was an unfortunate one. I feel like um, that was such a close W, such a close game, but it didn't happen. Wizard is pretty annoying, but it's fine. We should be able to kill the wizard with a knight and then not spending extra elixir. We're going to snowball here on the skeleton army. I didn't have to do that earlier, but he forced me to. We're going to go goblin barrel and dark goblin at the river. Generally, I don't do this, but I think we're up a lot of elixir because he just dropped a wizard, which is not smart. He's down so much, so he's just forced to eat it. We can go for skeletons, pull back the Valkyrie, and then we can go for a knight afterward. And the reason why we're playing um, so aggressive is because I counted his elixir and you didn't have anything. Um, I'm trying really hard in this game after losing the last one, guys. Uh, I'm not, not losing this one. We're going to Ice Spirit. All the bats jump together, so they should all die, or most of them do. And the Skeleton Bro connects. And then he Wizards, but the Wizard doesn't kill the Skeletons in time. Some of the, the, them lock the tower. We could Snowball on top of the Wizard, but we know he's got Skeleton Army in his deck, so it's not that smart for us to do it. It's better for us to go Dark Goblin and Skeletons around on the Wizard if we can hit this timing correctly. That is so sick. We perfectly hit it. Nice. We know he's going to Skeleton Army, so we're going to get ready with our Snowball. We could actually pre-snowball and flex on him. Really? Okay. I mean, he had skeleton armor. He just decided not to drop it. I guess he just left the game. Huh. Um. That's a win. The guy didn't even want to get predicted. Uh, he had skeleton army and refused to drop it and just left the game. That makes sense. We tried really hard on that one because I do not like losing when uh when I when I feel like I deserve to win the game. <laughs> So sorry to that guy. Anyway, we're going to go back to the Firecracker deck and we'll see what we can do. We'll be trying very hard in the rest of these games as well just to push up as fast as we can. I do like running um, Evo Firecracker because it stays alive longer and it's another win condition. Good mental reset? Yeah, yeah. It's important. It's important to try your hardest whenever you lose games like that. Usually for most people, it's better to take breaks if you're losing. Uh, but for me, because I've played this game a lot, I can generally guarantee that I'll be fine. We're going to go Skeletons. I don't know if they full counter. So yeah, even level 13 skeletons into a level 13, uh, into level 14 wall breakers counter. So if you guys didn't know, you can fully counter uh, an entire level wall breakers higher than you with skeletons in that placement. That is not an interaction I knew. I knew that even level you could do that, but I didn't know it under leveled. All right, we're going to do this. We could snowball if we wanted. I don't want to. Really, really good position for us to be in. We can Firecracker here on top of the Inferno Dragon and everything else. Then we can go Skeletons. And then we can Ice Spirit afterward. And then we can Knight if we need to. I'm going to Snowball here. I don't need to do anything. This is all dead. Fine. I don't like if the Firecracker wanders into the left, but it's fine. We can maybe force out extra Elixir here and then go in for a Knight plus Goblin Bear on the right. The strategy for us with this type of deck is almost always try to uh, get your opponent in bad card cycles, but... This bomb tower is not necessarily what we want to do. We'd rather go for like a knight skeletons plus ice spirit. Uh, it advances our card cycle and it also allows us to do a lot more. Why don't you upgrade your cards? Oh yeah, it's nice to, for me to answer that once or twice. Generally, the reason why I don't upgrade cards is this is a challenge. This is showing you guys um, how to progress through arenas with under leveled cards. If you guys don't have level 15 cards, you can still hit the highest arena and I will not be a level 15 player. I'll probably be level 13 or 14 and I'll reach 9,000 trophies. So I'm showing you guys the progress and how to do that. And uh, yeah, I just want to make sure like everyone can accomplish um, accomplish that if they want to. Kind of a cool thing. Right, I messed this up, but fine. Uh, we can go skeletons. Oh, wow. I really messed that up, didn't I? Yeah, this I was more so focused on the explanation for you guys than I was on the gameplay. But um. Yeah, if you're under leveled, you can still reach the highest arena, and I thought that, that would be a pretty cool thing to show, guy. Because like, not everyone wants to spend a lot of money on this game and like level their stuff up and like win by leveling things up. You can do that, but you still have to have some certain skill. And uh, you know, this deck can be played at the highest arena, so kind of what we're we're showing. I made this deck and I adapted a lot of things, and I was like, yeah, this is probably a great deck for a lot of people to play. They want to get better at the game. All right, did we on this? Yeah, we did. Very cool. We'll eat it. Oh, this is traumatizing. I think I lose. Oh, no, I can kill the bats with the snowball. Wow, I did not know. I don't know where. 
Now I lose though. I can't stop this. I didn't get enough. Um, I didn't get it fast enough. Jeez, that's frustrating. Um, like, I I knew that as soon as I dropped the bomb tower, it's probably gonna take an L because I couldn't cycle back to it fast enough for his double win conditions. But it happens. Sometimes we make misplays. That was definitely a misplay. Um, I should have won that game a hundred percent. I uh, and I shouldn't have eaten all that damage from the Mega Knight. When I was explaining something to you guys, I dropped stuff that I shouldn't have. But it is what it is. Um, I dropped an Evo Firecracker instead of dropping a uh, Ice Spirit and then activating King Tower with the Firecracker against the Mega Knight. I wasn't thinking very clearly. All right, all right. Just win next game. I know, I know. Why didn't you just win, dude? I obviously I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking, my guy. Totally fine though. Also, how's everyone been? What have you guys been up to? Let me know in the chat arena what life has been like and how you guys have been. I, uh, I've had some pretty interesting days recently. I feel like, oh man, I found, uh, so one of the sushi places I went to, it had 50% off sushi in the last couple minutes because they were just trying to get rid of sushi and that made me really happy. Um, I started working out a lot more and one thing that I noticed with pistol squats, I, I understand like I'm not old or anything, but like I've noticed the difference in getting up, like actually just like moving, uh, how do I explain it? Like getting up out of bed like it is so easy like i can do it on like one leg or whatever <laughs> it's pretty fun how uh mobility increases your fun in life in general like i it's easy for me to not be tired as often and uh just wanting to like i don't know mess around a bit more in life it's it's kind of funny how everything turns into uh more of a meme when you can do a lot of mobility exercises and you don't really notice how tight you were until um, until you start getting a bit more loose and stretching. You're like, wait, what? I was this tight before? It feels like you have Goku's training weights on. And then when you take them off, you're like, wait, what is life? So that has been one thing that's been happening for me is realizing how um, how unhealthy I was the past like couple years. Because I just wasn't focusing on my, my physical health. It's really important to do that. I assume only as... Like, as I get older, I feel like that's going to be such an important thing. It's literally caring about the way that uh, I take care of myself. Be massively impactful, I guess. All right, all right. So, the skeleton's here. Oh, man, I messed that up. No! Should have been a kick to activation. And then I should have uh, dropped Bomb Tower on top of the Wall Breakers. I still think I win, but... Not looking great. Not looking great. All right, we'll go for a knight here. And then we should be able to counter the prince pretty effectively with like an ice spirit if we want. Very cool. And then goblin girl on the tower. This will be a win. That wasn't necessarily my best game, but we take these. The good thing about our deck is the fact that like if he doesn't have... Um... Oh my gosh, this bandit is hurting me. Yeah, he should lose this galley, I think. If not... Then we can just use our firecracker on defense and we're totally fine with an ice spirit. We're just gonna pull everything. Go he's after. Make sure the bandit goes backward. I think the firecracker does kill it. Yep. The thing about this deck is it does like lose a lot of cards to arrows, but they have to hit everything at once, right? If they're hitting the arrows on top of a skeleton barrel and a goblin barrel at the same time, generally like it's not gonna be timed perfectly that they can deny all damage from everything. Do I need to do any cardio? Yeah, I do tennis, and tennis is my cardio. All right. We're going to knight in the back in the same side as this guy's knight, and we'll see what we can do. Definitely want to be able to break through and uh, finesse him. Go skellies. Goblin barrel here. All right, so if it's going to be hog rider, it's important for us to go bomb tower because that will full counter. And then maybe we can make some moves in a little bit to activate King Tower with a uh, Firecracker. So go for Skeletons on the Firecracker. It's always nice to do that. Uh, the Firecracker does not get another shot, so it's good. We can go for a Firecracker in the back to start speedrunning our evolution. It's always annoying to see someone drop a Princess of the River and you're like, No, I'm not ready. Stop it. All right, all right. We can go for probably a bomb tower here or something else. Yeah, we're going to bomb tower on top of the hog rider. With Skelly's after. 
and then we can go for a night. Should have waited a little bit for the firecracker to walk up, to be honest, but uh, it's okay. I think that the knight does end up killing it. If he played it better, he would have protected it. But um, yeah, the firecracker should have been dropped a little, or the knight should have been dropped later when the firecracker crossed the river ish. We have to ice spirit, otherwise, the knight gets one hit on my tower, and I don't want to eat that. We can go skeleton barrel in front of the firecracker because it demands more of a uh, presence from the opponent. Most of the time, I like that a little bit more than a goblin barrel. Yeah, it forces it out of building. We can go Skeletons on the Princess. We also don't want to go same side as him, so... Important for us to force out Elixir on that side. We'll go Evil Firecracker directly on top of those minions. It'll kill them and hit the tower for a lot of damage. Unfortunately, this guy just does not really care, and he's just going all in. Not really all in, all in, but... Yeah, one other thing that I've talked about um, is you don't want to stack stuns. So, when you're going for an Ice Spirit and also a Snowball, you want to drop them not at the same time. Because the slow of the snowball also is like not going to overlap with the slow of the ice spirit. So you want to make sure that they're done at different points. Something to keep in mind. All right, we'll go Skelly's here. He's going to go for a firecracker as well, so that's fine. Man. How about you don't do this? <laughs> we had a snowball to reset his stuff, which is pretty cool. Go for another firecracker. We go skeleton barrel. He's going to use the log so we can spam everything that we have in the right and try to get some nice damage. It's obvious that this is going to be bad for him because he uh, does not have log in cycles. So it would be really, really good for us, actually. I think that hits his firecracker and his tower. How much damage do I get before he logs and kills it? it takes so much. I right, want a bomb tower on top of that. It will be able to kill the princess and also stop a hog rider for a bit. I'll probably hog rider very, very soon. Yep, as expected. Directly into the bomb tower and also the knight and skellies. Does knight not get a hit? So we played a little bit better than him there. We're going to force a Tesla. There's a nice trade for us. He'll probably log as well. That is so annoying. That how I predicted that with a snowball is pretty good. Oh no, I think I lost. I should die to the tower. All right, let's see if we can play perfect. I don't want to lose this game. If I had Evil Bomber, I would have just won. <laughs> yeah, he goes Princess. Oh, he's spending a lot. Trying to keep his elixir low. We, we don't want the skeletons to, uh, or the ice cream. Ooh. Could have kept that alive a little bit longer. Need to have four elixir here, ideally. I think we win. It'd be hard to say definitively, but I think we do win. Alright, cool. The firecracker did not hit. He used logs. I think he's dead. GG. Cool. I'm glad we won that. I Sometimes I have to focus up. I don't know why I had to sweat so hard there, but yeah. I took so much damage that I didn't want to lose. Um, sometimes that happens. You just take a lot of damage. You're like, oh man, I actually have to try really hard. Hmm. What a W. Thanks, man. I'm glad we got that. All right. Let's win every single game. Come on now. Give me some just wins in the chat. Just give me some just wins in the chat. That's all we need. Lots of just wins. No mediocre, just dominant Ws. That's the strategy here. That actually gets pulled by the tombstone. That sucks. Oh, it doesn't. Huh. Okay, I thought that would. Well, he's got Executioner, so not a good matchup. Worst matchups for our deck are Expo, because we don't have a big spell to kill it, and Graveyard, because we don't have a good Graveyard answer. Those are the two matchups we don't want to play against. If I could run a second evolution in this deck, I would probably pick Evo Knight or Evo Skellies. Depending on what... Yeah, probably this Evo Skellies, because they're so unfair. Evo Knight is really good, though. But, like, coupled with Evil Firecracker, it's nice to have another bait card. Alright, let's spam everything and see if this works. I mean, a lot of times people's mechanics will just fold under the pressure. He's going to have Tombstone. Um, pretty obnoxious, but it is what it is. We go Skelly's here, and we're going to be back to Evil Firecracker. Yo, if you... Um, if I don't get to see your question... Like, you've been uh, complaining about me not seeing your question. Can you please type your question again so I can answer it? 
if you if you really want me to see it. Um, because if you keep spamming, like, you haven't seen my question. Um, there are a thousand people here, so it's really hard for me to read everything while I'm playing at the same time. I do try my hardest to do that, but yeah, man, if you're unappreciative of that, if you don't understand that, then, I mean, I, I can't do anything about that, man. Type your question. Maybe I'll be able to see it. Um, if you're using the Firecracker version, I think it's better to use NATO instead of Snowball. Uh, I disagree. NATO is decent. It's really, 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 really good. But the synergy that you have with Snowball to knock things back against like Balloon decks, it costs way less. And against Hog Rider decks, it's way less. Like you can go Snowball, Skeletons, and be fine in a lot of situations. I kind of disagree with that. I mean, Tornado is not a bad card, but... I don't think that Tornado is the catch-all be-all. It's not like something that you cycle on towers, right? You might say, oh, it's a one elixir difference, but I mean, think about it from this perspective. One elixir difference makes such a big difference when you're running like a, uh, how do we say, a different type of deck. Like if you're running goblins or skeletons, like it makes a pretty big difference in cycle. Or if you're running Valkyrie instead of Knight, it makes a pretty big difference. Otherwise, everyone would run Valkyrie because they want splash damage, but not everyone wants to run Valkyrie because sometimes they just want a cheaper tank so they can spam more stuff. So... The one elixir difference does make a pretty big change. It's, uh, it's, it's, it is a drastic difference, actually. For instance, everyone would love to run Goblin Giant over regular Giant if uh, the one elixir didn't matter uh, because you get, like, you know, two goblins on the back doing damage. But a lot of people that like Giant Graveyard instead of Goblin Giant Graveyard, right? Because the elixir cost for the, uh, the health that you get is worth more. It's better for Graveyard. That's why you never see Giant Graveyard with Goblin Giant. What's the best deck for Hog Mountain? Uh, this deck. This is the best deck to play uh, for pretty much every arena if you want to like level up things and do it cheaply. I have, a, well, I will have an entire playlist and the playlist will be in the pinned comment and it'll show you how to beat all the lower arenas. So if you're at an arena that's lower than this, you can go through the playlist and see how I beat it with this deck. And uh, yeah, just check out the pinned comment for that and hopefully, you know, you guys enjoy that type of stuff, content. And Like Arena 19 was one of my favorite uh, arenas to beat. It was really, really fun. So if you guys want to check out that in the pinned comment, you'll probably learn something. Um, I, the one thing that I dislike is I hate, 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 hate content creators that say this is the best deck for Arena 19, Arena 18, Arena 17. And you know what? It's a different deck every time. Are you actually expecting viewers to create different decks every single time for a different arena? Like, number one, a lot of these decks work in every single arena all the way up to 9,000 trophies. Number two, if you change decks every time your resources are going to get dwindled down to nothing you will have zero resources you want to be continuously upgrading a deck that works in every arena so you don't waste your resources it's very intuitive it makes a lot of sense but sometimes people just don't get that so yeah if you are asking what's the best deck for a certain arena um the best deck is one of the decks that i showcase um that you want to play um all these decks work really really well it's not like there is an intrinsic best deck um to be honest it's just you want to play a really good deck like this one that I'm showing that can win at lower card levels. And then you want to master it and play it well. And that's it. That's all it is. And there are certain matchups that you can't win. Like if you play against Expo Mini P.E.K.K.A. and they like Mini P.E.K.K.A. on top of your Knight and you have nothing, you just kind of lose. So, I mean, there are certain matchups that you just do not win with this deck. It's unfortunate, but it is a reality. I'm not going to sugarcoat that or lie. How did the skeleton hit the mortar? Wait, what? Yo, dude. Dude, I got saved. I got bailed out. That should have been a lot of extra damage. We take those. Go skeleton barrel. No ball. I got bailed out so hard. That's crazy. All right. Well, Ice Wizard looks like it would have been a good firecracker value, but I bet he's going to go for a terrible mortar here that we can distract with a. Yeah, then we can go for a distraction of the mortar with a knight and then evil firecracker on his butt and hit the, the mortar in the tower. That's what I'm going for. I don't I don't think he knows. Yeah, he doesn't know any better. So this is what exactly what we want. We go for the, the mortar counter with the firecracker, and then it sh shoots his tower. He doesn't know any better, so this is what happens. He doesn't know any better, so we get the better interaction. You feel me? And then we basically desecrate his entire tower with the four elixir card that he gave us as a plenty bag. That's why I like Evo Firecracker, because sometimes you can't break through with goblin barrels. If your opponent has 67 different small spells, it's really, really hard to find damage. So then, personally, I, I prefer to use Evo Firecracker as a mechanism of winning the game. Perfect. Never underestimate the power of Larry. Dude, Larry was such a power. 
Uh, what's a good re recruit stack for Arena 17? Oh man, I don't, I don't want to see any more questions like that. Those questions are so bad. I just gave you an answer on why like Arena 17 or those type of things are just bad. Go type in Sir Tag uh, on YouTube. Find a deck that you like from recruits, and then it will work in every arena. So like, if you say like, what's a good recruit stack? That's a reasonable question. But like, I don't know. I think like specifically for Arena, um, all of my decks work in every arena. Pretty much. I mean, if you can level them up, that's, I guess that's the difficulty. I don't know if you can level everything up. If you can't level it up, then it's not going to work, obviously. Like, if you don't have the ability to level up a, uh, an all legendary deck and you're starting to substitute out legendaries, then the deck's just like not going to work. So it really depends. Like, for instance, if you don't have Little Prince, you can't play like half of those decks. So it really depends. Um, if there's a deck that you want me to improve, then let me know. Um, if there's a deck that, you know, you see from the video and you're like, hey, Jake, I like this deck. Um, I like this recruit stack. Can I play it for Arena 17 or Arena 19? That's like a much better question because then I can help you out and like change the deck. Um, I, I love doing that, by the way. I love helping people out that are trying to find decks that are strong in specific arenas if they have like good questions. But if it's like, hit me up with a question, hit me up with a deck specifically for my arena. And then when you hit Arena 18, you're going to ask me the best for the best recruit stack in Arena 18. That's the type of question that like is actually triggering. <laughs> Uh, Alright, we're a snowball here. Does this deck also work with Evo Knight instead of Firecracker? Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Is Logbait dead? Logbait's not dead at all. Um, How long have you been streaming? Uh, It says I've been streaming for 41 minutes. Alright, alright. How's your day been? It's been pretty good. I just kind of woke up and vibed. Um, is, Do you think Little Prince is substitutable? Uh, it depends on the deck. That's the issue. Like, if you find a deck that you guys like with Little Prince, let me know. And then I'll try to help you out and see if the deck is substitutable. And I, I like doing that. I like helping you guys out with those type of questions. Because, you know, that's, like, not something that, you know, I've answered a billion times. And it's also something that could help. Um, Yeah, because, like, Little Prince, like, it's very situational if you can sub it out in the deck or not. Sometimes it functions as a necessity for defense with, like having a knight and also like a, a ranged unit in the same deck and if it's like that then you can't really sub it out but if it's something where it could be subbed out for like an archer queen that's just like nice to have the versatility then you can sub it out for like a musketeer firecracker dark goblin depending if you have a log bait deck or you know like archer queen typically is probably the best substitution for most decks archer queen works really really well as a substitution if uh if the deck doesn't need a mini tank Evo Magic Archer? Yo, don't bait me with that. I want to see Magic Archer get an Evo. Waking up and vibing first thing in the morning. Best feeling? Yes, sir. Um, Since P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Spam is getting a pretty big buff, could you make some gameplay? Yes, I definitely will. Thank you for letting me know about that, too. I, I honestly haven't been paying attention to the buffs and nerfs. So if P.E.K.K.A. does get a buff, then I will definitely like to play it. We'll see. All right, let's just play a little bit better. I haven't been very focused right now. All right, so we're gonna go for an Ice Spirit with a Goblin Barrel and knock his units back. Hopefully the Magic Archer still gets hit. We can probably just go in for Skeletons here, Firecracker afterward, and then Knight. This is gonna be our best defense available. And we Ice Spirit after the units die and we're always pulling his units backward. Reason why we pull the units backward is because if you don't pull it back, what happens is the opponent's units will go closer to your tower and then it'll become impossible to defend. So don't ever have that happen. All right. Always, always, always drop your range unit in the middle, and then your range, then your supporting cards at the top. All right. So we're gonna go Skellies here. Bomb tower afterward. We'll be able to pull everything. We can go knight up top. Ice spirit, snowball if we want to. No, I'm gonna snowball this way, right? I'm not gonna eat the damage. Not worth. All right, we'll play a little bit better and just win this game. I think that this one's pretty much on lock. His strategy is just simply spam all of his stuff at the river, and it's not really working out for him. So that's good for us to play into. BH. I hate how this Lumberjack... Okay, no, it's going to go towards what we want. We activated King Tower, which is probably worth it, but it should have been done way earlier. We'll go Goblin Barrel so we can get some damage. Oh no, that was awful. 
go Skellies. Let's go Skeleton Barrel. Let's go Ice Spirit. And then get back to a Knight. I messed up really hard. If that Ram Rider gets more than one hit, I'm screwed. Oh my gosh, it didn't. Thank goodness. So lucky. RNG. RNG, my dudes. Alright, we should be able to outcycle. We're already back to Goblin Brill, so I think we win this game. Ice Spirits of the mini pack, or so the uh, thing doesn't hit me for too much. And then we can go in for a Firecracker protection program with a Knight, and he'll probably Firecracker on this and it'll lose. Hopefully this just hits his Lumberjack, which it should. Very cool. Little we'll Snowball. Firecracker might even hit his tower again. That'd be huge. A little bit unlucky. Uh, so the reason why I'm dropping it there is because I'm slightly scared. I'm going to go in for a knight afterward. Pull everything back. Ram Rider counter with this. Snowball after. Knock everything away. We did not throw this game. Need to get a knight down. Anyway. Snowball. Yeah. Very cool. Alright, did not play my best there. That was actually a really bad game on my end, but it doesn't matter. Sometimes you guys care more about like the wins and losses. Rather than like the actual gameplay. Like some of you guys are like, oh, you played so well, or you played terribly when you lose. In reality, sometimes you can play worse and win, and also like play really well and lose. I did not play very well in that game. <laughs> anyway, we jump onto the next one and we keep going. Let's go, let's go. Thank you so much for your videos. You helped me push from 2,000 to 6,000 trophies from your tips and decks. I'm so happy to hear that, my guy. Congratulations. Uh, what would be the best way to win a match that looks like I can't win? Well, you usually, if you can't win, you want to go opposite lane a lot of times. If you're seriously struggling, most of the time, if you're just spamming your stuff into someone's cards that counter you, you're going to lose. Like with this deck, you're able to finesse a lot of bad matchups or typical matchups that you should not be winning because your opponents will make misplays. So you can force misplays out of them. For instance, this matchup actually sucks. Playing against someone that has Goblin Barrel when we don't have Log or Barb Barrel, especially when they have a Royal Giant, right? And his Firecracker is higher level than mine. This is a matchup that I should lose. I'll show you guys how to win it, though. We're going to be spamming the other side so that we don't drop cards that he can counter and build off big pushes off of. So like this Princess, it's going to go in the side that he doesn't have any damage. Also, we're going to try to keep his Elixir low so he's not able to afford everything that he wants. We're going to try to make some good outplays along the way. Right now, he's spamming a lot of Elixir, so we are going to capitalize on this because he's down going to be he's gonna be down a lot after this. He'll be down a lot of Elixir. We can go Skeletons on the Firecracker and also on the, the Princess. And then we can go in for a Knight in front of the Firecracker so we can force Elixir on both sides. Hopefully this Firecracker isn't stupid and goes in front. Okay, it's stupid and goes in front. That's unlucky. If the Firecracker stayed behind, that would have maybe taken out his entire tower. Um, I, I think that would have been really, really good. Alright, we're going to Snowball, but we're dropping a little bit later. We can knock away all the Goblins and not take anything. And notice how he's down a lot of Elixir because he overcommitted with a uh, with an E-Barb. So if you look at that and you're like, oh, this matchup kind of sucks, you'd be right. But... It's not end-all, be-all. Like, you can still win it if you're better than your opponent. Like, even if the matchup is scary or it looks like a situation that you, you should lose, try to not have it in your mental that you're going to lose. Because as soon as you have it in your mental that you're like, oh, man, not this again, then you're kind of in a position where you're bound to make more mistakes or not really try to be creative with your outplays. You're just going to fall into a pattern where you lose the game. Like, you'll fall into the same pattern that you were in before and you just lose. So try not to do that. All right, we'll Firecracker in the back on the same side as the Evolve Firecracker, and we'll see if we can pop off. Man, I'm really focused right now. I'm not necessarily playing my best, but I think I can still win it. We go Knight. I messed that up. No, no, I didn't. Perfect. I really uh, doubted myself for a sec. Skeleton Shroud on the Spark. He's imperative. And then after a Blast, then we can go in for an Ice Spirit. I didn't really hit the mechanics right, but I did do the right gameplay. We'll Bomb Tower twice, and then the RG is going to get blasted with the Barbarians right next to it. Very, very cool. One other thing that I noticed from casual players, and also some of you guys too, is you guys tell me, and also the people that we're playing against, everyone is running like double range cards, like Princess with Firecracker, or Princess Dark Goblin Firecracker, or like Evo Bomber plus Evo Firecracker, and people think that that's a good card combination, but in reality, you don't have a good synergy. You're having cards that are pretty flimsy, so when you're down Elixir, you're just dead. You're going to get stuck with a card cycle like Evo Firecracker, plus Princess, and then also a Royal Giant in your hand. And what do you do when you have, like, Princess, Firecracker, and then Royal Giant, and maybe, like, I don't know, E-Barbs? And you don't have Elixir for the E-Barbs, but you don't have any cheap distractions in your hand? You just instantly lose. 
There's a lot of situations where people will run decks that are just bad um, because they're trying to get a synergy that they feel is really strong. So don't run an entire deck based off of ranged cards because you need to have frontline as well. It's like, you know, playing an all offense build and then having uh, no ability to defend. It's not necessarily the, the safest way of playing the game. And also, uh, good players will expose your weaknesses a lot in, the, in Clash Royale. Bro is answering almost every question. You guys have, uh, y'all be worried. Oh yeah, I try to answer every question I can. Um, all right. Were there other questions that the guy said? Is there anything else that I missed? Hmm. Yo, Bert, you gotta, you gotta chill down, dude. I, I don't want to time you out. You seem like a funny dude. You seem like a memer. Uh, but yeah, I think people are not enjoying that as much. Um. All right, so we can go for a firecracker and maybe go skeletons here and then try to figure this out. If we can get like another firecracker on the field, we are going to be able to kill the Dark Prince with an Ice Spirit. And then we can go for a knight in front. Very cool. We got two firecrackers in the span of like a minute. Isn't that ridiculous? Any fireballs on the firecracker? What's your most anticipated Evo? Uh, Magic Archer Evo. Because Magic Archer sucks right now as a card. It really needs a buff, and I want to see it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What about the Evo P.E.K.K.A.? What about Evo P.E.K.K.A.? For real. That'd be insane. How to counter Firecracker with Rage is your only spell? Uh, you just activate King Tower against it, with, and then use other cards to counter it. Like, right now, um, like, you shouldn't just use Rage to counter the Evo Firecracker. Like, you kind of have to fight um, when the Firecracker's out of cycle. One of the biggest misconceptions is, like, I can spam at any point, but a lot of times, if you spam into the wrong stuff, and your opponent has an advantage, and they have a good card cycle to counter you, you, even if you have a good spot where you have a lot of elixir, you might just lose the game. But don't spam into a firecracker if you can't kill it. And it kills all of your stuff. For instance, if you have like a minion horde and a miner, you can't really go in for that unless you try to make a prediction on the firecracker a lot of times. Oh, he messed up big. I think that might end up being his loss right now. I don't think he can kill this firecracker. And the barbell is going to give his value. Beautiful. We an Ice Spirit again. Ice Spirit might have come down a little bit too late. Hopefully not. Nice. So we're keeping up the pressure because I don't think this guy's mechanics are going to be able to withstand this. He's already made a few misplays. I think he's going to make more. Yeah, he made, he made a big one. He made a big blunder. Oh, yes. And then we can Knight. And then we go Skeleton Barrel again and force a Fireball on this. And then we go Goblin Barrel and he doesn't have Elixir. Ooh, this is kind of okay. Not the best, but it's... Lisa. Look at that. Look at that firecracker. Look at that firecracker. Look at that freaking win condition, my dudes. Broken. So broken. Anyone that thinks this is not a win condition is so wrong. It's actually better than my goblin barrel, for real. For real, for real. gonna go bomb tower up high so then when the battle ram pops it like dies right next to the bomb tower it's so important to like use snowball and ice spirit effectively too because they're broken wait 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 wait, wait. Can we get him he freaks out in fireballs wait how did that hit his tower how did that hit his tower i actually don't know i gotta rewatch that that was that was a weird wacky sorcery wait that was so insane how did that hit his tower? Wait, I'm kind of confused. I'm so confused. Also, Chloe, I'm going to give you mod. Um, you have the privilege of banning people if you ever see anything like super bad. Um, yeah. So you guys can't troll. Co you can't troll her anymore. You can't troll her anymore. <laughs> I feel like Chloe is very, um, I don't know, very trustworthy. OMG. Yeah, no, you have mod now. Don't ban people unless they say anything like really bad, but if you ever see anything like racist or stuff like that, just ban automatically. Uh, you can type like, or it's like a uh, hide user automatically forever, and then they never get, like they'll keep spamming messages, but they won't be, uh, they won't know that they're banned. So it's kind of funny. Anyone that's super mean, like I generally just ban them and then they keep spamming messages for the rest of their lives. They'll never know that they're banned. <laughs> so yeah, there's a couple people that just, uh, that did do that. I think that's so funny that YouTube does that because um, 
like if you knew you were banned, you would probably recreate accounts. But <laughs> they don't know that they're banned. <laughs> so they just keep spamming like mean stuff on their one account and then they just like waste their time. And it's hilarious. I love that YouTube does that. But yeah, that hit. That little that little paw print, the edge of it hit the tower. Oh man. Am I banned says Lord Grimm? No, you're not banned. Oh my gosh. The memes. <laughs> Everyone's wondering. Everyone's wondering. Everyone's trying to appease Chloe now. They're like, please don't ban me, Chloe. I love you. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. She's not going to ban anyone. Don't worry. Uh, I will do good work. Yeah, I know, Chloe. I appreciate you. All right, so this knight is going to do good work, too. It's given a couple kisses to the tower. That's good. We're up uh, quite a bit. Everlast is not everlasting in this game. Okay, I don't think I have to level up my cards anymore until I get... No, I think I can get... I think I can get 9,000 medals or 9,000 trophies with this deck. I, I don't think I have to level anything up. I think I can run level 13 and level 14 cards and uh, hit... Hit level... Um, yeah, I, I, I think I can definitely hit it. Very, very comfortably with these card levels. I'm very happy with them now. I don't need anything more than level 12 bomb tower. Level 12 bomb tower is all I needed. Um... Level 10 Bob Tower did not work against level 15 Evolved Royal Giants, and I was just losing. I was like, why am I losing? And I realized I had nothing to counter it, so. Um, yeah. Level 12 Bomb Tower full counters a level 15 Hog Rider like this so easily. It's not even close. Even if he rages, I'm pretty sure it dies. Yeah, no hits. He dropped 6 Elixir into a 4 Elixir card where his level 15 Hog Rider and level 15 Rage wasn't able to break through a level 12 Bomb Tower. As you can see, that card is so broken on defense, and I would never sub it out. So hopefully you guys are vibing with my cards and understanding why we're using them. Um, I, I really enjoy it. Also, if you guys enjoy these type of free-to-play friendly series, definitely drop a like on the video and subscribe because I put out videos every single day at 3 p.m. Eastern. And if there's not a video, then there's a live stream like today. So definitely consider doing that. Oh, he just missed a fireball. Maybe he leaves the game now. No, nah, he's still playing. Am I banned? No, you're not banned. Nerf Evo Skellies! Yeah, dude, Nerf Evo Skellies for sure. They're broken beyond belief. Right. I feel like Tesla or Bomb Tower? Uh, no. I don't think Tesla is as good as Bomb Tower. I think that you could make a case that... Um, I, I would say that there's a case to be made that Inferno Tower is better than Bomb Tower. But that's also like if you're playing against Balloon Dax or if you're playing against Pekka Dax or something that you kind of sort of maybe need the damage per second to kill their tank. Infer Tower is a little bit better against Giant sometimes, too. Royal Giant is the 1-1 one -one that you do not want to be playing as with Bond Tower. It's, a, it's literally the only card that I don't want to match into. The, the only win condition. And we matched into it a couple times today. Or Expo. Expo is really bad, too. Tesla is better into Expo. Because Tesla can actually kill Expo since it's got a fast attack speed. It's funny that Tesla works with the Expo and works against it. Inferno is really easy to counter. Uh, not necessarily. I'd say Inferno is really, really, really good. Uh, but a lot of noobs will be running zap, so it will function as zap bait. So they'll zap the Inferno Tower randomly, and then you'll laugh at them because you have, like, Firecracker, Skeletons, and all these other things. It's really funny. Yo! Wait, we got so many members! Dang! Yo, DPEQ, thank you for becoming a member. Luke Bren, thank you for becoming a member. And TYS Vinny. I really appreciate all the support there, guys. Love you guys. Thank you for the vibes. I'm a sir now. You guys are awesome. Hell yeah. All right, all right. What's a good substitute for Mother Witch? Uh, usually a ranged card like Little Prince, but that's also, you know, one of the best ranged cards in the game, so. <laughs> I don't know if I can say that. Wait, guys. The strategies. Not actually. I'm just going to go Ice Spirit and Skeletons, but, you know. Yep, King Tower Activation, very cool. I'm happy I hit that because I missed that way too many times today. Not gonna fit. <laughs> Have you guys ever missed something so often that you're like, in, like not confident in your capability to hit something that's super simple? You just look at yourself and you're like, am I bad? Am I gonna hit this? Where are my mechanics going? <laughs> uh, do you like seafood outside of sushi? I love salmon. Salmon is not only very healthy for you, but 
It also tastes delicious. My parents uh, ended up making me salmon with rice and then like lemon and they taught me how to bake it and it's just so delicious. I love salmon. The baked salmon is definitely top tier for me. What's your funniest loss? Like you just laughed after losing, not even mad. I think it was probably uh, an interaction where... Oh, what was it? It might have been like a lightning block. Because I thought I won the game and I like left the room. And then I, I found out that I lost. I, I was so confident when I was younger that I had won a game. I was like, oh, this is easy. Like, I'm done. Like, and then I came back into the chat. And it was, it was, it was a long time, right? Because I've been streaming for my 1 million Grand Challenge cards won. Which I literally have over a million Grand Challenge cards won. That's how often I play the game. Um... I assumed I had won the game, so I just like left to get some water or something, and then I came back and I found out that I lost. That was one of the funniest moments. I was just sitting there, I was like, what the hell? There's no way. There's actually no shot, but I uh, completely miscalibrated the situation and took an L. Alright, we're fine. We got Snowball. It's nice to have Snowball there since you can reset stuff. I have lost in Delusion that one tower is down, lol. Oh, I've had that happen before too, where you think that... Like, you've taken a tower, but you never took it. And then you look at it yourself, and you're like, oh my gosh, what did I do? And you forgot to spell it, and you had it in your brain that you spelled it, and you didn't. One of the worst feelings, man. I feel you 100%. Alright, we just knight here, and then we're fine. We can snowball, and we don't take much. Even though he's going to have, like, a lot of extra stuff here, since we do have the Evolved Firecracker, uh, it's pretty easy. I'm not going to lie, it makes such a big difference to have overleveled um, evolutions. That's the only card that you really, 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 really need to level up. The other support cards are just a vehicle to get to your evolutions that are unfair. So just do that. Just do that. Need updates on your gym progress. Okay, so I did bench press of 45s plus 10 on each side. I did one of those, and then 45s, I've been able to do reps of five, and I did five or six sets of those. So I'm doing really well from bench press um, compared to what I was before. Being able to do multiple reps of 45s is really big progress for me. Maybe not for you guys, but I'm making it happen, you know, and I'm really proud of myself. I think that the best way of like improving in almost anything, especially in, in gym and Clash Royale and, and personal life things too, is... Comparing yourself to yourself before. Because there's always going to be someone bigger than you in the gym. There's always going to be some CRL professional player that, you know, has just been playing this game forever that will always be better than you in Clash Royale. They'll be higher ranked. No matter what, there's going to be that one Splash Yard player that's higher than you on ladder. <laughs> so don't don't ever get demoralized, you know. Realize that that's a, that's a reality and you compare yourself to yourself and you see if you can improve. And that's what I've been trying to do. There's always going to be someone smarter. There's always going to be something, someone better than you at every single activity. You're focusing in a particular area in the gym. Nope, I'm hitting everything. Legs, push, and pull. Yesterday, I did biceps, and uh, I, didn't do, I didn't go as hard as normal. I did a lot of curls. I did some abs and stuff like that. All right, we're going to go for an Evo Firecracker the River. This is pretty cheesy, but this is the way we want to play. I feel like I'm able to do this because I'm probably better than him so if I just get a lot of damage right now I might just be able to carry this and win the game that's at least the strategy that I'm going for I'm hoping that this evil firecracker survives and it does that's so nice see like this is why we like evolutions when we're playing them look at how my firecracker is killing everything is this unfair yes do we enjoy you already know we enjoy we are enjoyers of the evil firecracker value there's no way Big Daddy Joe was ready for that. Big Daddy Joe is like, no more. I'm done. Uh, the Supreme Squad is, um, is, is getting absolutely memed. He's getting turned into the Supreme meme. Alright, we're just going to go in for the snowball here and this is it. I'm doing uh, the belly button on the gym workout. It's insane. Dude, I didn't know you could do belly button workouts. You're wildin'. If you guys really want to take your mobile gaming to the next level, get finger weights. It's it's a it's a nice strategy. <laughs> I wonder if someone would actually do that if if I said it. I hope not. I hope not. So one of you guys will be like, Dirt Tag told me to become a mobile gaming athlete. I'm gonna get finger weights. 
<laughs> go to the gym with finger weights. Dude, that has to be a YouTube video. Someone literally has to be like doing that. Just, you know the horrible pranksters that make like life miserable for almost everyone in society when they do pranks that are really obnoxious and distracting for people that are actually trying to like cope with life and get through life. I feel like one of those pranksters will take like finger weights, go to the gym, have like uh, like sweatbands on everything and they just like, Ew! and then just make noises like with, with their, their hands as they like lift, like lift their pinky or whatever, like lifting their pinky up and doing curls, right? Dude, I, could, I just totally see that. I could totally see that. That's definitely a YouTube video in the making. Can you rate my deck? Uh, Evil Firecracker, Tesla, Mega Knight, E-Wiz, Skeleton Dragon, Prince, Dark Prince, Arrows. Your deck is really slow and you don't have a win condition, so the deck is bad. It's like a 4 out of 10 for me. Um, I appreciate the dono, but I also don't want to be unrealistic for you. You can make that an 8 out of 10 or a 9 out of 10 really fast by removing the uh, Tesla, putting in the Ram Rider, and then... Um, putting in either a lightning or a fireball or a poison as well instead of like your your dark prince and then I think the deck would be a lot better and then instead of E-Wiz I would probably put in like a bandit or a royal ghost you can type in Sir Tag Mega Knight Ram Rider decks and there are so many and I would just play one of those That that is what I would suggest to you and your deck would be so much better like really 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 good and you can put in like a prince instead of a bandit if you wanted and that will help you out i don't want to uh, ever lie to you i want you to be better i want you to get better decks and uh because of that you know i'll tell you when the deck is not going to work or if it's just bad um but yeah i mean if you're losing games with that deck it's probably not your skill level it's probably the deck to be honest that's that's a cool thing to be able to tell you guys <laughs> maybe that feels good for you i don't know uh hopefully Sh thanks yeah no worries man uh wishing you the best and Hopefully you push up ladder. But yeah, if you guys have a very specific win condition that you like, the best way of finding a decent deck that will work to the top of the leaderboards is typing in Sir Tag and then that deck on um, on YouTube. Because I have made so many different decks and I also have tagged them properly. So then you guys will be able to find them on YouTube. So if you type in Sir Tag and then whatever card you like, there will be a video on that deck. And then you can scroll through and find one that works that works for you. The cool thing is the decks that I put out, they, they work in pretty much every meta because they are top ladder decks. Like the synergy of the deck will be strong. They will work. Maybe the cards will get nerfed along the way and maybe it won't be as strong, but like any deck that I put, any deck that I put a video out on, I think I could hit ultimate champion with. Any deck that I put a video on, I think I could reach 9,000 trophies with. Um, as long as it's not a meme deck. There are meme decks that I've made videos on, but you guys can easily decipher Oh, it's a 1.6 Elixir Goblin Barrel deck. Maybe that isn't a deck that's serious. So, yeah, situational for sure. Wait, we have two Firecrackers stacked up. How many can we get, bro? All right, I, I want to be dumb for a second. This is for the memes. For the memes. How many Firecrackers can we get on the same side? This is not smart. If he's got a big spell, I'm stupid. But like, for the memes. For the memes. For the one time. For the one time. There ain't no way. We almost had four Firecrackers on the map. Dude, this is why we can't have nice things. You ruined it. You ruined it, my guy. Please pull back the Mega Knight. Stop it. Go kill my Firecracker. Oh. Oh. Exodia! Let's go! <laughs> there ain't no way we just got four of those on the map. No way. <laughs> that made me happy. That actually made me happy. I was a little bit lower energy today. I was just like grinding up, but that was that was that was truly a moment of all time. I love that. Woo! <laughs> Muyahu, yeah, dude. That was sick. When he missed the Mega Knight, that was hard to watch. No, dude. He did it for us. He did it for us. Also, Pika Boy, I'm gonna be giving you uh wait. Pika Boy, are you the Pika Boy I know? I think you I think you are. I'm pretty sure you are. Pika Boy, let me know because I will moderate you if you're the person I know. Um, if, uh, what type of deck did you send me through DMs, through DMs today, Pika boy? If you let me know what type of deck you sent me, I will moderate you right now. Um, there is a deck that you, is you, that you sent me. If you can answer that question, then I know that you're real. I know you're the real one then. No way. That XE has gone. That XE got executed. 
Love Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah, dude. Yu-Gi-Oh is goaded. Yu-Gi-Oh is goaded. Alright, we're gonna go for a skeleton barrel here as well. And then we'll just keep going. We'll just keep grinding. Keep making it happen. You definitely need a couple more mods. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Mortar, Firecracker, Evo. Yep, alright, that's you. You get mod. I almost clicked hide user on the channel, and then you would have been banned. <laughs> Yo, it's so difficult. It's so difficult clicking moderator. All right, sweating bullet, dude. I am sweating bullets right now. How can you tell? I I don't know the difference between like banning and moderating someone. That the duality of the situation is uh, not 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 very nice. Not very nice. All right. It's either you get mod or banned. There's no in between. <laughs> Uh, go Skelly's here and we'll go Goblin Barrel. Can you rate my deck, please? Evo Recruits, Archer Queen, Firecracker, Skeleton Barrel, Fisherman, Arrows, Log and Wall Breakers. Works really well. You have, you have a great deck. I also, uh, that's one of the first times I've said that in a long time. Usually I get to say like, hey guys, deck goes in that great. You can improve a lot, but I mean, you can't really improve that much on an Evo Recruits deck. They're really strong. They're really unfair. You have a great deck. I didn't play this very well. Doesn't matter that much. Our mechanics are clean-ish. Clean-ish enough. Our cards are kind of broken, so. <laughs> Evil Firecracker just does things. Evil Firecracker does Evil Firecracker things. No ball here, so the Executioner isn't lined up. We're forcing a log. We also don't want to go same side, so I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm being very stupid. We definitely want to go opposite lane of our opponent. Do I lose this matchup? This matchup does not seem good. If I haven't broken through by now, I feel like this is bad. All right, Goblin Barrel. That's decent. Let's Firecracker on the one skeleton. For the one time! <laughs> imagine, imagine a universe where Firecracker is our entire win condition. I'm not even joking. This Firecracker might win me the game. This single Firecracker is mutilating this man. He isn't ready. For real, for real. All right, we're probably dead, actually. I did activate King Tower, but I didn't realize that's a level 15 Hog Rider. That's kind of a problem. If there's a level 15 Hog Rider on our tower, it just doesn't die. <laughs> okay, so we activated King Tower, but we messed up a little bit, you know? Just, just a little bit. How many games did we win in a row? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... Won 11 games in a row. We're killing the game. Let's go. <laughs> that was insane. I didn't even realize. I was just like chilling, having a good time, vibing. I'm killing it. All right. I lost one game because I messed up, but hey, it happens. You make me mods as Lord Grimm? Uh, probably not yet. The people I moderated have been around the channel for a very, 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 very long time. You're up there, though. You're getting closer. All right. You lost to a low rank? Oh, yeah. No, of course. I mean, I, I make mistakes, too. I, I lose games sometimes. I don't play perfect every single game. I'm not going to sugarcoat that. Also, I lost against a higher level card, too. Like, my towers are level 13. He had a level 15 hog rider on me. Not necessarily a one-for-one -one even matchup. If I played against him with even level cards, I, it's unlikely that I would lose, right? But I can lose against people that... Um, have higher level cards if I make mistakes. I'm not necessarily like the best player in the world that can outplay everything. That game, I could have won though. That game was a skill issue. I did lose that. Uh, that was not based off of anything else. There is a disadvantage that I had entering the match, but the reason that I lost, I could have won that still with my card levels is what I was trying to say. It's just like, I didn't play well. I didn't play as well as I could have. So this is one of the weaknesses of Bomb Tower. It doesn't do super well into this. I'm just going to eat the damage because I need to conserve Elixir. Um, otherwise, I think I just lose. We're gonna try to go skeleton barrel here. Maybe it can pop and kill the. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, it's it's tanking, so it did something. Thank for the baby dragon for a while. Um. Yeah, I think honestly it's better to do this and just not try to kill the elixir collector. 
I want to take the entire tower if I if we can. That'll be really really good. Firecrackers are gonna do a lot, but it's not enough. Yeah, we didn't get the last shot. That's kind of unfortunate. We need to cycle more firecrackers, I think, if we were to be able to defend. Go skeleton barrel the other side. Go goblin barrel with ice grip maybe, and try to kill the ice reflector. It do I don't think he's gonna try to defend this. I mean, it'd be pretty weird. Try to defend this goblin barrel. It's really weird. He's actually trying to. Oh, that's pretty bad on his end, honestly. We have to snowball these. Ain't that bad. It's not that good either. Oh, he... Yeah, he wins. So I got the knight down in time to tank for this, but that's not enough. I have to go skeleton barrel, but then the golemites kill my tower. Unless we get, like, really lucky, but I can't kill those, can I? Ah, this doesn't do enough. Yeah, that's tough. I'd say that Golem is one of the more difficult matchups for this deck because, um, again, we don't have Inferno Towers, so it's really hard to kill the Golem. If you don't have an answer to Elixir Collector, they get Elixir Advantage, and then you kind of get finessed. He had a really good Lightning on the Evolved Firecracker, too, so he didn't play poorly. Like, he had a good advantage there with a higher card level going into a Bomb Tower. Bomb Tower struggles into big tanks. So again, it struggles really hard into Royal Giant and really hard into Golem. It's okay into Electro Giant because Electro Giant can get pulled very, very far. So I don't care that much about Electro Giant. I care about Giant, I care about Golem, and I care about Royal Giant. Those are the cards, but mostly Golem, I guess. Golem would be the hardest one. Golem and uh, Royal Giant, those are the two. That Bomb Tower does not do super well into when it's underleveled, that is. It's okay in every other situation. It's like really good card. It doesn't do well into Expo, actually. Expo, Royal Giant, and uh, Golem. It's okay into Lava and Bloon, actually. I prefer it um, in certain situations when the Bloon is coming through. We could have activated King Tower sometimes, but... Ooh, oh man, that, that hit. All right, let's activate King. Go Knight. Drop it a little bit lower, so hopefully the Firecracker continuously gets targeted. Doesn't happen. Got Snowball here. Okay, so what can we do? All right, all right. Yeah. Also, Bert, we we can't have that happen anymore. We can't have you uh, spamming the fake fans thing. I don't I don't like it anymore. Don't don't be mean to people that are chilling in the chat. We want to not have a divisive community. So that's your last warning on the fake fans thing. I'm not gonna let that happen anymore. Don't uh don't don't flame people for no reason. Uh, first time I could uh, watch the live stream says Luke. Yo, Luke, I'm blessed to have you here, brother. You missed a donation. Thank you for letting me know. Yo, official Paxton says, hey Jake, thanks for the daily vids. Makes my shift go by faster. Dude, what what do you do for work, man? Hopefully, um, hopefully the shift today is a little bit easier. Hopefully, you're vibing and enjoying it. Roger that, yeah. We gotta lay down the law on certain things, cause that one, um, people, people, people do be getting triggered by. All right. Um, how do we win this? The strategy for, for me is not necessarily as clear as we want it to be. <laughs> Dude, my expert just got one shot. Yo, stop it. Like, can, can, can we not get one shot? Okay, wait, wait. For the one time, we can one shot you. No, it's not going to. It's going to activate King. I'm an idiot. Wait, he didn't realize. We're fine. We're not fine. We're, we're so dead. We're actually so dead. We're so dead. We're so dead. We're so dead. Oh my gosh, am I dead? That was awful. Wait, why are the skeletons killing everything? There's no way you log and kill that. Yeah, there's no way. I knew. You thought your overleveled cards would kill my underleveled firecracker, but it wasn't high enough. <gasps> ah! Slow. Yes. Yes. Snowball on the P.E.K.K.A. The strategies. <laughs> there's no way. There's no way Snowball on the P.E.K.K.A. was the right play. I, I feel like such an idiot. I'm loving this game, though. This has been very fun. This has been one of the most fun games I've played in a while. Even though I've played like an absolute dummy. Like, I have not played this stupid in a long time. Let's stupefy our opponent. We got to win this. We got to win this for the memes. Come on now. Come on now. Please. Okay, that was such a dumb wait. Maybe it wasn't. It wasn't dumb. It baited out a bomber. We're chilling. We're back like we never left, boys. We're back like we never even left. Why am I getting so much energy later in the stream? What is happening right now? For real, this doesn't even make sense. But we're getting after it right now. We're making it happen. 
Big plays for days. Okay, I don't appreciate my firecracker getting damage. Terrible log, my guy. I don't even know what that was. Some illegal behavior. Alright, this Evo Knight is going to hurt me, like, really hard. But he uses log, so... The fact that he is so scuffed that he has to do that is funny. It is actually just funny. He randomly logs for no reason, like, half of the time. Like, he's just going to log again. He just, he just doesn't... He doesn't care about his tower. He sees his tower, and he's like, what tower? <laughs> I don't understand. My man had a fetish of logging our tower. It was not a good play. We go next one. Sheesh! On to the next one. The deck is completely carried by Evo Firecracker. It's normal. Uh, it's absolutely different. Yeah, no, no. Evo Firecracker carries this deck. I'm not sure you're coding that. I said that at the very start. Evolutions are the way that you win in any of these things. That allows you to beat over-leveled opponents. You can have very, 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 very low-level cards as long as you have Evo Firecracker and you spam it. Um, the, the Firecracker, if it's level 15, I'm pretty sure I can have all level 12 cards and hit... 9,000 trophies very easily. But my Firecracker is level 14, so it is what it is. Should be the first card you level up to max. Guaranteed. Can we just take a second to appreciate the power of the snowball in the last game against the P.E.K.K.A.? Like, I want you guys in the chat to appreciate the fact we didn't lose because we snowballed the P.E.K.K.A. Because that... That was truly a play. <laughs> It was truly a play, man. It was truly a play. Also, guys, don't flame Bert if he's being nice. Just, you know, chill. Like, uh, there's time to troll and there's time not to. If he's not trolling anymore, like, just let him... No, don't flame him. All right. What do we do here? The biggest thing that I care about, like, in our community in general as well, is having a community that's inclusive for pretty much everyone. I don't want, like, based off of religion or politics or beliefs or anything like that, I don't want people to not talk to each other in the chat. Um, I think that's super, super important. Like, being able to just play video games and enjoy life, the world is already tough enough for a lot of people for no reason. There's just, like, a lot of unfortunate things that happen. Um, but, yeah. I guess, like, I don't I, I guess one thing that's really tough is, that, I don't know if you guys know this, but um, a lot of my friends that are in school, right? A few of them that are international students are, uh, it's so hard to like get visas and stuff, even though like they are incredibly, incredibly good for society in the US. Like they are so productive. They're, they're so smart. They're brilliant. They're way smarter than me. Um, and they, they can't get visas to stay in the country and they don't know if they're going to be able to. It's like, damn, that's actually just so, so messed up and stupid that like someone that smart that uh, just can't like get a job right now because the economy is so messed up. So, stuff like that, like, you look at it and you're like, wow, it's like, life is really unfair for a lot of people. Um, so we try not to have anything, like, I don't know. We just want to have a situation where people can enjoy games and have fun in the community. That's the main thing that I want to have happen, if that makes sense. Because you got, never really know what's going on in someone's life, too, right? There's so many people that have, um, like, I look at them and I'm like, wow, you guys are so happy. Your life is going so well for them. And then, like, behind the scenes, it's just not. And you're like, oh, damn, I would have never guessed. We would have never guessed what they went through, you know? Like, I don't know. That's one thing that I've uh, been more mindful of. I realized that the last, like, two years, especially, um, how many things, like, people go through in life. That's just, like, I'm so fortunate to be in the spot that I am, where I didn't have to go through as much stuff as a lot of my other friends. I mean, I still had to go through things in life, but, um, yeah, definitely not as much as some of my other friends. Anyway. Uh, yeah, like, I guess I can give an example. Like, uh, some of my friends, like, had to go through, go through, like, hundreds of jobs on LinkedIn and, like, look at, I don't know, like, every single day for, for months and months and months and just hope to get a good job. Even though, like, they are so technically intelligent, like, really good coders, they just weren't able to get the job. And I'm like, wow, I, I, I just feel so bad for them, you know? Stuff like that happens all the time. And I'm like, wow, I, I just, I can't believe it. Rejected Dono? Uh, I did not, I didn't reject a Dono. All right, let's see if there's anything else. See if there's anything else that I missed out. Um, got a clock back in. Hey, dude, uh, good luck. Wishing you the best. 
You know, Firecracker is the most satisfying sound. The most satisfying sound is uh, when my gameplay gets corrupted and you guys hear the static sound. That is the most satisfying gameplay experience. It's like a Game Boy and I blow into it with my mouth, man. It's just like, uh, like I, I, you guys, if you guys have blown into the Game Boy cartridge, that's the sound. That's the sensation. That's the feeling. If you know, you know. If you don't, then uh, you know you're missing out in life. All right, Roger that. Yes, sir. All right, we'll just eat the Valkyrie. There's, uh, I was trying to refresh the stream for a sec. Skill issue? Uh, the last game? No, nah, I don't think that was a skill issue. Watching your stream makes my stress go away. I'm happy to hear that, man. Sometimes, yeah, you just got to do that. You just got to have that stuff happen. Some people have perfect life but are messed up inside. Yeah, that too. Um, money doesn't buy happiness. I mean, I was around a lot of really, 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 really rich people when I was teaching tennis, and they were all unhappy. Like, not all, but like a lot of them were super unhappy because they had nothing else to work for in life. And then, I like, if you have struggled, you kind of appreciate things when they are going okay for you sometimes you're just like even if things aren't going amazing i'm just happy they're okay right you're like you're like appreciative of all those things and these guys like they've never had issues they're like they uh they they're just not happy you know or maybe they are having issues that they don't even talk about or show but yeah there's a lot of things like that um game boy the first thing i had to do was the original ness oh dude game boy was awesome i played so many games i played um pokemon Pokemon uh, Ruby was my first video game I ever played on uh, on any console. I mean, actually, I played on my PC. I played, like, Lego Star Wars Racer, but I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it was a bit of a different game. Oh, my gosh, dude. How about we don't hurt me right now with this? How about we don't do this to me? Oh, these are bad for me. wasn't really thinking. I didn't realize how uh, close we are to winning, uh, hitting 8,000 trophies. We'll try a little bit harder right now. We'll focus up a little bit more. Then we can finesse the game. We don't want the firecracker to die, so we're dropping pretty much all of our elixir here, and it's gonna eventually die, but maybe we can get a shot before it does. Oh, wait, what the hell? How'd that hit the tower? Like, what? Oh, I messed up. No. No, Ornor, Ornor, I'm evolving to become Australian. That move was super effective. Night Firecracker shoots first. I did not play this game well at all. This is a bad loss. All right, we need to like outcycle his log. Can you drop a bomb tower here and then I can... <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Do level 15 hog riders grow an extra brain cell? I, I don't know. I don't understand. <laughs> homie just... Homie just finessed me in a different degree. Like, I understand that that happens sometimes, but it's not a good feeling. When it looks at your tower, it's like, ha, ah, nah. I'm gonna go store that. I'm just like not gonna go hit that bomb tower. That's just, like, that's a pretty traumatic experience. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Plus one brain cell, dude. Really, it's max level for a reason. <laughs> Plus one brain cell. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. My first Pokemon game was Red Blue. Red Blue is pretty cool. Soul Silver on the original DS. I want to play some of those games again. Maybe I'll play some Pokemon games on my second YouTube channel. More tag. If you guys haven't subscribed there, I'm considering it. I'm considering it. I'm down. I'm down. Did you have the Game Boy Advance uh, Ruby version? Uh, I did have a red one. I had a red one. Fire Red was the goat. Yeah, Fire Red was sick. The new Pokemon games are soft, by the way. I... I hate the fact that it says, like, when the moves are super effective. I hate that it's so easy and all the Pokemon level up at once. It's like, I don't know, the game is just way too easy. I remember having to grind a lot more and actually uh, think about my decisions and battle the Elite Four in a way that mattered. And now it's just, like, easy mode, you know? They, they, gotta, they gotta, like, add a hard mode with Pokemon. There, was, there has to be different levels to it, you know? Like... I want to play a Pokemon game and not have to, like, use, uh, I don't know, the versions that are out there that uh, kind of, like, I don't know, make the game harder. Uh, Nuzlocke type of stuff. Like, I don't want to do that. But I, I don't want, like, the, the kid-friendly noob version, you know? Like, I, I want something that's in the middle, right? I want an old-school Pokemon game that makes me think a little bit. Like, why didn't Pokemon grow up with its fans? Why can't... They just have a franchise where the games are slightly more difficult so then people can enjoy that at all ages and you can pick whichever version you want. That's what it should be, right? Like, I feel like Game Freak has done a horrible job 
with their progression of the game. It's just like actually awful. They have done no innovation and they've actually made the games worse. That's what happens a lot of times in gaming when you have people that are boomers running things that they don't understand. Because it happens very, very consistently. Like, I don't know if you guys know Facebook gaming, but they did a, the worst job imaginable with uh, their their launch and everything. The amount of money that they spent on YouTubers and YouTubers that didn't even care about like launching Facebook gaming. It was just, it was horrible. It was so bad. They spent so much money and got nothing in return because boomers were in charge and they didn't understand anything. Also, there were some companies when we were we, when we were negotiating sponsorships like along the way, I just didn't want to work for them. Or I didn't want to do anything. So I threw out like a ludicrous number that I never thought they would accept. And then they accepted it. I was like, wait, what? And then I was like, oh, actually, no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just like wanted to mess with them a little bit, which was pretty irresponsible for me when I was like younger. I did that. And I was like, oh, wait, no, 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 I can't <laughs> go back. <laughs> uh, I did that when I was 18. Uh, I learned, I learned. It's not very responsible to do that. Just like, deny the things that you don't want to work for, no matter what. Anyway. What do we do here? I mean, we're kind of losing. Is this guy's clan le legit? Like, what the... Can we, like, not lose this game? You know the difficulty with his matchup, right? I don't have anything for Goblin Barrel, and it's Goblin Barrel's level 15. I like Snowball it. And if he drops a tank with it, I just kind of make a bad trade. How has he not activated King Tower yet? Alright, so we'll eat the damage here. So much value for him. Like, he also has Log, which is just such a bad uh, position for me to be in. Unless he throws right now, which is totally possible. It seems like he could. He's not playing super well. We do need to start keeping these firecrackers alive if we want to win, though. This firecracker has to do more damage than it is. We have two of them, though. Just dead, though. Go win. Yeah, this is like an unfortunate game. If I played better at the start, I would have beaten him, actually. I did not focus, so that was my fault. Sorry, guys. I didn't expect to play against a log bait deck with, uh, with a log after playing against whatever we played against earlier. My bad. There's going to be a lot of trophies lost, I think, too. Unfortunate, unfortunate. It happens. It happens. Is Pastoral worth it? Is it getting it uh, next season for the next Evo? Uh, I don't know. It depends on your deck, like, right? It, it, for instance, if it's, uh, I don't know, let's say Magic Archer, and you don't have a Magic Archer deck, it's not really worth because you're not going to be improving your deck, right? However, if you have a lot of money, it might be worth it for you because you don't even care. It really depends on your financial situation. It depends on your deck. It depends on what you're going to get out of that. And, and for me to answer those type of things, it's, uh, yeah, it's a bad, it's a bad uh, question for me to answer. Um... It's always just a subjective experience, right? So for you, 7,000 trophies might be really good if you just started playing Clash Royale, right? That's really cool. Um, if you have been playing for a long, long time and you have all level 15 cards and, you know, you don't really, uh, I don't know, you, you don't really, like, want to get better and you're running, like, a Mega Knight deck that's level 15 like this guy, um, maybe it's not that impressive. So, really situational. Oops. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, we just threw a couple games in a row. It happens. Um, we'll jump into the next one. I Actually, screw it. Let's try to beat this guy. He seemed like a very good player. He just dropped a skeleton army randomly. I think I could still win. I did try to activate King Tower, which is a mistake. Uh, but we can still win, maybe. Use skeleton army. Maybe he doesn't have a small spell here. Then Inferno Tower on top of that. Any logs? Oh, I lose. Inferno Tower Mega Knight deck, guys. What can I do? What can I do? You have to come back? 
You made fun of the Mega Knight? I did. Well, I mean, the the deck is bad, right? Like, right? It's like, there's no way he's got a 21 emote. There's no way he's ever reached any of the ranks I have, right? I just messed up. It's not, it's not that big of a deal. Sometimes you can mess up and lose games that you shouldn't really lose all the time. That does happen in Clash Royale. And if you don't think that, you're just like, I don't know, you're just wrong. Um. Well, we'll jump to the next one and hopefully win there. He's got Log Zap, so this is unwinnable. We'll just say GG. We'll go next game. Log Zap, and when we're down this amount, it's uh, let, let's just get out of this one and move to the next game a little bit faster mentally. It's better that way. Rip, yeah, yeah, yeah. rip there. It's fine though. Oh, uh, my parents uh messed me up and birthed me. <laughs> okay. He's a different deck. I'm not playing a different deck. This deck is phenomenal. Um, sometimes you lose games when you make misplays. I lost the game. I messed up. I deserve to lose. We go next. Doesn't really matter. If you get super tilted by like losing games, or if you get super tilted by getting BM'd by someone, just realize like, you know, it doesn't matter. You're not going to see that person again. It's just a, it's a video game. It's just an emote. Um, the thing for me is like, also in person, like in public, uh, or anything like, if I'm ever embarrassed, um for instance i don't know like i spilled like uh what was it called i spilled soy sauce on one of my on one of my pants uh like a while back it was like slightly embarrassing but i realized like hey i'm not gonna see the really matter you know it's just like you care way more about how you look compared to other people and how much they care about you Th those people really that saw me spill soy sauce and like ruined my pants doesn't doesn't really matter you know it, they're not gonna be around to see me for like doing that they're not gonna be around seeing me doing that for like whatever they'll just <laughs> they'll experience that one interaction and they'll never see me again and it's fine it happens you know that's like what life like is like sometimes all right all right so this guy's running rg which is a bad matchup for me so we do not want to lose this game the one thing about Clash is if you lose a couple games, it takes a while to climb back up. So that is one of the few downsides of it, is if you lose a lot of games, you have to have like a positive win ratio to get your trophies and medals back. One of the few downsides. Oh my gosh, dude. Like, I guess we're bomb towering and ice spiriting, so we retarget the RG. The RG like one shot this ice spirit? I hope not. Okay, thank God. How much damage do I take here? Can we kill this with a knight? Please. As you can see, Evo RG is really bad for this deck. Like, really, really bad for this deck. He should hard counter me since he has Electric Spear and Barbarrel. This is one of the few matchups that I do think I'm okay losing. Like, if I match into this, I don't think I win it. Most times. Unless the guy makes a lot of misplays and it's just like way worse than us. That's something to keep in mind. Like, eat the RG losses and Golem losses. As I said before, that's fine. Um, we have to be up a lot of Elixir to counter his RG. Like, a lot. All right, so Ice Spirit typically does not get one shot by a Phoenix, but I think in this environment it does. Thank goodness he's separating his damage for no reason. Go Ice Spirit. We have like no way of countering this. Uh, this is so annoying. Ice Spirit, Snowball. Log. Yeah, I just lose. Nothing I can do, guys. I really tried my hardest, but this matchup is actually unwinnable. Um, as I said before, I do not like playing that. It does happen sometimes. Uh, it, like, the guy has to be just so much worse than us that it's unbearable. Um, if, if they have, like, a quick card cycle with a Log and Electric Spirit, that does counter your deck. Because the Electric Spirit counters the Skeleton Army, or sorry, the Skeleton Barrel, and then the uh, the Barb Barrel counters Goblin Barrel. So, like, if they literally have Electric Spirit plus a Log or Electric Spirit plus something like that, then it full counters you. You can win if they are awful, but the Bomb Tower does not do super well until level 15 RG when they have two defensive answers for your two cards. So, like, Electric Spirit counters the Skeleton Barrel for a really good trade, and then also he Barb Barrels for a plus one trade as well. So, he gets, like plus three elixir when we go on offense and then we can't get a positive elixir trade against his royal giant so obviously that means that we lose most of the time that was a bad snowball all right all right 
audio not working. If someone's messing with the audio, then just ban them. Um, because I, that's not a joke that we have. Unless it's, like, legitimate. Uh, well, don't ban them, but, like, time them out for 24 hours, I guess. If anyone wants to meme about the audio stuff, that is not something that we meme about. Unless, unless it actually happened. It seemed like it did happen there. But, yeah, if people do do that, then just time them out or ban them. Because that, uh, sometimes messes with the stream. All right. Well, Ice Spirit here. And then we should be fine against the Valk, so we're okay. Thoughts on the balance changes? I didn't get a chance to look at like what the finalized ones are. It's fine, yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go. Porno barrel to bait out the log. I don't need to do anything like that. We're fine. We go for a night, we go skeletons here. Oh, he's gonna lose the firecracker. Wait, 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 this is kind of good. We can activate, no, we already activated king, we're fine. Uh, let's do this. We do have the evil firecracker. I want to get more out of it. We get a log as well. That's not going to be another shot, but it's fine. We kind of want to go opposite side of him for the rest of the game. There's only going to be a hundred, a uh, hundred damage difference. It's better to go right hand side. Uh, we don't joke about that here. It reminds me of an elementary school. I mean, hey, dude, if uh, people joke about uh, like. Something that could impact the quality of the stream. It's I don't think that's very funny. So yeah, yeah. I mean, there are certain things that like are okay to joke about. That is definitely not one of them. All right. So the log doesn't kill our firecracker. He's gonna lose the wizard to two firecrackers. That's really funny. He's gonna go for his own. I mean, ours doesn't kill it. What the? Dude, we don't even one shot his firecracker. Pretty big difference. Yo, yo, yo. Ice Spirit here. Night again. Goblin Barrel and then like Skellies or maybe even go for like, yeah, they would just do that. Uh, Rage one tapping Goblins levels are all the difference. I know, it's insane. When that stuff happens, you just like look at it and you're like, what the heck? How did it even happen? I hope. So our knight's gonna die here, unfortunately. That means all of our other stuff probably does too. Goblin barrel on the right isn't even like meant to do much. It's just trying to bait out a log because we can't drop the goblin barrel directly into the right hand side. I'm trying to force out his spells. The rage and log just kills our stuff. It's so annoying. A really, really tough matchup because of that. Try not to lose a hard counter here. Oh my goodness. The log plus rage killing all my stuff is really, really troublesome. And then he's like not dumb enough to let the firecracker lock onto his tower. While having a really big hard counter to us. I have to go dual lane pressure. Only way to win. My firecracker can't even kill his though, so that's a problem. Like a really big problem. We need him to just flop and fail. Like drop a really dumb play. Like maybe this firecracker locking on the tower. Maybe he'll like mess up a spell. I don't know. Something super stupid though. Like that, that was dumb, he loses. That was what we needed. I cannot believe, I cannot believe we beat that. Wow. He had log with rage that killed my goblin barrel and a quick card cycle. I don't, I don't know how we won. We had bomb tower as well for a, uh, for a balloon. That is such a tough matchup. And my firecracker can't even one shot his, his level 15 firecracker. That was a huge matchup advantage for him. Wow, that was crazy. All right, let's go. We got it. That's what we like to see. I mean, if we can win that, I think we can I think we can get it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've had to dial in a lot more in these games than I've wanted to just because of games like that. All right, all right. 
Oh no! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't beat this. I don't beat this. I just lose. Oh, I don't want to play against Expo, Royal Giant, or Golem, please. Please. How did my how did it die? How did it die? How did it die? Just I just can't win. Alright, well that, that's it. That's over. He just exploded at the river and beat me. Alright, well that that is one of the main weaknesses of our deck. Um especially if he can kill my firecracker with a log. Wait, what happened there? How my firecracker die? I actually don't even know. I don't even know what happened there. I don't I actually don't understand. How did that happen? My firecracker died. Did it get hit by a spirit too? Must have, right? Alright, luckily this guy is really not playing well, but... I mean, if he misplaces his expos like that, maybe he'll lose. Okay, thank goodness it died somehow. We're to eat the knight. I just can't afford to do anything else. I just need to eat the damage. I'm so dead. We need, like, the best Evo Firecracker of our lives. I do think this guy is capable of losing based off of his expo placements, though. Like, I think he is a one in a million expo player that we could beat in this position. There's a chance. It's very limited, but it is possible. We need to cycle knights. That's the expo. Oh, no, I messed up. That shouldn't have been cycled into that. Okay. All right. Get after it. Thank God the firecracker's still alive. There's a chance. Like, he might actually lose. It's really hard for him to lose this game, though. Like, it's really impossible. Oh, it died. That's not good. If that stayed alive, we might have been able to have a shot here. I can't I can't afford this in time, can I? Oh, I'm dead. I'm just dead. <sighs> Alright, well, we'll go next. That does that does kind of suck when that happens. I uh, thought we would keep the expo. I thought we would keep the firecracker alive. I greeted for it and I didn't get it. Uh, come on. All right, we're hoping we don't get that level fifteen log. I know. Just win, just win, just win. I I wish. This one was pretty much impossible. This one was pretty much impossible. Bam morale twenty twenty four. Uh, just in this matchup. Your knight probably won't be able to survive an expo, so you'll just lose. Um, if they have level 15 expo and you have level like lower level knight, and your knight is the only card that can tank for it, you're probably going to take an L. It happens, though. Unlucky? Yeah, yeah. Very, very, very unlucky. But it happens, man. It happens. A little bit more of a grind fest today, but we'll, we'll make it happen before three hours. We got this. I was at like 1790, I think. I lost a couple games. Let's go! Let's freaking go! Thank you. Oh, no. Not good. <laughs> I was so happy for a sec. <laughs> uh, bomb tower could have been placed one tile lower. It's fine. Uh, I hope he doesn't have rail delivery and log, but he probably will. He's got a log. Did I just lose? It'd be so much damage. You can activate King Tower here if he's at all good at the game. Yep. The knight gets us two hits on the tower, but it's not really that good. Oh, it only gave me one. <laughs> I'm so screwed. Uh, is he one of those players that just spams like Royal Hogs at the river? I think he probably is. Not it, my dude. It's not it. Guy's okay at the game, but also not the start that we're looking for. Yep, he's gonna rail hogs and EQ me. This is the right bomb tower placement? It pulls all the pigs. Gonna drop a really low knight. We'll probably click a bad ability because that's usually what people do. Reset it with an ice spirit. Delta barrel here. We need to spam really aggressively to win this. It's gonna be hard. It's possible though. Skeleton Bro getting damage every time is nice. Is he going to be good enough for the delivery timing? Yeah, I guess so. Ooh! Nice strategy, my guy.
I hate this. <sighs> There's not much I can do here. All right, we'll go next. He was decent with a hard counter. The uh, the Rail Hogs being level 15 paired with a level 15 Earthquake or something along those lines against level 12 Bomb Tower was actually way worse than I thought. I was super happy for a second because I thought it was going to not be level 15 uh, Earthquake and Fast Cycle with three spells or two spells. No, three spells. Delivery, Log, and Earthquake. No, not a good matchup. All right, we'll go next. It happens. All right, why does he stick with this deck? It's a really good deck. The deck that he's playing is really good. Oh, if you're talking to me, I mean, my deck is good too. I just sometimes get screwed by bad matchups. Like, if I lose two games, the sample size of two games is not that good. Like, I don't like um, like talking about stats when I'm tilted because uh, it's like the same thing over and over and over again that I have to explain to you guys. But I will explain it here uh, just for the point of like each video. I think I'll say it once. If... If you lose one game, right, or two games in a row, or even three games in a row with a bad matchup, is that representative of the entire, like, deck list of matchups that you can get with the deck? Or do you think that's just, like, one or two data points? If you think it's representative of everything, you do not understand stats or anything. And you gotta, like, I don't know. You gotta go back to, uh, you gotta go back to school if that's the case. If you think it's, like, if one or two games, if you think that's representative of a, uh... Uh, of the the entire deck then you're very 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 wrong um you can go back like a couple seconds and you can see that i won 11 games in a row with the deck and i had pretty decent matchups the entire time but if i match into things like that that is really 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 unfortunate um and it does not happen very often but yeah i had two games that were pretty pretty un uh impossible salty yeah yeah no i am salty I, I i said that before i don't really like explaining the same thing over and over again mentally you guys should know that right like no one wants to explain the same thing a million times when it's uh, something like that, where um, people question the deck strength or whatever. Um, this happens like every single time that I lose uh, in anything. Um, you just got to use a little bit of critical thinking and understand that like the like one or two games is not representative of everything. It's the same thing as like me beating someone that's better than me, right? If you think that I'm better than someone because I beat them, the answer is probably not. If I'm beating someone at a very, 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 very high rank, People will think I'm better than them, right? Like, I beat Aragon, right? Am I better than Aragon? Probably not, right? Aragon's always consistently higher than me. So, like, from that standpoint, like, one representation of one game or one thing is not the exact uh, reality. But yeah. That's just how it is. That's how it be. Sorry, didn't mean to annoy you. Oh, I mean... It's... Uh, it was like if you say I'm so salty it's definitely like a not nice comment but I read it man because I think that's an important comment to address I guess we'll let you know why anyway we are definitely losing this game not looking good I want to win I really don't want to lose come on please someone out let me defend this How are we still alive what the heck All right, well, that was pretty obvious Megadite, but I can't, like, keep going into this. I need to get, like, a Knight down, and even that, I don't think I'm defending. All right, somehow I defended that. I don't know how. Maybe go Goblin Barrel, Skeletons. This is two Elixir. I'm committed to going into the same lane as him right now. We're focusing for the rest of the stream, by the way. I uh, I might lose a couple games here or there, but I'm going to be focusing a lot more. The Skeleton Dragons probably just lost me the game. I don't think I can defend them. Like, the Skeleton Dragons off to the side means I can't kite as much. Which is obviously a pretty big problem. I can't get this Knight down, I lose. You know what? I'm genuinely impressed that I'm still staying alive here. Like, I actually did not expect myself to be able to stay alive throughout this. This is really, really impressive to me that I've been able to defend all this. I think I've played really, really well. Even if I lose this, it's pretty impressive to me.
I can't let that mini pack a hit. If it does, I lose. to the Valkyrie. But does he just like lightning me or something? I actually cannot believe I just beat that guy. This might have been one of the best games I've ever played. I can't believe I won that. Holy hell. Okay, we keep going. That was insane. That was really really tough i had nothing for the uh, skeleton dragons off to the side his arrows kill all my cards my firecrackers just die the zap one shots my goblin barrel okay clash Rail, you kind of kind of out of here trying to tilt us but it's, it's winnable um the only thing we can't beat is like royal giant sometimes and then we can't ever beat expo if they're if they just drop expos at the river we just can't even win it's just not possible so those are the those are the only matches we really don't want is expo Everything else is winnable. Even this Goblin Barrel matchup where we don't have a, like, a good answer to the Goblin Barrel, it's still winnable. All right, we want to go Knight here so then we can body block and then we want to Firecracker on his Princess if we can. Just to like annoy him a bit. We do win this interaction with an Ice Spirit. Ooh. Nah, we don't anymore. Mess up for sure. All right, we can do this and then go here. And then probably defend everything with a firecracker, but this is also like really bad for us. Fortunately for us, the damage is uh, kind of dispersed in both sides as ah, a really good princess. I'm actually getting outplayed right now. <laughs> Don't want to admit it, but I am getting outplayed. I'm not playing well comparatively to this guy. Seriously, well played. You're playing better than me. That being said, we will activate King Tower. And we're going to go for uh, a counter push here. Try to get something out of it. All right, so we got a Inferno Tower, which is obviously not a card he wants to drop. Probably Princess of the River, honestly. No. No ball here. Nice. Perfect gameplay. Does this Firecracker hit the tower? I hope so. Nope. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> How have I played so much Clash Royale and didn't know that interaction? You know, I'm a little bit sad to say that I didn't know that. Like, I'm... I'm like legitimately just dis disappointed in myself. That was that was not it. That was that was pretty bad. All right, let's do this and hopefully bait out a an, uh, Electro Spirit and then also like an Inferno Tower, if we're lucky. Nah, we don't get any of that. Okay, well that's a lot of damage actually. But if he Goblin Barrels right now, he just gets value for free. That is such a trash play. He dropped it really far back. What? Like excuse me? Like you you have. You realize I don't have anything that that also misses this guys really messing up. He played better than me and he started to throw. I think sometimes that happens as well. Like people just play really well for a little bit of time and then they mess up. All right, this could get rocketed, but oh, did I get down. I did fast fingers, my dudes, fast fingers, mobile gaming athlete. All right, we'll go for a skeleton barrel, a goblin barrel, and then try to just spam him. I think we beat this guy. I don't think he wins. Not not after how he played that. There's no way. And then he misses the log. So then we can just cycle really quickly now to another goblin barrel and just spam it on the tower directly. I don't even care if these firecrackers do anything. Like, I'm just hoping that this goblin barrel does. Honestly, if this firecracker hits, then he loses. Okay, he lost. Good. Go skellies here. And then we can go skeleton barrel and then snowball. Oops, I messed that up really hard. But with the king tower activation, I guess it didn't even matter. It didn't even matter. Alright, so we can go Goblin Barrel here. He can't do much. He has to go like Princess. Then go for Skeletons. Skeleton Barrel. Firecrackers. The only thing that's bad is the fact that like our Firecrackers don't actually kill his Princess. And his Princess kills mine. So, it's a bit obnoxious. We're trying to dial in so we can damage down his tower, but it's not necessarily working. Okay, thank goodness. All right, we could snowball and take out the tower, but I didn't want to lose the goblin barrel. Plus, like, rocket, so I played a little bit more defensive. We definitely outcycle him, so we're fine. We win. Okay. Let's go! 
I love your videos, says Eric. Eric, thank you for the $5 dono, brother. I appreciate you. Hell yeah. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you so much. Dude, your name is awesome. Eric Esquivel. Eric Esquivel. It, dude, it sounds so sophisticated. If I had a last name like that, I would just... I don't know. I would just be so happy. I, I would feel like the fanciest sir on this planet. For real. Like, I wish I had your last name. Dude, how much for your last name, real quick? Real quick, real quick. I'll spend... I'll, I'll, I'll trade you some gems for your last name, bro. <laughs> That is legitimately the most legendary last name I've ever seen in my life. What do you guys think is the best last name that you've ever seen? Let me know in the chat. What is, if you could pick any last name, what one would you pick? That is the one that I would pick. I'm not even joking. Marry him. Oh, the strategies. The strategies have been unlocked. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm already married to the game, my guy. Unfortunately, I'm already married to the game. Oh my gosh. Monroe. Dude, like Marilyn? Alright. Jacob Jacob? Oh man, the double the double names of justice. It's OP. <laughs> Dude, I love I love that Eric's just like grinning in the chat. He's like, why is this guy like my last name so much? Patrick Fitzpatrick. Dude, that would be so sick. I wish I had that name. <laughs> Dude, I want my name, my last name to be Jacobson. Jake Jacobson. Imagine. Imagine a universe where I'm Jake Jacobson. Start screaming Jacobson at everyone I beat. That would be great. Yo, CJ. What's up, man? He's committed to the channel for 20 months. I appreciate you. You already know that, though. You already know I love you, brother. Hopefully life is treating you well. Hopefully the new year has been good. Yeah, man. Love you. Also, we're kind of sort of maybe in a bad spot, but it's like, it's like, don't even worry. Don't even fib yourself for a sec. Guys, lightning on skeletons, like, it's, oh my goodness. Bro, chill. Chill, 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 chill. Exalted. Guy is really, he's up there. He's up there with the wizard strategies. I was not trying, and now I think I actually have to try, or I'm going to die. You feel me? Two firecrackers doing work, though. Light work. Lighting them up. What if we like knock back his units with the snowballs so then we can hit his tower? It's not gonna work, but like it would be funny. Do you guys remember the four forbidden firecrackers that we cycled all at once? Pretty insane. Ridiculous. Also, guys, I'm not I'm not joking. I actually do legitimately have to create a a uh, a what is it called? There is Oh, man, it's a playlist. Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> I have to create a playlist for this series because I haven't done it yet. And it needs to encompass all of the ladder games that I created and all the time that we spent climbing up to the top of uh, the arenas. So if you guys haven't already checked out the pin comment, the pin comment will have a playlist of all of the series, every single game, every single sequence that we climbed up to the arenas with. So from arena one to the last arena, there's going to be a series um, and a playlist that you guys can click on to see all the ones that you might have missed out on. So you guys can go back and rewatch the VODs and see us climb up the arenas. Oil up. I'm going to be there at five. Dude. Oh my gosh. Wait, that's what you've been saying the entire time? Bruh. Bruh, why, why am I just seeing that now? Bro, I thought like french fries for a sec. Oh my gosh, dude, I can't. I, my brain, I, bro, dude, don't, don't do me like that. I can't, I can't deal with that. My mental, my poor mental is done. I'm done. All right, I'm never, I'm never reading those comments again. We, we do not. Oh my gosh, dude, I, you're, you're too late, bro. This guy is oiled up with his rage lumberjack. It's not good, bro. That's not good. Get, get me out. Get me out of this game. There's a level 16 lumberjack in here. My man's out here with Dexter. If you guys know, you know. If you know, you know. This guy's out here with Dexter. Literally Dexter. Which actually has the worst ending out of any show I've ever watched in my life. Not really, but it was just such a disappointing ending. All right, all right. Ramirez. Ramirez? Ramirez. You're the homie. 
Socks on. Socks off for me, my guy. I don't have socks on right now. I feel like there's nothing more satisfying than getting out of a, like a long day at work and then just taking off your socks and sitting down and relaxing. Socks suck, bro. Socks suck. You watch football? I do not watch sports ball. I do not watch sports ball at all. Never do. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm not a patron of the sports ball religion, my guy. Unfortunately. I was going to say it, but somehow a decrowned goat? Dude. <laughs> Wait, can the lumber... Oh, come on! You're going to troll me like that, game? You're going to be that close? You, you just... It's going to be like right there next to the King Tower, but just not enough. Not enough juice. Not enough juice in the tank. Bro, we were going for the touchdown. We were going for the, th the field goal. We were going for the three-pointer. It just didn't work, you know? Um, we, got, we got a penalty here. We got, we got red carded. I don't know if that's in football. I feel like it is probably. We're right at the end of the end zone. <laughs> okay. Uh... Yo, thank goodness the Lumberjack decides to do that. I'm happy. Average ape? Dude, I, I feel like I did ape my way into this win. I really did do some stupid stuff. I felt like a Mr. Monkey Man. You got robbed for real? I did. I really did. All right, we go next. Dude, I'm so happy that we have moderators here. It's really cool. Really, really cool. Mods are OP. Let's go. Do you ever watch Messi play? I don't watch soccer or football or anything like that. All right, all right. Would you ever... um Snowball? Yeah, Snowball's a great card. It's S tier. It's S tier for real. I like having... Ah! I suck. I suck so much. I I am a super sucker out here, guys. I, I can't believe I suck to that degree. This is misery. This is awful. Wait, he's sucking a little bit harder. Just a little bit. Maybe. I think he's I think he's sucking harder than me. I think this is pretty bad. I mean he's he's really messing up. He's gonna lose his little prince. He almost lost his little prince to skeletons. Imagine. Couldn't be me. Oh my gosh. Can we just hit for the one time with a firecracker? For the one time, for the one time? Dude, the firecracker never hit anything. The firecrackers just did nothing there. They just never hit a single freaking card. What is happening in this game? They, they were like attacking and not attacking and not doing things. All right, can we kill? Maybe? I'm going in for the thrill. Well, we're going in for the kill. Doing it for the thrill. Ooh, words are tough. All right. I'm hoping you guys understand my intelligence. I'm so smart. I'm so sophisticated with my gameplay. All right, we're not doing well. <laughs> this is going so poorly. <laughs> oh, don't log my goblin barrel. That's so rude. All right, you know what? We're going to be more rambunctious and rowdy than you, my guy. Your tower is going to die, all right? Okay, okay. Glad we glad we had this conversation. Wait, did that not do anything? Did it just like, tickle his tower a little bit? I felt like I did no damage. I felt like that did nothing. Am I stupid? Or did that really do nothing? I hope he clicks a terrible ability. It doesn't do anything. If left alone, it should just die to the tower with one hit. <laughs> the little crown drops down like a Lego. I love it. Let's throw goblin barrels on the tower just to force out the log. There's no way he drops units. This firecracker in the back is fun because we can get back to another one. Oh, that was not fun. That was not a fun experience. I actually regret that experience like 10 times, tenfold. Not gonna lie, I, I think that experience really sucked. Oh, wait, that hit his tower. Wait, he's logging to kill the firebird. Okay. What's his wing condition? Is it actually just a stupid P.E.K.K.A.? There's no way. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, no, I actually lose this. If he throws goblin barrels at me, I can't, I can't stop them. That is not a very fun experience. And especially when his units hit my tower like that. Especially when that happens. Oh my goodness. I think I lose. I mean, there's always a will in a way, but his cards are higher level as well with the firecracker surviving my firecracker shots. I mean, if he actually does that and doesn't lo Okay, yeah, he lost.
Do we full? Yeah, we do full counter. Where did I go wrong? I lost the game. <laughs> I played pretty poorly. That firecracker hits me. Real good. I mean, we're still going to try, but this is a lost cause, probably. Is he really going to try to, like, log cycle me, though? That might be stupid. There's no way, right? I lose. That's enough. I actually would have won. That's crazy, because we had the Goblin Barrel coming out of his tower, and we were actually about to get one more Firecracker shot, we almost won. Oh, we got to play better than that. Dang it. How high did we get before? What was our highest point? Oh my gosh. We were so close to getting that 43 minutes ago. We just got way more games. All right. How much do you deadlift? I don't know. I actually don't do deadlifts very often. I don't do deadlifts very often. All right. We need to get these last 200 trophies. All right, all right. Go Goblin Barrel here on the right-hand side. Try to get some extra value that way. Going right into a NATO. Not ideal, not ideal. Firecracker first so we can get back to another one. He doesn't have NATO in cycle, so I didn't have to drop it there, but it's fine. So Goblin Barrel here. We have six Elixir, nine Elixir, ten Elixir coming at him. He has Inferno Dragon, Barbrill. The Barbrill's gonna get hit by the Firecracker, so he has to spend extra Elixir. I think we do this, and then Firecracker. And that should be enough to kill everything. Nope, we're probably dead, actually. Even if we pull the Inferno Dragon, I'll probably just lose the balloon. I'd play that as well as I possibly could have, and it's not enough. If he freezes this, I'm super dead. But like, yeah, his, his cards are just higher level. Unlucky, unlucky. I mean, I could have done anything better than that. That was like the right place, and I just lost because unfortunately, uh, Lumberjack Balloon Freeze is kind of annoying with this deck. It's winnable. You just need to keep your Firecrackers alive and not have them do that. Um, we, we mechanically, I did all the right plays. I just didn't get the win. The guy's got Barbro and Tornado. It's just really, really tough. We're gonna do some damage, but it's not gonna be enough. Try to go for like, yeah, no, I just lose. All right, we'll be right back really quick. We're just gonna let this guy win the game and we'll jump on to the next one. I'll be right back one sec while he takes our tower. I'll be back. Sorry, I had something in my eye. I was like, this is bothering me. I want this gone. So I had to wash my eye a little bit. I had to wash out all the tears. All right. We go next. We go next. All right. Um. So he doesn't have login cycles. So I guess I go Goblin Barrel here. This is a really, 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 really good card cycle for us. Not him. He doesn't have logs, so he's just going to take a ton of damage. So we win this one. That's good. All right, all right. Oh! <laughs> 
There's no way. There's no way that that activated King Tower. Okay. Oh. All right. No more. No more oil up, guys. This is not a TikTok like terrible chat. This is a real YouTube channel. So, no more of that, please. That that stuff gets timed out and or banned eventually. No more. No more oil up. It was funny the first few seconds. Then like if you guys overdo it, you type it a billion times. It's not as funny. Um. Because I want to be able to read the chat, too. I want to be able to read the chat and see, like, extra uh, uh, other messages. Guys, got to be creative. If it's the same thing, it's, like, not ideal. If it's a different meme, roll with it. We win this one? What an ego? Uh, dude, hopefully. I mean, it's not, even, it's not even an ego. Like, if you are predisposed to thinking that you're going to lose every game, aren't you manifesting losses? Like... I don't know. I, I don't know what you're thinking, bro. But like, if that's if that's the way that you want to live life, then you're probably going to have a lot of bad outcomes happen to you. I try to think positively and then hopefully positive things happen. If it doesn't happen, then whatever. You know, at least I tried my hardest. And at least, uh, you know, that's the, the motto that we go for. We roll with uh, the best possible outcome if we can get it. Whatever happens, happens, though. All right, we're gonna firecracker here. Go knight. Firecracker should be able to kill the dark goblin. If not, then I'm just unlucky, I guess. Yo, yo, yo! How good are you on a scale of one to ten? I don't do subjective questions like that. Those are all really, really dumb questions. Um, based off of like, you know, as I said before, I compare myself to myself, and a lot of times, like, you know, I try to improve compared to where I was before. I did not play well right there, by the way. But yeah, I mean, depends on what skill level you're at, and that's that's how you compare yourself to yourself. You are always going to get better, right? You're always going to become a better version of a player if you continue to play. Firecracker's in a lock on the tower. Looks like we win this. On to the next one. Peace. All right, all right. What's the name between Sirtag? Oh, it was uh, it was an interesting name. We kind of got banned, and then Clash Royale uh, you know, made me change my name. It got changed to Jedrikin. My name got changed to Jedrikin. Instead of changing it to Clasher like they universally do all the time, it uh, it's always Jedrikin. Uh, how are you so good at rhyming? You should be a rapper. I'm not that good at rhyming compared to like actual rappers or people that you guys might see like freestyle at an insane insane extent like i'm decent at it but i'm not a rapper also my voice is pretty bad for rapping and stuff like that so what happened <laughs> okay i i do appreciate the oil sideways and the oil down thing for a couple seconds that was that was that was, that was a that was a good shift that was a good shift i appreciate that a little bit that, that that's respectable it's respectable for a little bit the um yeah if you guys change it it's fine it's fine uh, Jake has a fast mind. Uh, yeah, I kind of maybe something like that. I suck at the game. What are your tips? Uh, keep playing the same deck if the deck is good, and then you'll eventually get better. I pay you five dollars. Can I do it? <laughs> my dude, my dude is an oil prince. He's like, <laughs> can I pay you money to still use the oil? <laughs> no, <laughs> we don't have pay to win out here. Pay to win is in life and in video games, but not in my chat. Not in my community. No pay to win here. Uh, do you like chess? Uh, chess is okay, man. Chess is okay. Failing to win the tower is a coward way of winning. Uh, it's not a fun way of losing. So, I mean, it is a good strategy. It is an annoying strategy, but it is a good one. All right, let's focus up and win this. The more games that we play suboptimally, the more games we have to play. We win. Alright, so we go Ice Spirit here. We're good, we're good. He's gonna have arrows back. Do this. Probably going dual lane pressure is the play. Wait, he's got logging arrows. What the actual heck, man? There's no way that you get this lucky, right? Arrows and Zap, uh, Arrows Log is just crazy. He's got like a, 
this matchup is not really good for us. Not bad. If I do dual lane pressure though, maybe he doesn't have them both in cycle at the same time and then he takes damage. The firecracker hitting the tower is pretty big. Wait, did he mess up? He might have messed up. No, he did mess up. He misses the firecracker like three times, right? Where does the arrow? Not on the firecracker, right? Uh, okay, whatever. Do this. He'll probably go hog, so we want to save four elixir. So uh, we don't get to save four elixir. All right, those are really, really, really good for us. He's got zap too. This guy is actually just crazy. Like, I don't even know what to say. He's just crazy. He's out here on a mission to play against me or something. For real. My man's on a mission to match into us. With this type of deck. It still gets a hit through all that, which is not ideal. Alright, we could get spell cycled. But I don't think he's good enough to do that. Log arrow zap is just wild. Does not kill the firecracker, thank god. Don't get it to hit, but it's fine. We can get damage here. Firecracker hitting. That's huge. Thank god he didn't play well. Oh, never mind. I get unlucky. How does that not hit the tower? Does anyone know? Oh, man. If his hits my tower and I don't... I'm actually just a little bit tilted from this. But I don't think I killed the Hog Rider. Yep, I think I just lose. How did I match into someone that has this deck? Like, really? Seriously? Like, what What goes through Clash Trial's mind, like, giving me this matchup? We have to just spam everything. There's no way he lost that. That is so embarrassing. I don't even know what to say. Like that is actually beyond embarrassing. He just like logged our tower. Oh my goodness. He BM'd us too. That is crazy. That is actually insane, my guy. Your entire deck is built to beat ours. You have zap, arrows, and log. What? What? With level 15 hog rider? Huh? Okay. That's insane, man. He was BMing us. He really thought he won. Wow. Wow. Losing that game was so easy for him that he had a yawn there. He uh he needs to go to sleep, my guys. <laughs> Everyone says, Jake, you need to go to sleep because I have under eye circles. That guy, he needs he really needs to go to sleep. <laughs> We're taking all the negative comments and throwing it at him. <laughs> the Uno reverse card. Oh, that's so funny. What a noob. Yeah, that was not good on his end. That was a 100-0 matchup and he BM'd. Oh my gosh, if you guys remember that, does anyone remember 100-0 and you BM'd? Does anyone remember that? If you remember that, you are a certifiable OG. 100-0 and you BM. Does anyone remember? If you remember, you remember, and then you're the GOAT. Does anyone remember? I want to see if anyone remembers that reference. 100 and UBM. Let me know in the chat. Anyone know? I have eye bags too, Jake? Yeah, it happens, man. Sometimes people just have genetic under eye circles. My raccoon nine is won't go away. It is what it is. It's a meme Viking. I know, dude. It happens. It happens. That stuff's just like, you, you look at it, you're like, damn. You sometimes people have acne, sometimes people have under eye circles, sometimes people have other things. You know, everyone has something. Generally, unless you're a model, and then you're just like, I have everything right, and I'm like, oh man, you're you got blessed, you got blessed. Not me, sadly, not me. Oh, you guys are killing it then. You guys are OP. You guys are all just beautiful, as expected from our subscribers. All right, um, what can we do? Let's run it back. How do we win? What's our strategy here? Not even models have heaps of makeup done and photoshop applied. 
Yeah. There's a lot of Photoshop. All right, so when I was dating a while back, <laughs> um, I went on a, a bunch of dating apps uh, in like September, October, whatever. Um, and one of my friends told me, like one of the people I was going to go and see, they were like, do not go and see them. They're, they're like, they massively altered their photos. Like you could tell like they Photoshopped it. I was like, oh, really? Like I had no clue, a new, no idea. And then <laughs> you like stalked the Instagram of the person. And it was like, yeah, this is what they actually look like. And this is what they uh, like changed their photos to look like. I was like, oh, damn, that's insane. That, that makes me uh, like, I didn't know that like the Photoshop can make that big of a difference. Like I've never seen anyone do that before. I didn't know that even existed, so. That was, was just, uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty, it was pretty wild. I don't know if I should have told you guys that, but that was, that was one of those experiences. Shout out to Jenna. She saved me. All right. Can we firecracker on top of that? I hope we're in a good spot. Um, we have bomb tower on this. Where do we go? How do we win this? What is this strategy? Oh my gosh. Well, this is not a good strategy. Please stop hurting my feelings. All right. Ice Spirit plus Snowball is broken. Confirmed. Confirmed. He's going to have Log Earthquake and he's actually going to lose. My guy. My guy. You're literally going to lose. No way. Yo, 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 yo. It's going to hit. It's going to hit. It's going to hit. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, I get way too hyped up in this stupid game when I get a firecracker connection, but it's for a cause. It's for the cause of winning, my dudes. You feel me? You understand the situation. Do you understand the gravity of the position that we are in? Win. <gasps> Stop. All right, all right, all right, all right. Light work, light work, light work. I have a snowball. Ah! All right, we're good. Calculated. Always. Never not, never not, calculate, never not. He's gonna miss a lock, he's gonna miss a lock, he's gonna miss a lock. Yeah, get finessed, buddy! Get, get, get finessed by the green goblins. I can't, I can't even speak. I was stuttering like an animal. I'm stuttering like an animal. Hopefully our firecracker starts the stutter step. If you guys play StarCraft 2, you know. You're a real one then. You're a real one. You understand what the stutter step is. The stutter step mechanics. Hey! Let's go! <laughs> Bro got catfished? No, no, no. I didn't get I did not get catfished. I did not get catfished. I stopped it before I got catfished. You know the one of the most alright, you know the most unhinged message that I got? Or not most unhinged message, but um, you know the funnier one that I got? Um Like even when people were super omega ultra attractive that I matched into, there was always something like that was off. There was always something scary. <laughs> there was one moment I remember very vividly. And um, it was it was funny because they they're like, oh yeah, when I see you, I can't wait for you to bring flowers to me. I'm like, oh my goodness, there's no way, flowers on a first date, like that would scare me. Um, so I just I did never message her. <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I was like, this is not happening. Uh, like really attractive, but wanted flowers first date. You knew that she wanted um, she like probably was gonna be like, oh. Uh, I, I, she would probably like want to be on YouTube or something or like, it just wasn't, there was no way. There was no way that I was going to do something like that. That will never happen. I thought that was funny. Really testing the waters. Yeah. Life is good guys. Life is good. This is a good thing. All right. That goblin barrel play was a disgusting mid ladder menace play. I told you guys that was going to happen. Wait, this stream has been really funny. I, I feel like we've gotten more animated and had more fun as the stream's gone on longer. You just have to, like, release our mental a bit, you know? You feel me? All right, can we not release the loss here in this game? That would be really cool. All right, this is actually hurting me. But, you know, what if we Magic Archer the Magic Archer player? How do, how do you like them apples, bruh? We eating good tonight. We eating good tonight. We are delighting on your units. Oh, wait, that sucks. This is actually bad. Oh, no, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Oh, I hate being confident and losing because I'm dumb. Wait, we're not dead yet, but that was so bad. That was impressively awful. Impressively awful. W stream? Yeah. We are definitely a little bit more animated than usual. All right, all right, all right, all right. Say less, say less, say less. Less is more. It's something that we adore. 
Yo, the skeletons are to keep that in place. Your goblins die. Let's go. Use log. He overcommitted. I might be stupid, but I feel smart. I might be stupid, but we might tear his tower apart. Okay, I'm never going to say that again. I feel really dumb doing that. But we might be popping off here. Wait, what am I snowballing? What am I What am I doing? What the heck am I doing? These wall breakers don't even get pulled, do they? <laughs> this magic archer is a menace. Menace the society. So can we not play against someone with a fast cycle of tornado log? That would be really cool, Clash Royale. I would love you if you just didn't do that to me right now. You know, Tornado Log, surprisingly, is not a very fun matchup for our deck. I know, guys. I know. It's it's weird. Tornado Log is not my idea of a good time. There's no way he loses with the 100-0, right? Sure! Sure, lose a Tornado Log. That that's That's fine. We'll take that. Thank you for your donation of trophies. That is impressive. There's no way. There's a Tornado Log against a Goblin Barrel deck. He also has Bontar. I mean... I guess Evo Firecracker is pretty strong, but Evo Knight is also very strong as well. So I, I don't know how we won that. Donation to the Tag Foundation. I, I agree. It was definitely a donation to our medals and our trophies. So that was insane. Woo! <laughs> let's go. Let's go. That was a good W. We'll take it. How many hard counters are going to beat in a row? I don't know. The world may never know. The good thing about this deck is you can outplay hard counters. I like. I do like beating people that should not be beating us. And no. All right, we kill the balloon. I don't think we take any damage besides death damage. We go skeleton barrel to the left. Do we do? Is that what 100 out means? You win zero out of 100. Yeah, you should theoretically not win that matchup. I should theoretically not be able to beat someone with Tornado and Log when I've got Skeleton Barrel and Goblin Barrel with underleveled stuff. Ah, uh, you know, Casey, Casey, you remember. I love Surgical Goblin. I just wanted to get that throwback. I just want to, I just wanted to get that throwback. Mike is going in and out a bit. Ah, uh, it should be fine. It's only bad whenever I'm like pretty far away from it. You got to BM and assert dominance. Uh, asserting dominance does not mean BMing. You can just like be nice and beat them. And then talk to you guys and celebrate the win on our stream in our community instead of like flaming the other person. You don't have to kick someone when they're already down. When someone already lost the match, you don't have to kick them again. I mean, you guys might want to do that, but I'm not about it. Alright, let's just uh, run it here and then go for a firecracker probably. Yeah, I think we firecracker on this. Also, after I play these games, I'm going to go directly to the gym and I'm going to order some food. And I'm going to have a great night. It's going to be a good day. So I just want to say thank you guys for supporting me as long as, long as you guys have been. It's kind of cool that I can have that type of day, you know. I play Clash Royale for like five or six hours probably today. That's what I'm going to do. And then uh, I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to go to bed early. And I'm going to wake up. I'll be really proud of myself and happy. Like, I, I'm so, so, so lucky. So, yeah, I just want to say thank you guys. Because I was thinking about that for a second. I was like, wow. It's been a great day, and it's going to be even better. A lot of you guys are asking me how my day's going. It's going really well. All right. We're going to go for a knight here. An ice spirit. I'll be snowball. If that firecracker hits the witch, then we're a very lucky spot. We're very, very lucky. All right, cool. Does that hit, like, a random skeleton? What about a different story? We need to keep up the pressure so we don't just die here. Did the skeletons even die? Okay, they do kind of. Our firecracker is definitely dead. This bad. He did use a zap though. If I got back to a snowball and I snowballed on the skeleton army that is using to counter the goblin bro every time, like, we should win the game.
I do need to kill that Valkyrie though. Oh, he doesn't have a good card cycle anymore. We can Firecracker the Valk. How much damage? Probably a lot, right? Is my guy able to do anything here? He's just going all in. We just Ice Spear and I think we're fine. We Goblin Barrel and he's dead. He, he lost. He can't defend this. He just used a Skeleton Army so he's going to Snowball and then he'll lose to the Firecracker and stuff. Do this. Firecracker definitely hits. GG. Let's go! We take those! We're getting fired up right now. Sounds like a great day. Yeah, it's been such a good day. I really, 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 really want to do vlogs and stuff with you guys where I can be like, hey, this is what I did. I went on this trip or I did certain things like that. How cool would that be? I mean, even if it doesn't get that many views, I think it'd be cool for the people that actually cared about it. You know, get to see my personal life, the people I connect with, my friends, maybe going to like different countries, going to different places. Really something I want to do. Not like from an extreme extent to like showcase my entire life, but like whenever I go somewhere interesting and like have that vlog as somewhere that I can remember for the rest of my life, have that memory, you know? Um, and then when I get older, I could show like if I have a uh, family that wants to see it, I show them that. I'm like, hey, I did this. I went here. I don't know. That's definitely something I'm thinking about. You do already? It's just the pics of where you are? Yeah, I do the pics, but I, I kind of want to do videos. So we have the memories. That's why I'm thinking like, Especially with YouTube, I'm lucky and I'm in a privileged position where I could probably do the YouTube video and make just enough money to cover for the editing. I won't make enough money to like cover the vlog, at least at the start, but I think I'd make enough money that you guys, um, like I can cover the editing most likely. And then um, if that happens, like, you know, it'll be kind of fun, you know, at least for me, I would enjoy it. Anyway, getting back to business here. Easy King's activation with his bomb tower, firecracker here. Skeleton's on his Firecracker afterward, so it doesn't end up doing too much to our tower. Perfect. Great gameplay. We understand that because we've played this interaction way too many times. Uh, we're going to go Goblin Bro in front. He freaking delivers me. We're going to go Knight. I think he's back to Hog Rider soon, but he probably doesn't have that amount of Elixir. So everything dies to this Knight, I think. Oh, that's not good. Actually, really painful. This is really painful. All right, we need this... Oh my gosh, these mechanics are not good for me. All right, well, I guess we kept Ice Bear alive, but it also could have, you know, not done that. Let's jump on the tower for a little bit of damage, but that could have been a lot better. If we hit the Ice Bear, that would have been, you know, what I would expect myself to be able to do, but... <laughs> not, not good, not good, not good. Also, the Knight could have been dropped there, so then we wouldn't have had any issues with the Firecracker. In the future, I'll figure that out. All right, bad Bomb Tower. We'll go Knight. He's going to be back to Firecracker. Ice Spirit just in preparation. Yep. Glad that we made the prediction. Didn't get much out of it, but there's something. This is going to lock into the Knight first, which isn't great. This is a dangerous game. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, yo. I mean, I guess we're okay. We can Ice Spirit this and then kill it. Usually, Bomb Tower doesn't need an Ice Spirit, but since ours is under-leveled and we're not having the other tower help out, we needed to. We're winning the game right now. That was a very dangerous game that we were playing. <laughs> I'm not even going to fib. I didn't think that was going to work. We take those, though. All right, we're going to throw a lot of stuff on the map so then he maybe messes up. Allows us to get some damage. That log doesn't seem very good. Yo. Firecracker could hit a, a cannon and then hit the tower. I think it hits the tower. That's so good. That's so good for us. I knew it would. Oh no. <gasps> Please! Hey! <laughs> I only spent a billion.
The knight is locking onto the wrong thing. Doesn't kill. Wait, wait, wait. He's actually in a bad spot. <gasps> Whoa! Woo! Please! Please! No, Toby! You were supposed to do it! Oh, if Toby got that hit, we would have won. Toby disappointed me. What can I say? I'm going to get earthquaked. Probably logged. Toby, don't hurt me. Stop it. Alright, we lose. Toby got me good. Unless? Unless he forgets that, like, he can't just ignore everything. I mean, he's, like, trying to. I was so freaking close. I should have spammed on the other side. This guy wasn't good enough to defend. He actually would have lost if I just went another side. So in those matchups, you don't want to go same side as the Hog Rider player. You want to go simultaneous aggression. And a lot of times, their mechanics will just fold. But he kept blocking the river. He was smart enough to block the river, but he wasn't good enough to mechanically defend. Which is really, really, really weird. So like, I have to remind myself that the people we're playing against here are not top 1,000 or top 500 players in the world. So... I tried to get a cheesy play, which was the only way I would have won against someone at, like, you know, similar skill level as me. But at this level, I could have done that. Perfect. Yeah, all things after. You have to remind yourself of what you're dealing with. <laughs> it's like... I don't know. I should have went opposite side and I would have won. That was uh, not necessarily like a skill issue, but like definitely a mental block. A mental block. You feel me? I'm still offended that you call me monkey man, says average ape. I'm sorry, man. It had to be done. It had to be done, bro. All right. I could call you an infern ape if that makes you happier, bro. Maybe. All right, so I want to go for a firecracker here and just spam the evolutions because they're broken. Skeleton's ice spirit, night. That ice spirit doesn't even reach. That's awful. I was hoping the wizard would hit it. It's gonna mega knight me. Oh no, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. We did activate king tower, but this is gonna be down. I'm like I don't have knight, so I have a really bad card cycle here. How do I defend this? I have to like firecracker. And skeletons after, and it's just not not gonna work very well. Not going as well as we wanted it to at all. It's winnable, but this is really rough. We have to go in for a skeleton barrel and hope that he takes damage here. Alright, winnable, 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 winnable. Let's like not be stupid for a little bit. Let's play perfect. We're better, right? So like let's not uh toss elixir in the trash here. Knight going into an archer probably isn't great. We're gonna take damage on both sides. I mean, a freaking level 15 prince. This is really bad for me. That archer also might get a hit. They keep his elixir low, so let's try to do this. Wizard coming out. Okay. Go goblin bro with knight. If only I had the knight evo too. Imagine. Alright, the firecracker staying alive is really big for us, actually. We definitely want to go opposite side. We can't warrant going same side into this man, or we're just gonna lose. No, that might get a hit. No, Alright, wizard needs to die. Arrows kills the firecracker, probably. Oh, it doesn't. He messed up really big. Firecracker does one, get one shot, but he's gonna let wizard on too, so we're gonna be, he's gonna go like. Goblin, bro? Goblin Gang? Sorry. Goblin Gang is the answer. Alright, so he's gonna go for a Mega Knight. So, go like, Skeleton Barrel and make sure that we go Goblin Barrel at the same time. So when he Mega Knights on this, he might lose. Or he arrows this. Or he Snowball on the Valk. Nice. Really well played on a red. Really, really well played. Go Firecracker. More damage. Just such a bad play, dropping that uh, Collector Wizard. He's obviously tilted. Alright, when we focused up, I think we win. 
but we're just better. That was a good game. Whew, we had to really focus in that game. I did not play well at the start, and I messed up, and I overcommitted. And after I buckled down and just started playing intelligently on defense, we didn't lose. But you can't do like super dumb stuff and like overcommit into these type of players. You just have to rely on your mechanics and you'll probably win. Most of the time. We'll cycle evolutions, we'll get a, a, a King Tower activation, and then we'll play safe, and then we'll figure out what we're doing from there. That's, I think, the game plan. All right, so we'll go Skeleton Barrel here. This is probably a little bit aggressive, but it's fine. He's going to have Valkyrie. It's actually going to get pulled closer to the Firecracker, so then maybe we can get some damage here. Yo, this is really bad for him. Can Snowball that or Ice Spirit Skeletons? Let's Snowball. This Firecracker will die, but we can go for another one. All right, definitely want to go Bomb Tower up top. And the reason, again, is just like you want to make sure when the Battle Ram or Skeleton Barrel pops, like it's not near your tower because the Barbs have to walk so long and they don't... Take, they, they take a long time to get to where they need to be. Arrows? Yeah, well, it kills. Unfortunate. I guess um, we're going to go Skeleton Barrel here. And we'll try to get some damage, but it's not necessarily going to look super, super hot for us. We're going right into Zappies. All right, all right. Um, we can go Skeleton's Ice Spirit. Ice Spirit dies in one shot, so you don't want to drop it first. You want to drop it second, apparently. Go Night Goblin Barrel as well. This is really risky. Or not risky, but like it's 6 Elixir. If he Mega Knights me and all ends, it's kind of bad. But this is also really, really risky if I Firecracker this. If he predicts this, i in a bad spot, but he didn't. We're in a much better spot now. For Snowball, I'm going to go for a Knight. I did just kill his units, honestly. I think we can. So the Evo Firecracker, the River, I would not do when you already dropped a uh, 6 Elixir investment. But I felt like he wouldn't be able to stop me. Like, uh, I just made an assessment. I was like, this is fine. But most of the time, it's not fine. I just want to be 100% clear with you guys. That's pretty risky after already dropping six elixir there. So monitor your elixir investments and don't overcommit when you're down already. That's like the number one way to lose at mid-ladder because you're going to be down elixir efficient cards. Like, for me, I'm used to being able to get out of things very quickly with good mechanics and cheap cards because my cards are even level. But if you're down levels and you're down elixir, then you're probably just going to lose. So, a lot of times you need to be up elixir to defend certain pushes. Keep that in mind. Skeleton Barrel, other side to keep up the pressure. We don't even care about taking that tower. We just want him to spend elixir there. We want him to spend elixir there. I think he has to. Anything is fine. Like, the little prince there is good for us because now we can't build up this big peck of push of doom. And it should probably die. He'll likely arrows this. We'll go skeletons and snowball on the other side. Really. We're gonna arrows? Maybe? If not, we can just let that go. It's not taking tower. And we kind of wanted to go on the other side. It's a lot more damage than I thought we'd be, but still fine. We're trying to take the right-hand tower, so that's where we're really aiming all of our stuff towards. He immediately messes up, and we punish him for it. He's going to wizard or something, so this is not going to be a successful skeleton barrel, but hey. We can maybe so well. And then maybe it does. Be oh, yeah! Let's go! I didn't know. <laughs> That's so nice. It's really, 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 really good feeling when you win games that you don't expect. All right. We're a couple games away. We've locked in successfully, and we're playing a lot better in Clash. We're playing better now. It feels wrong knowing when you have one Evo and you're playing against two in your deck. Oh, it feels wrong knowing playing with one Evo when you have two in your deck. I don't have two in my deck. I only have one. I, I'm level 13, so I can't play two Evos. I am not allowed to. You need to be level 15. But it does feel wrong when you are playing against level 15 players that have two Evos, for sure. It's not a good experience. One of the worst experiences in the game. And I told Clash Royale that much. I was like, you should never, 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 never allow level 14 players to play against two Evos. Like, that's like something that would make me not want to play the game. I would just like never play this game. And I would just play um, Grand Challenges or Classic Challenges until I was level 15. I was like, and they're... Uh, they're like, oh, yes, we understand. Like, we're, we're going to look into this if this is, becomes a problem. And I'm like, okay, hopefully it's a problem because it is it is a problem. <laughs> That's what I told them. So we'll see what they do. All right. We're not in a good card cycle here, but maybe we can kill the, the, the thing. Please. Nice. If we didn't snipe the Dark Goblin and it locked into the night and we didn't get anything, I've been so sad. But he spent so much elixir. He's just dead? No, he's gonna like log or something. Uh zap, yeah, that's what I figured. 
He just didn't have much elixir. He barely had enough elixir for the zap there, I guess. He's losing to a night win condition. Imagine. <laughs> uh. Now we cooking. Now we cooking. Yeah, we are cooking pretty hard. We're doing well. This this ice spirit doesn't stop the dark goblin, unfortunately. Just dies and before it's able to jump because it, our ice spirit's underleveled. Um. Usually you can full counter dark goblin with an ice spirit. You can't with us with with our levels. Hog Rider gets countered by Bontar. Bontar should have been placed one more tile lower, but it's fine. Actually, I hope the Bontar dies so we can activate King Tower. Fight work. High Knight. Mega Knight doesn't go back. Beautiful. And then we can defend this with a Goblin Barrel. And then probably stop this with Skeletons. Ice Spirit. Bomb Tower again. Get back to another Knight. And even if he does a Fireball, I think we're okay. We can Firecracker here. And we can go for a Skeleton Barrel. And the Firecracker goes on the right-hand side with the Skeleton Barrel now. He doesn't have Zap and Cycle, so this might be funny. If he Mega Knights on this and takes damage, I will laugh. Aw, oh, come on. Not good enough. We activated King Tower, though. We're not allowed to do anything besides what we're doing right now. Unfortunately. To snowball this. We'll eat the damage because it doesn't matter. The Dark Goblin damage does not matter. It's so inconsequential. We have stuff flowing through him on the right-hand side, and if he goes Hog Rider in the left, that's the only way he wins. Alright, we're in a Firecracker, and he's dead. He's going to let that hit. Not enough for us to win, though. We can eat the Dark Goblin, then go Skeleton Barrel immediately after, because we don't want the Dark Goblin to lock. Alright, we don't want the uh, Hog Rider to lock. We are trying to apply pressure, and if we can get the Snow... Yeah, we win. We win. Because it just needs to do death damage, then we snowball and we won. Let's go! Alright, so our strategy was eating the cards that don't matter so we could get an Elixir advantage, so we could throw Goblin Barrels and Skeleton Barrels before he was able to defend. All right, we're a couple games away. We are really killing it right now. Dude, I'm actually feeling really good about our level of gameplay. I think, like, if we played like this the entire way through, we would have uh, we would have crushed it. But sometimes, like, when you're playing Clash for long periods of time, you go full, through ebbs and flows of playing well and not playing well. Played super well here. Won 11 games in a row. And then we lost, like, a lot of games that I didn't really want. We lost one, two, three, four. We lost four games in a row. After winning 11. So, like, you go through ebbs and flows of, like, doing well and not. Like, we got some tough matchups, but, yeah, it happens. Really late, so I'm going to head off. All love, brother. I'll see you later, man. We're about to hit the last arena. Or, the last couple games for the arena. We're about to hit the last couple games. Let's go, let's go. Alright, give him some love, too. Fuck. Alright, um... We'll go for a Bomb Tower here. That should be a dead Hog Rider and a King Tower activation for us. Ice Spirit is not good for us. I mean, it does stop the Firecracker, but took a hit. Skeleton Barrel. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. This probably is good. How much damage? Not enough. Not enough to warrant it. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe so. I don't know. We don't want to go same side as him, so hopefully this Firecracker dies without another hit, but it probably will because it's level 13. Oh, our level 13 Princess Tower killed it somehow. All right, we take those. Wait, this guy's got Hog Rider Earthquake Log. He hard counters. With uh, an, with a level advantage, he hard counters for sure. Ice Spirit on Ice Spirit is probably pretty good. It also jumps on a Hog Rider if we drop our Ice Spirit later, purposely. Plus one trade with the Skeleton Barrel into the Tesla. So eventually, I think we're going to get him with a thousand different paper cuts. He's going to mess up. His mechanics are going to mess up. He's going to lose eventually to something like a Goblin Barrel. We need to still have enough Elixir for the Bomb Tower. Um, if he doesn't Hog Rider here, then we can Firecracker. I think this is worth it. He's going to uh, definitely deliver this. Definitely delivers on top of this Firecracker. Has to. Yo, he's bleeding so much Elixir. He's bleeding so much Elixir right now. Well, the Snowball was not great, but it doesn't matter. We play better. He should activate King or Delivery if he goes in for a log. Uh, I think he's going to Delivery on top of the Skeleton Barrel if he's good. He drops Delivery before the Skeleton Barrel pops. Doesn't know the interaction, so he doesn't get it. So if you guys are unaware, you Delivery on top of the Skeleton Barrel uh, before the Skeleton Barrel pops, and then the Recruit that comes out from the Delivery distracts the Skeletons from the Skeleton Barrel. So the Skeleton Barrel gets zero damage if you just Delivery on top of the Skeleton Barrel as soon as you can. That is the strategy. Uh, what does he do here? 
Like, he has to understand that I'm a firecracker. He did not know that fast enough. He's going to log. It doesn't kill. He has to log EQ, but now he doesn't have log, so he has to delivery on top of the Skeleton Bro and the Goblin Bro. is isn't possible. He's not going to have enough Elixir. He just takes a lot. He was, like, at one Elixir when he did that. He only had Elixir for the Ice Spirit. All right, so we do this. He's going to go in for a Hog Rider with a, with a Knight, and he's going to probably Earthquake. So we're going to have to get ready with a, uh, Skeletons up high so we can pull the Knight back. So it doesn't, the Skeletons don't die to the um, Earthquake. And then we can Snowball and also Ice Spirit. Um, let's go for a Skeleton Barrel, Goblin Barrel a little bit further back. Maybe he misses. Deliveries. Ice Spirit means that the Firecracker misses the Ice Spirit, and then the Ice Spirit jumps on the Firecracker, and the Firecracker dies. Very cool. It's a nice interaction to know that. Oh, I actually got shot on my tower. I don't know how that happened. I guess level 13. Diff. So if he keeps his firecrackers alive, this could be scary, but maybe he will. He's gonna delivery again. He's just like throwing cards that he's not allowed to. He's not allowed to delivery there. He's actually just not allowed. He's gonna firecracker, so we have to ice spear and try to mess up his firecracker. His firecracker's still alive. That sucks for me. The bad hog rider. Perfect skellies, hopefully. No, nope, not quite. Ooh, I'm taking damage. I might lose. Really hope I don't, because I play better than him. He would just win based off matchup, and I guess that one last firecracker hit. But I did play better than him, so... Hopefully I can win. Alright, um, we got this, we got this. This is light work. Try to outcycle. My firecracker doesn't even kill, dude. He used log. Nice. And deliveries. Cool. Like, not gonna miss. All right. I think I messed up really hard. Yeah. It's a really bad matchup. Um, level 15 Hog Rider, level 15 Firecracker, level 15 uh, everything. It's like a, that's a huge matchup advantage for him. Um, just having these, like that's really, really big with triple spell. I wasn't able to win that one. I could have won it if I played better. It's a tough one. It's a really tough one. Does this Firecracker stay alive? Also, um, yeah, if you guys ever are in the chat and you like want, if you're waiting for me to lose and then you type some like mean stuff, uh, you'll just get banned. Like, that's fine. Uh, I just want to let you guys know that we don't really have a tolerance for that. But yeah, if you guys uh, or my moderators, you, you feel free to ban people like that. Because, like, I, for me, I really want to have a supportive community. I don't want people like that and, like, waiting in the woodwork for that. It's, like, the same thing as, like, sponsorships, right? If I take a sponsorship and then people, uh, like, really hate me and they're like, oh, I can't believe you would ever cover something other than Clash Royale. It's like, well, I don't really want people like that in my channel. Like, I don't want people that, like, hate me whenever I do something that they don't dislike. So yeah, just perma ban or get rid of those people. Um, cause yeah, I do want to win all the games today. Hopefully, fire hardest. Uh, can't win them all. Hundred percent. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so we can go for a firecracker here and then hit the electro wizard and then try to win off that. But yeah, I think that's like one of the biggest things with internet communities. A lot of people like try to get the maximum amount of views that they possibly can and not try to foster like a good community. I really uh, care a lot more about the quality of people that we have in the, the uh, community. Instead of like, you know, I, I could definitely make some unhinged jokes or stuff like that and get more views, but that's the type of stuff. That, or, or not just that, but like I could definitely do things that compromise what I would want and then I could uh, do things differently, I guess. And I don't want to just for the sake of views. All right, we're definitely not in a good spot in this game, but maybe we can win. Unlucky match if you deserve to win that match. Yeah, I didn't play perfect, though. I could have... I mean, the thing is that at the end, I tried to go all in, and I tried to get a situation where he wasn't able to defend because I felt like I wouldn't win and I would get spell cycled. And then I didn't have Elixir for the Hog Rider, so it's unfortunate. This is looking like an L2. I don't want to lose this game, though, because losing two games in a row really sets you back a lot. You're so close to it. All right. Um, there's always ups and downs in these games, though. 
We can Ice Spear and pull back the Valk. Go Skellies. Firecracker was bad. I missed it. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. Oh, level 15 Hog is just not very fun to play into sometimes. It is winnable. It's just like, it. this would die. This would die, but it's going to take my tower here. So we'll just go to the next game. Mentally, it's nice to reset sometimes. This is just a reset for me. I don't want to play this. GG. We go next. Just win we speak to? Yes. Spam just win in the chat. That's what we need. We need some just win spam. Give me some just win in the chat. Give me some just win in the chat, please. Just win. That's all I want in the chat. Spam it. We need that. That always fires us up. That always fires us up. <laughs> just win. No losses. Just win. Be better. Do better. Just get good. Exactly. We need just win. Just win. Just win. Oh my gosh. Everything. All right. Here we go. We got, we got the strats. We got the strats. We got the technique. We're ready for it. We're beating an entire arena today with underleveled cards. Imagine a universe where we play against E-Barbs at the very start of the game. Mitch is a Michelin star chef cooking up the E-Barbs dish. All right, so he's got E-Barbs and Goblins, and the Knight is going to lock on the tower for two hits, I think. That's insane. So good. So if you guys are unaware, two Goblins do die to the tower. Anything more than that do uh, get hits. But unfortunately, um, since our tower is level 13, it takes three shots to kill a Goblin compared to two. The Goblins actually get damage when they shouldn't. That Goblin should have got damage. All right. Um, he's got arrows. You're really rough. Oh no, Ornor. Oh, he's gonna give us. A, all right. After I beat this guy, we are spamming the twenty-one emote. <laughs> it has to. Be, it has to be done. Of course, we're Evo Firecracking on this. I need the damage. Because I can't deal with the goblins. This is fine. I can snowball, and it just dies to the Nice Spirit. Not quite. It's going to get like two hits on my tower. Hopefully not. Hopefully just one. One. Okay, cool. Winnable. We've got Bomb Tower, and we also end up having um, Knight and Skeletons. So I think we're okay on defense. We can't do anything stupid right now, though. We need to have enough elixir. Or cycle night and get back to another one. Notice how I cycle two knights because I'm petrified of losing against this guy. Imagine. Yo, that's a lot. Could have been better, though. If that goblin just does a million, I'm so triggered. All right, sure. Okay. All right, we're going to try to Firecracker on this. Doesn't do anything. Thank goodness he doesn't have Tornado. Be way more challenging if that was the case. He's got Zap Arrows, though. The bomb tower? Can I just kill everything? He's trying to arrows me out, I'm pretty sure, at this point. Oh my gosh, my bomb tower doesn't even one-shot goblins? What? Yo, this is against the rules and regulations of the duels. Alright, we've got expo, basically. The expo that mom makes at home. The expo mom makes at home. 
through you. Imagine. Imagine. Oh my gosh. e barbzine and then giving us the kiss when, he's, when he thought he won. The only time we ever BM is this guy so deserves it. Level 15 E-Barbs at the start of the game. Arrow Zap for our Goblin Barrel and our, our bait cards. And then like BMs. We can't even kill his Firecracker in one shot with our Firecracker because our Firecracker is one level lo lower. So he one shots our Firecracker with his. And he gives us like a kiss face when he, when he thinks he's won. I'll show it again. That comeback was huge. Like right here. There's a ton of damage to us. Like we're losing by a lot. Firecracker just stays alive, and then he gives us the kiss face when he thinks he's won, and we come back and beat him. That is so deserved. All right, that was nice. That was intense. Don't know if 10 wins in a row. Well, we're not going to get 10 wins. We, we got 11 wins in a row earlier. We already got, we already got 11 wins in a row. You can rewatch the VOD. All right, Knight in the back so we can get back to more of them. It's a pretty strong card to be spamming. Firecracker cycle is still the best. Yeah, it's really good against beating. It's really good at beating people that are worse at the game, that have higher level cards. It's like the best way of winning with bait decks. Like you kind of need Firecracker in my opinion. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to beat them. Goblin Giant is a scary card because we can't really kill it. We have to cycle a lot of knights and hope it works. So again, just cycle knights and firecrackers, and that's like your sustenance. That's your that's your food. That is the way that you win. Everything else doesn't work. All right, we're like two games away, three games away, two or three games away. Dude, we're going to get trolled and we're going to have to play like one more game for no reason. And sense it. Yo, can we like... How did that not activate King's Tower? Until my Firecracker. How did the mini pack? Like, I don't even know. He'll activate King unless he's really like not thinking. Yeah. Maybe? We can do something though. Like, if he activates King, maybe we can apply pressure. Probably not, but who knows. Try not to use buildings. You want to get counter push with units, ideally. Really, the only way I win this game is if I'm up a lot. Matchup is super bad. Yes, like, super throw. I think he did throw. You might not have any elixir. Nice. That was really, really good for us. Throw a goblin barrel at him, and that's gonna be a dead mini packer. We don't have to respond. Taps it. Thank God! Yo! He didn't level up his zap to level 15! Let's go! He can't one zap our goblins. That is the first time. That is actually the first time. Guys, I am so happy right now. I'm so happy right now. I can't. I can't explain it. Sometimes there, there, there is a fairness in the Clash Royale. Sometimes there's fairness. Imagine. Couldn't be me, man. I, I didn't think it was possible. All right, we really have to optimize our placements here if we have any hope of defending. <gasps> ah, please. Please. All right, I'm sorry. I did the goofy sound. All right, we're so dead, but like, I want to not die, you know? Hope he can do something here. Firecracker's still in the tower. <gasps> Please? For the one time. For the one time. For the two time. For the two time. For the three time. Just kill the stupid spark, you know, and loves her. All right, cool. Uh, uh, I need, I need to not die for this. So I'm gonna bomb tower. There's no way you just cycled that night. There's no way. You don't want to win the game. You don't want to win the game, my guy. I didn't know that you didn't want to win the game, but thank you. No, the zap. Ah, uh, just spam. He's got a goblin giant me. I know it's going to happen. I feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh, Lord. All right. Yeah. For the, for the two time. Wait, wait. 54. We win. Let's go. <laughs> You know what? He's a Bruins fan. He uh, he's from Boston, so maybe maybe he knows me. You know, maybe he, he felt bad for me. Maybe he's like Jake. You moved out of Boston, the best place in the world. I, I feel bad for you. I don't know if the Boston's the best place in the world. Just made that up. But uh, that's uh, maybe he, maybe he felt bad for me. Oh, the goofy sound! Don't su scream suddenly, my dude. I can't I can't stop myself, dude. I can't. I, you know, sometimes I'm just stupid. Sometimes I scream. Sometimes I scream. That's part of who I am. It's a, that's part of the magical experience here. 
It's the Disney World theme park that you signed up for, bro. I can't control myself. Muya who, guys. Muya who. We got him. All right, now we get zapped. This is uh, back to reality. Back to reality. Oh my goodness. Level 15 cards all the way around. Well, that was awful. Thank you. Thank you very much, buddy. Can go skeletons. I'm gonna let the firecracker hit. <gasps> Please. All right, cool. We should be fine. I don't like how the firecracker just doesn't die, by the way. Oh, finally. Very cool. Just win? I know, dude. Give me give me the just win energy. Just give me the just win energy. I need it. I need it. I need it. I need it so bad. This might be the last game that we play. We might have the last game, or I might need one more. But I want this win. I want this win so bad. Electric Spirit's out of cycle. We're digging deep. We're going in for the win. And I need this win. I need it. I got this. We got this. It's a light work. We're lighting up his tower with a firecracker. This might be stupid. I spent a lot of elixir, but I think it's okay. So how else am I supposed to get damage here? I need to find a cheesy opportunity like that one. Please, let his firecracker survive. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, firecracker, for being overpowered in level 15, because now you give me a free king activation. And I wouldn't have another otherwise, I'm pretty sure. We're currently beating someone that is scary. All right, that bomb tower, one more tile lower, uh, is optimal, because you want the other princess tower to be shooting the, the hog rider. But since we have King Tower activated, it's okay. Didn't want to fumble. Just wanted to drop it as soon as I could so we could have the Hog Rider take a tumble. All right, we can go for a Goblin Barrel. We can go for Knight. There's a lot of different things. This guy's three trophies away. Yeah, we're about to send him back down to the Shadow Realm for running level 15 cards. He's, he's about to get spanked, man. He's about to get spanked. Hopefully. <laughs> the, the confidence, you know, we're trying to manifest the win. It doesn't always happen. But or hopefully we can uh, spank the P.E.K.K.A. boy. Ice Spirit, Skeleton Barrel, Goblin Barrel. Try to keep this battle at the river ours. This Electric Spirit is going to absolutely wreck me. It's Earthquaking on Goblin Barrels. Like, his matchup is just not good. I mean, never mind. He's got Zap, right? The Zap, like, one shots our Goblin Barrel. This is a fine matchup for him. But, like, compared to all the overpowered players that have, like, five or six different spells for us, uh, this guy's matchup is not as good as theirs. Let's just put it in perspective. That's, that's kind of what it is. So, it's not a bad matchup. It's actually a matchup advantage, probably, for him. Because he's got higher card levels, right? He's got cards that can counter us, like Electric Spirit, Electro Wizard, and then Firecracker level 15. So he should win, but he's going to lose. So that, that is what we like to see. All right, Bomb Tower again needs to be placed in a better spot. This is pitiful. Bad Snowball, too. I knocked it closer to my tower. I don't know what I'm trying to do. Decent. Goblin Barrel Ice Spirit. The Ice Spirit's not going to jump. Firecracker does hit, though. It's going to hit the Electro Wizard. This guy just doesn't predict electric, uh, like firecrackers. It's like, what? There's a firecracker there? And then he responds. That's kind of what has been happening the entire time. I can't believe there's a firecracker. All right. You guys think he responds to this fire? Oh, no. Stupid. That doesn't hit the tower, at least. I think it's one shot. <laughs> I think I lose. We didn't lose. Surprised. Uh, so I had to deal with the firecracker first, obviously. All right, he's gonna do. He's gonna drop a unit. He's gonna have to drop a unit. He can't not drop a unit. And he just gets wrecked. Watch. He's just gonna be like, "There's a firecracker there. I can't believe there's a firecracker." And then he dies. He. I, I knew this guy. <laughs> I told you he wasn't gonna put. <laughs> it's in his DNA to be unanticipating the firecracker. I. It just had to happen. All right. I think we got it. No! Oh my god! One more! One more! One more! Come on, guys. Let's go. Get just get some just wins in the chat. Just wins in the chat. I did not calculate the trophies at all. <sighs> okay. Okay. We did send them back down, so maybe we play against them again. <laughs> Run it back. <laughs> Also, if you guys are enjoying the stream, make sure to drop a like. I put out videos every single day at 3 p.m. Eastern, so you can like and subscribe. Stay tuned for this live stream. Uh, whenever I don't put out a video, there will be a live stream. And I'll be showcasing the best decks in the game every single day from Top Ladder that you guys can use on Trophy Road or in Path of Legends. If you want to climb up in Path of Legends, I show a lot of good competitive decks. This is one of the best decks one. This is one of the best decks to play. If you are underleveled, you can level it up. 
and beat people that are higher ranked than you because you spam firecrackers or evo knights and then that will give you intrinsic advantages in a lot of your matches just something to consider definitely like and subscribe if you haven't already if you want to support me for free and also just get notified when we go live uh in the future so you can stay connected for these streams also check out the pin comment because the pin comment it has the entire playlist of this session where i play this deck from zero to the highest arena in clash Royale. so if you guys want to see this deck be played in every single arena and how i beat every arena with this deck you can see that in the playlist in the pin comment and also the latest one before this arena 19 was one of my favorite it was really really fun so that video will also be in the pin comment i enjoyed that one probably the most so far it was by far one of the best arena climbs that we've had arena 19 was very very fun anyway getting back to business we're standing on business here we're in a pretty good spot justifiably like playing against someone that is not running 67 different spells in an eight card deck is what we want to see um obviously him activating king tower and playing minor poison means he has matchup advantage but i think we can overcome it maybe first super chat for jake to snag the win let's go sir says jaden thank you dude thank you so much for the five bucks and all the donations all the sponsorships all the creator code money goes directly back into the channel so it makes the videos better and that's what we do we try to make the best videos we can also we are losing this game by quite a wide margin but i do not want to lose it's actually not looking great We're gonna go Goblin Barrel here. We're gonna have to Snowball on the Skeletons. That actually got more damage than I needed, to, than I thought it would. Uh, Firecracker. We probably just lost. I can't kill the Spear Goblins. It's looking really, really bad. We have to go opposite lane again. Switching sides like this just does not look good. It does not bode well for us, bros. He's got log instead of bar barrel, so we can't even latch off of anything. If anything, he just like stops us from acting. Yeah, he just activates king. This guy's mechanics are decent, and he hard counters us. But he let it lock. No ball. Bomb tower here pulls. He logs and misses. Okay, wait, wait, wait. There's chances here. There's chances here. It's actually pretty big that he missed that. Firecracker's going the wrong side though. Poison it again. We're using the knight to pull the bats into that. Oops. Ah, uh, rip. I think I would have lost that game anyway, but. Oh, man. <laughs> My eyes deceived me after three, three hours and 17 minutes of gameplay. It's unfortunate. No, I know. Two more, two more. Two more, two more. We need to trash your treasure. All right, we'll, we'll trash this guy real quick, and then hopefully we can have a treasure of taking a, a lot of more uh, trophies. That's the goal. That's the gameplay. That's the strategy. It was a really, 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 really good start. This is what we were looking for. That activates King Tower, then we can Bomb Tower against both Wall Breakers. We can slow down the Hog that way. It shouldn't get as many hits. Firecracker is a problem. We've played against this matchup a billion times today, so. We're, we're getting warmed up, you know? Skeleton Bear, other side is nice because then it, the cannon can't pull. Both. Skeleton's walk on a tower, that's a lot of damage. We're definitely going right side for the rest of the game. We can eat the Firecracker, or we can go Skeletons on it. I think Skeletons are better. But I don't want to eat any damage because, it, it, like, let's say he, teach, he, uh, he switches sides on the right-hand side later in the game. I don't want to give him that ability. holding bomb tower here arrows are just weird we could firecracker on that i don't know if he's good enough to predict it i don't think he is probably go cannon after he sees the firecracker so let's go knight let's go skeleton barrel he's literally got mega knight this is not good not good for us at all i might have lost i don't think i can defend this i don't know what i'm supposed to do I guess that was the only play that I had, but like, feels bad, you know? I lose. I hit my tower. Jeez, man. Oh, we're one game away, and then we get screwed by that? Like, come on. Rough. All right, we're, we're probably going to lose this one, too. We need to win two games in a row after this. Flash Row is not being nice to us today. It's, it's easy to say that. 
It's winnable, but it's like really, 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 really tough. Unless this goes in the left hand side, but it's not. Wait for that to lock onto the Skellies, then we go Knight. Go Skeleton Barrel, Goblin Barrel, maybe? But he's, why does he have Mega Knight with Cannon? I did not think that was something that I had to hold my Knight for at all. Really rough. He just uses arrows. He's going to use this as a leapfrog mechanism of hitting our firecrackers. We can go Skeleton Barrel here with two uh, stuff. I mean, there's still a chance. He might throw. He might actually be bad, like crazy enough to throw. There's actually a chance. There's a small chance, but there's a chance. He needs to arrows this. Right, we take his tower somehow. Dude, come on. Three crown? Three crown. It's a three crown game. <sighs> Alright. Focus up. No mediocre. Wallbreakers too is so weird. We have to like defend this minimally. I don't like that on our end. Um, he should arrows this. I don't know if I'm able to afford the bomb tower. If I can't. I'm kind of screwed. Can arrow this 100 percent. I mean, we could just defend for the rest of the game. All right, we have a lot of stuff flowing at him, so I feel like this will probably do something. If the goblins don't, I'd be surprised. Alright, we forced the arrows. Oh, we just go more skeleton barrels and more goblin barrels and just keep him on his back foot the entire time. He can't go into us. He has to defend. He's dead. His mechanics aren't good enough. There's no shot. GG. Let's go! Alright, we did it! <laughs> oh, I can't believe we brought that one back. Dude, there's no way. Like, there's certainties in Clash Royale, I guess. And in life. Death, taxes, and... Everyone at mid ladder randomly fitting a Mega Knight as their ninth card in their deck. My man legitimately had a random Mega Knight in there. Like, you see Firecracker, Hog Rider, Cannon Knight, and then you're like, ah, sure, whatever. Did not expect the Mega Knight. All right, let's go. Just went in the chat. Come on now. There's no way, dude. There's no way we won that. The deck you play 100% influences the decks you face? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's just like when you play an, a lot of games in Clash Royale, you are going to play against some bad matchups and your brain will remember those bad matchups a lot. That's just how it is. I don't want to be disingenuous and ever blame things based off of like, oh, the game's rigged. You can say the matchups are bad because that is real, but the game is not rigged. That's not how it is. That firecracker just kills mine. That's unfortunate. I think the firecracker level matters so much with this. These bats are going to be a problem. Can we even activate King? No. <laughs> I tried three times. Oh, uh, that's not good. We catch the miner though, so there's that. We're going right side. We're not going into that. Screw that. I'm like, I'm so not going into your stuff. We can't go into you. We're dead if we do that. I'm not that stupid. I'd like to think I'm not that stupid. All right. We can activate King with Bomb Tower here. I hope that it's able to kill at least one of the wall breakers. All right. Can I just get a Knight down for the one time? All right. Cool. We'll eat the minor damage. I can't eat the Firecracker damage. It's way too much. Gonna have bat but what is that bomb tower? Okay, this is good, this is good, this is good. We like this. Come on now, we eating good tonight. That's a bad bomb tower. That is four elixir down the drain. You should have never cycled that. 
Anything else gives you counter push. That bomb tower sits on your side of the map. It just decays, my guy. Beautiful. All right, he's going to go bats. So you can go skeleton barrel, goblin barrel, firecracker in his face. Bats, 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 bats. He does drop the bats as expected. How much damage did we get? We did outplay you so hard there. We predicted exactly what you do. We knew your card cycle. Skeleton barrel, goblin barrel, run it back. I think I killed him. I hope so. All right. I was going to say, there's no way Snowball does not Ice Spirit's fine. That should just die. He's not... Oh, you cycle the bomb tower, damn it. Activate K2. Firecracker. Eat the night. Okay. Try to outcycle. He didn't use log, he used it now. Winnable. Bomb tower kills. Ice Spirit Miner. That's gonna hit my tower. We hit the bats. Really big, actually. Force a building, please. Level 15 Evo Firecracker is just a nuisance. A menace to society. We forced the building. Now we can Firecracker in his face. Skelly's full counter. I don't need to check that interaction, I know. We did it earlier. Knowing that interaction, skeletons against the wall breakers level 15 is just like, it's such a blessing. Like knowing that interaction might have just hopefully won me the game. I don't think it will, but like it, it's one of those moments where you can like potentially win off of. I don't know if I do that fast enough. I'm ice spirit just for the bailout. Minor poisons. If they were better, please. That's such a bad matchup. Oh, I played so much better than him. That is an unfortunate loss. It happens though. It happens. I mean, I caught the miner like 67 different times. He just ended up having minor poison fast cycle. And with the firecracker, he just does more damage. The minor poison guarantees damage where my goblin barrel does not direct guarantee damage. Goblin barrel doesn't guarantee damage. His firecracker is one level higher. Firecracker is evolved too. It's just like, ugh. His win condition does damage, mine doesn't. That's and my win condition nets a negative trade every time. Plus lower tower levels too. I think he had level 14 at least. So like everything about that was unfortunate. Make it out of the trenches. I know, dude. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Don't don't even doubt it for a second. We will win this game and we'll win the next one. Sometimes you get unlucky. That that matchup was so unlucky. We played a lot better than that guy. That was that was a sad one. But you you can't win every game in Clash. I'm sure you guys are noticing that right now. Like you just try to increase your odds of winning. Like, sometimes you do get those matches where you're just like, wow, like, my card levels just do not win there. If our fire card card was just leveled up, or maybe our goblin barrel was higher level, we would have done more damage or something. Like, you can't really change that. Hopefully... Oh my god, why? Okay. Alright. We're just gonna have more of a challenge right now. That's fine. Deserve damage, I guess. All right, we'll go for a firecracker. This could be bad. I don't know. We'll see. If it hits the spirit goblins, I think we're okay. Really bad bats on his end. All right, he could activate King, or he just eats it. Probably eats it, knowing him. Cool. Very, very good. That's a lot of damage, actually. Holy hell. We're back in winning. We're back at it. We, we're back. We're back. All right. Yo, we are sweating so hard in these games, aren't we? We'll go like Goblin Barrel and Ice Spirit. Usually you want to go Ice Spirit before the Goblin Barrel, but I think this is the other way around here. We want to keep our Elixir low, though. Uh, sucks. I don't know what to do. I think I Goblin Barrel into this. Because I don't want to go left-hand side, give him a counter push on the side that has lower HP. Of course, the arrows, that's good. Worth. 
I mean, I got lucky that he did that. Double. Oh, that's great. That doesn't even kill this freaking spear goblins. Um. We have to go dual lane pressure or we lose. That's the only way I beat this guy. He's gonna have evil bats. I don't think I win. I actually don't think I, I win this. Thank goodness he arrowed. Okay. Maybe there's salvation in this game. Please just bowl right in front of this and like lose. Oh my gosh. He actually did it. He manifested the worst play that he could have done. We manifested the worst play that this guy could have done. I can't believe, like, I can believe it, but, like, I called it out. I just did not think I would get lucky enough for him to do that. The freaking goblins are level 15. They don't die. We can snowball on the bats if we wanted. Yeah, I'm snowballing. He's going to do another bad bowler, I think. Oh, that's a balloon. Oh, my God. Can I even kill this? Why was he holding this the entire time? I think he copied B-Rad's deck and didn't know how to play it. Something scuffed like that. Alright. I mean, that, that's still not enough for me to do anything with it. I feel like snowball on this and take the damage. Not gonna miss it like last time, maybe. Dual lane pressure is the only way we win. We can do this. Firecracker. I can't kill these stupid bats. I lose. I actually just lost. No way to defend this. I can't kill the bats, dude. Oh my god. Oh, that's so tilted. Oh. We played so much better than them the entire game and lost two games in a row. All right, that's Clash though. I mean, hey, it wouldn't be a challenge unless uh, we played against a full level 15 deck that hard countered us. That's crazy. All right, let's go. We will do it. We will do it. Just win. Just win. Give me it. Give me the just wins in the chat because I need that type of energy. If we don't have that type of energy, what are we doing this for? What are we doing this for? Oh my goodness. All right, all right. So painful, bro. I know that was extremely painful. We need some just wins in the chat. I couldn't have played that much better than I did. The, the minor game, I could have maybe played better, but I literally caught like six or seven miners in a row and I still lost. The tough one. All right, we're Firecracker here. Knight and Snowball in the Skeleton Barrel and hope he doesn't have to clone and mess up our tiny. All right, we're good. We're after Skeleton Barrel here because we need to get damage. Uh, we could protect that. I don't think it's worth Yo, skellies, and that's enough. I don't want to overspend because I really don't trust people in these games anymore, like at all. I really don't trust them. I, I, the evil bats in the last game were so annoying. I could not kill them. He just arrowed my firecracker, and my firecracker was my only response. The evil bats perma heal. I'm actually sacking that. I don't care. I don't care. Get, just give me the win. I'm literally sacking the evil firecracker at King, King Tower Division because I need it. No! That's the second time I've done that today. All right. That's not good. It's winnable. Winnable. Might be one of my worst games so far, though. Evo Knight is a huge problem, especially when they have all this stuff. And you get back to a... Oh, I might have lost. Alright, we do counter the cannon card, and then we can snowball on the skeleton barrel. We're fine.
I hate Snowball on Skeleton Barrel. As you guys can probably see. Alright, we should be fine. I think I win. I think I win. Got arrows though, so that's a little bit annoying. We're not gonna drop anything else. We're gonna do snowball here. He's gonna Mega Knight left, right? Arrows is it? Okay, it's fine. It's actually, really, really good for us that he did that. That was the dumbest thing he could have done. I think we're okay. I think we win. Yeah, I think we got him. This Goblin Barrel should do enough, and then we can just snowball him, and we win. Let's go! We take those! Not the best game on my end. I actually fumbled the snowball, but, like, I made the right plays with the King Tower activation, so we bailed out. All right, two more wins. Let's go. Two more, two more, two more. This is my CRL! <laughs> Doing it all in one sitting is not easy. I haven't eaten enough food. <laughs> really should have had breakfast before I played this. Yes, breakfast at 5.23. My brain probably is not working at full capacity. But it doesn't even matter, you know? We're getting after it. We're getting after it, guys. I hate having to snowball, but that's a necessity here. Can't eat a wall breaker. Is soon like... Oh, why wouldn't, why wouldn't you activate king? That's awful. Um, that he didn't activate King there. That was pretty funny. Oh, not again. We're not running it back with this again, dude. Minor Poison Part 2. Yikes. We have to get damage early. Let's go. Let's just run it. Let's just go Goblin Barrel. Because he's got damage in the left. He's probably going to go left for the rest of the game. And he's not going to know any better. Are we seriously matching into that Magic Archer deck with NATO Log? Oh, no. This is not a good matchup at all. Thank you, Clash Royale, for giving me a fair matchup again. I really appreciate our journey and how easy it's been. Last game was actually a good matchup, and we've not gotten good matchups recently. He's gonna hopefully mess up. I messed up. He's gonna log. I suck. Okay, thank goodness he tornado. I, I I guess he gave me too much credit. I I yeah, I'm lucky. If he didn't do that, I think I auto lost. We have to go opposite lane though. We did beat it earlier, so there's still a chance. Like less likely. With we'll skeleton barrel as well, because he's gonna be down a bit. He doesn't have NATO, so... Uh, okay, who does more damage? Well, he just bomb towers and he wins. I lose. Level 15 wall breakers do a lot of damage, surprisingly. So, unfortunately, you're not allowed to play safe in this matchup, if you guys are wondering why I did that. Um, obviously, if I had an even matchup, I wouldn't have to do something crazy like that. But, if you do not have an even matchup, imagine having to play this, where you have to get damage through a log and a tornado. But what do you do? You have to spend a lot of elixir when they're down elixir. The only way you win. Impossible. Alright, we'll go next and roll for a better matchup. We'll re-roll this. We'll re-roll this game for a better matchup in the next one. All right, Clash Royale, um, we will play against someone without Tornado and Log, right? Right? For the one time? For the one time? No Tornado Log? The next game with all level 15 cards and uh, Evo Knight? Yeah, pretty much impossible. Well, it is impossible. We'll just go next. Yikes. It, it is impossible if they, have, if they play okay. Like, this guy played okay. The last time we played against someone, they did not play okay and they lost. This guy is playing very safe and defensive and not wanting to throw the game. So if he just plays Bond Towers the entire time and doesn't allow us to get evil firecrackers anywhere near him, then he wins. And that's all he did. He just dropped Bond Towers in the middle, so I could not get a firecracker on his tower. Ooh, we did get one, but he's just going to log me, so I lose. I mean, we caught the miner. This is pretty bad most of the time for him to do that. But it doesn't matter since you can just log NATO. It doesn't matter. We'll go next. Was this guy better? Uh, I don't think so. Did he win based off matchup? The answer is yes. It happens in this game, man. GG. Well played. We'll go next.
Now we're going to be too tilted. Just say GG well played whenever you get hard countered and you move to the next one. At least when they're nice people. Like this guy, obviously. Like a decent person. Oh, Let's go. First time I've seen him mad. I'm not mad. I'm just tilted a little bit. I uh, There's a difference between being mad and tilted. When, you're, when you really, 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 really want to win. Like I really wanted to win. I lost that game. I'm a little bit like, oh man, I wish I won that. So, I mean, there's different levels of projections mad is a subjective thing like right like you can assume that i'm mad or whatever if, if you're mad or whatever um in this type of situation um but I, I feel like you should never project your feelings or classifications on someone else you don't know how they feel you don't really know how they are right so people process things differently right so like for instance when some people uh laugh they're actually frustrated some people uh do it as a mechanism of coping some people do it as a mechanism of, oh, like, I'm just laughing it off. And you don't really know if, unless you know the person. Do not, uh, yeah, don't project your feelings onto me. Hopefully we can win, though. I really, really want to win. And that's what you're seeing right now. I'm super, super focused and I want to win these games badly. I've never had, like, something like this where I've, like, been... Uh, I've had two really, really, really close games that I should have won that I lost. And then, um, yeah... If anything, the game I should have lost was the one that I missed the snowball, not the games that I think I played well in. But hey, it happens. This bomb tower is perfectly placed. I take no damage. Yo, Elite Beast, thank you for the $10, man. Love you. Oh my gosh, a classic wizard Valk combo. <laughs> the wizard Valk combo is too strong, my guy. The wizard Valk combo with log is too strong. You keep getting people 15 and above so sad. No, no, no. That's the entire point of this. this that's the point of the challenge. I'm showing you that you can win. It just takes a while. Usually what happens is when you play against these people, over level people, you take breaks after you're frustrated. You lose a couple games that are unfortunate. But for me, I'm just going at it. I'm getting after it again and again and again. We're nonstop until we come out on top. Also hard to play a lot of games in a row over and over and over. Usually we're going to go ice spirit plus night because we're going to get counter push on the side that he already has a bunch of damage. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, right side does not matter. This guy's going to lose. We do beat him. This guy is definitely not beating me. Not only does he not have a great matchup, but he is not even like close to playing this like optimally. He's messing up a lot of uh, bells. He's going to lose. We just need to counter the Hog Rider, and then we can counter the, the Skeleton Barrel with the Snowball. That's fine. Wizard doesn't matter. We can take some damage here and there. doesn't matter. This Firecracker takes tower. I thought the wizard would still maybe go and attack that, so I wanted to snowball it so it wouldn't be able to hit. All right, so we're two games away still. Let's go. No mediocre. No minor poison matchups with log and tornado. That's it. No minor poison with log and tornado. That's it. That's all I don't want to see. Anything else is permissible. Even a goblin barrel deck with level 15. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Assuming he doesn't have arrows, snowball, and log or something like that. All right, we kill all that. We go skeleton barrel left. Come on, give me the damage. Give me the damage. Zap, okay. So what does he have? Fireball zap from what we've seen? We want to cycle firecrackers. The evolution. He fireballs and then I don't have anything for minion horde, I might lose. Like if he goes like minion horde goblin barrel, I think I just lose if my firecracker is dead. Let's go Goblin Barrel off to the side because the Knight's on the other side of that. He'll probably drop something in front. Oh, that's not good. I got nothing from that. He logs. He got log zap, dude. What the hell? No way, man. That's rough. There's no way. Log zap with a log bait deck when he hard counters. Because I don't have a counter to Goblin Barrel. Yikes. Tisk, tisk, Clash Rail. Tisk, tisk. Fireball on that is weird. He missed, actually. So maybe he throws. Deserved throw if he loses this. Deserved, hopefully. We need to go Goblin Barrel in front to keep this Firecracker alive, or we're in a bad spot still. We're still in a terrible spot, but like we really want this Firecracker to do damage. If it doesn't, we're dead. 
Okay, thank goodness. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you for missing that fireball, my guy. If you didn't miss that fireball, we would not be in the spot. But that's also par for the course. Like a lot of these people don't know how to hit fireballs, don't even know how to hit spells. Like they'll mess up a lot into you. He's going to look at his damage. He's going to be down. He's going to do something really dumb. Oh, I thought he was going to do something really dumb. He didn't do it. We get Skeleton Bro on the Musketeers and then Snowball. And it might kill the Minion Horde. Ooh, this is not good. I don't know if I win, actually. Skeleton Bro on the Muskies. Those need to die, by the way. They're not dying. I'm so dead. I can't counter that. If he goes in for one more three musketeers, I'm actually just so screwed. Super screwed. I don't want to get too aggressive here because I need to counter a minion horde. I don't know where he's going to drop it. Fireball. Fireball zap doesn't kill. Fireball log zap might kill. Definitely does. We need him to spend all of his elixir on the right. Still doesn't lose though. What is he doing? Why is he not defending his tower? What? There, there were units there. He just needed to drop anything. Literally anything. There was anything he could have dropped. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> we were gifted a win. He had log fireball zap. <laughs> Level 15 cards up the wazoo. <laughs> he just... He just said, no, I don't want to win the game. All right, wait, 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 let's see what happened here. I think, I think he had something he could have done. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Maybe we got lucky. Maybe, maybe we, maybe we got lucky or maybe we outplayed him. I don't know. We'll see if we outplayed him to the point that he didn't have enough elixir to afford anything useful. What do you guys think? I bet you, I bet you he just didn't drop it. He seems like the type of player to just not want to win. I don't, I don't think he wanted to. We'll see. He might have, he might have not had anything because the cost of his cards are so high though. Like Fireball, Three Musketeers, uh, Minion Horde, like imagine, like having that type of card. Psycho. Alright, so, what do you guys think? Do you think he had enough? Like, I knew he was going to zap, zap takes. <laughs> Spammed all my stuff. <laughs> Alright, so, I would Goblin Barrel on the Firecracker. At least, bare minimum. But I, I think he lost, actually. Yeah, he didn't have anything. He had nothing. He couldn't have done anything. Because he could have minion hoarded, but it would have been too late. I guess I would have minion hoarded. I might have minion hoarded, but you would Yeah, you still lost. Firecracker, all that stuff. Got him. All right, one more game. We did outplay him. I did not, I did not think I outplayed him. I thought that he just messed up. <laughs> Let's go. Credit where credit is due. With his clunky and funky deck, he couldn't have done anything. So we did get him in a spot where he was auto, he was going to lose. We got lucky. He did not sell. I thought he sold though. I was right there with you. I thought he messed up. Yo, Ben McCormack, thank you for the $10 as well. And Elite Beast, thank you for the $10. Y'all have been really supportive of this stream. It has been a fun one. Let's get this last win. This guy's had 8,000 trophies. He's not giving us the free win, obviously. If he gave us the free win, I'd be so disappointed. Because we've been fighting this entire time. I'm so thankful we get to actually play a real match. Sometimes people snipe me and give me free wins just to like troll us. Uh, there was one person that uh, did it to like, I was like really hyped for a YouTube video for the, the like, million cards won. And I think that they gave me the free win. <laughs> I was like, no, not like this. So I'm glad we get to play this out. It just takes, it's so deflationary. Anyway, we're gonna go for a firecracker here and then we're gonna try to spam. It's definitely gonna be a rail recruit stack. Rail recruits wreck us as later the game gets, by the way. Our deck does not do well because we have no answer to fly machine. They need to get a lot of damage early on if we have any hope of winning. And obviously, we're good enough to predict the fly mission because I'm not bad at the game. So, <laughs> you know, it, it do be that way. You know, or don't you know, my dude? I'm so happy that that killed the fly machine. Sometimes it doesn't. At this level, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> sometimes you look at your cards and you're like, you should be doing a little bit more for me, my guy. Does that die? I don't think so. I think it gets one hit. Fine. If it gets two, I'm tilted. Okay. Ice Spirit with Goblin Barrel. Oh, no. Or nor. Or nor. Or nor. What am I supposed to do? Ooh, this is not good. Mamma mia.
me! Uh, save me! I'm so dead. I actually can't defend this. Well, those are level 15 recruits, so... That is a, po that is a probable problem. Evo Firecracker went to save me, by the way. I think if I had Evo Knight, maybe. Still a chance. Not looking good, but there's still a chance. Maybe he can't kill his Firecracker and just, like, lose this. Yeah, maybe he just can't kill the Firecracker. Nah, Firecracker's just gonna die. I mean... I mean... We kind of got screwed by matchup again. <laughs> This game, dude. There's no way. There's no way it's finessing me like this. I can't kill your firecracker. I can't kill your evil recruits. Nothing I can do. Oh, 15 evil recruits are so stupidly strong. I mean, they're already strong regularly, but when they have a level advantage, you just can't do anything. I made predictions on the fly machines. Oh, I killed it. I guess the skeletons were bad. Um, I could have optimized slightly. Maybe a better bomb tower placement. Maybe cycling the evil firecracker was the play. I just didn't know. Like, I didn't know if he's just going to fireball it, but he went for pigs instead. So, if he fireballs an evil firecracker, then I'm kind of just. Ugh. I should have evil firecracker, I guess. That's, uh, I know. Please just win. I know. Please just win. That's what I'm thinking, too, dude. That's the third loss, is one win away. Traumatizing. Okay, we're gonna win this game. It's okay. We're gonna get back to where we were. <laughs> I actually have to focus in these games too because I can't afford to lose. Firecracker on Firecracker, or do we go Skeleton Barrel? Ooh, probably none of them. Probably a Bond Tower. The only reasonable play here. Alright, well, I mean, it's relatively even damage. We still stay on the right side, which is good. The the wizard Ebarb's decks are just trash, so we don't care. We're just hoping that we don't play against triple spell fast cycle decks. Like, the only thing. These decks don't matter. These are easy. Or easier. When I'm trying hard, I don't lose against these. Unless I, like, uh, like, just mess up really hard. Probably, like, Mega Knight, yup. We'll snowball. We're fine. We're just better than you. Um, there's not necessarily like a good counter. Like that was the only thing I could have done with my hand. Um, if you tried anything else, you lose. Um, but I was able to defend that. I'm winning this game. I'm winning this game 100%. I, I feel it. I feel it in my bones. I'm gonna e barbs or do something crazy, and then we'll just like firecracker it and give it a million damage. All right, he's got like a mega knight and fur tower. It's not that good. The zap, though. Oh, no. How many spells does he have? Because if he does have 60, 67 spells, I might lose. I don't know how many he's got. I don't know how much juice this guy's got in the tank. Can you feel me, my guys? I don't know. I want to know, though. I need to know. Just zaps it like no big deal. Doesn't even care. I think I beat this guy. As I said before, I think I'm just gonna win. No ball full counters. I'm not super scared of him. Oh, the fire guy got a hit. That's lucky. Okay. Wizard? Something dumb? Anything dumb? Anything dumb? Nice. Thank you, buddy. I actually, oh, I, I messed up. I'm not allowed to screw up against this guy. I oh, just threw. 
I missed the snowball. I missed the snowball. I missed the snowball against like a unranked player. Feels bad. All right, we go next. We played so well with the King Tower activation with a Goblin Barrel, and I do that. That's a yikes. All right, three games. This might take all day, man. This might take all day. Now I'm going to fib. This has been taking way too long. But it's okay. It's it's for the memes. That Goblin Barrel placement is good. I do that. Yeah, that was a really good Goblin Barrel placement on his end. I also have been playing for four hours. So I guess I'm allowed to make some misplays here and there with my brain. But man, that was the like the worst misplay to make. That was the worst timing to make that misplay. At least it wasn't on the last game. Honestly, on the last games, I haven't been making misplays. It's like been matchup based. The last games have all been matchup based. The, the very, very last games. Also, guys in the chat, don't tell me to switch up decks. Uh, the deck that I'm playing is fine. It's just um, sometimes you get unlucky. I, we are getting a little bit unlucky in some of these games. That last game that I lost... Um, that was not matchup based. When I say last time, I mean the, uh, you know, the last game before 8,000 trophies. That, those are, those ones have been matchup based. A lot of times. Alright, we're gonna go for Skeleton Barrel here, and then we'll see what else we can do. Level 12, Skeleton Barrel, please. We need to kill that knight really quickly. We have to bomb tower this. That was bad. How much damage? Like two hits? One? Okay, we're fine. I think I beat this guy. Um, obviously not <laughs> not favoring us because he's probably got log. Still lo losable from this position, uh, especially since his dark goblin's level fifteen. It. Kind of just doesn't die to any of my cards besides a knight, so it's kind of hard for us to capture good trades against it. Terrible Inferno Tower. That's a yikes, man. He wastes his log, too. Maybe we can do something here. Snowball. This is really, like, risky, but I needed to. I need to make a prediction. I need to, like, big plays. Yep, you got outplayed really hard, my guy. As I said before, I don't have an answer to Dark Goblin in my deck besides like Knight, which is just tragic. Level 15 cards just don't die. Alright, he used his log, so then we can go for a Snowball again if we need to. I don't want to, he's probably going to predict it. Like, not dropping the Skeleton Army, and then we don't have anything for the Goblin Barrel. Alright, we're better if we win. That prediction on the Skeleton Army was really, really clutch. We need to keep playing like that. So, it's like not like super great gameplay or anything, but like... Making plays like that, identifying your opponent's card cycle, like what counters they typically use, and they'll probably fall into the same pattern over and over and over again. This is not top 1,000 ladder, so they keep repeating their same transactions. Like if they use something that works once, they'll probably just keep doing it again. At higher levels of gameplay, uh, where I usually play, like people will switch up their counters so then they don't get predicted. But at lower levels, people will just do the same thing over and over and over again. If they hard counter you, it doesn't matter. But like if they don't hard counter you to the point where they like it, 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 where it matters, then they lose a lot of times. It's just unfortunate because if you make that risk and they don't do that play because maybe they don't have enough elixir or they're slow, like they're just mechanically slow, um, then uh, it's kind of annoying. Then you ended up wasting a lot. He might Mega Knight. Yep. All right, we want a Knight here. I might have lost. I don't know if I defend this. I do freeze both of his units, but... Please. Thank God. Let's go. All right. We want this so bad. We want this so bad right now. I don't want to lose anymore. I'm so sick of it. <laughs> I'm so sick of it. All right. We're really not even reading chat during these games. I'll be reading it after the game. Like that's the level of uh, focus I'm at right now. And this does not happen. Usually I do not try this hard, but after losing the amount of games that I did, you're left with no other option. All right. We're fine. It's all dead. And the Skeleton Barrel does damage. And if not, then we go Skeleton Barrel on other side. Then we go Goblin Barrel. No way, right? Did that actually just kill everything? 
what? How did my electro? How did? How did that do so much damage? Yo, dude, that that's just illegal. The electro wizard killing my. I, I don't understand. Yeah. Okay, I guess my skeleton barrel sucks that much. <laughs> like instantly got popped. <laughs> that's so sad. All right. Uh. Okay. If I ice spirit, it doesn't reach tower. If I knight, I can cycle multiple of them, and I can cycle more firecrackers. That's probably the play. If he Mega Knight's other side, we're fine. Mega Knight's into us. That's stupid on his end. Uh, we can just go Bomb Tower. Unless he has something big, it's fine for us. We can cycle multiple Knights. Notice how I cycled the Knight early and I'm back to another one like I never even left? That's how you play this. Because you can't depend on your one Knight to defend against their Bridge Bam because it's overleveled. You need to get two Knights on the field a lot of times when you're underleveled. I uh, just cycled into a log, but the firecracker might give us some finesse. It doesn't happen. It's fine. Electro Wizard dies. Really bad gameplay on his end, spamming all that into us. It's huge for me. We can go Goblin Barrel. It's all dead. We're fine. Firecracker at the river, probably. If he doesn't Mega Knight. Honestly, even if he does, I should have Firecrackered. I didn't play well. I should have. I would have won. I would have won. Bad gameplay. Really bad gameplay, man. Oh my goodness. Bomb Tower here. I guess I'm just playing safe because I don't want to throw. You guys feel me? We're being thorough because we don't want to throw. Right, GG. Thank goodness we got a good matchup. Like, this is unheard of, right? <laughs> Question mark? Not really. It's always good matchups until the last one. It's always the last one that screws us every time. All right. All right, guys. Let's run it back. There's, there's no way. There's no way. There ain't no way we run into another recruits player. There ain't no way we run into a double small spells player. There ain't no way that we run into a minor poison player with a fast cycle that barely beats us after we catch 10 miners. We are manifesting the good luck. It is happening now. We will win. Let's go. All right. Just win. Just win. Spam the chat with just win. This guy is one trophy away. All right. This is a match made in heaven. This is a match made in heaven. We got this. It's light work. Yo, he's got a level 14 firecracker. It's not level 15. Thank goodness. We rolled into the luck. We rolled into the luck, my dudes. All right. Firecracker and firecracker. Mine wins. I'm better. My firecracker is better. She's stronger. She's smarter. <laughs> All right. We're going to go Goblin Barrel. All right. Skeletons, Ice Spirit. Been doing this all day. I'm not missing it. Yo! Let's go. All right, it's light work. We're going to firecracker on top of the princess. It one-shots it, one-shots it. We know these interactions. This is my CRL. This is my CRL. 8,000 trophies. Get at me. Get out of my game. <laughs> oh, it's too funny. I've never tried so hard in a casual game in my life. Peak performance right now. No mediocre. Screw it. I'm not losing this. I'm not losing this. This is against my religion to lose against you right now. You're missing that. The Ice Spirit stays alive, jumps on your Firecracker, or jumps on your tower, but it doesn't because it's underleveled. Feels bad, man. We're wrecking you. We got this. This is no mercy for the Mega Knight player. I'm telling you guys right now. All right, we're getting after it. Uh, oh my goodness. I've never tried so hard in my life. You know, fireball on the firecracker, negative one trade. We take that. We take those. We're going to go skeleton barrel, pop his bats. It's fine. Bomb tower here. It's I. Right. We go ice spirit. We get back to night. We make sure the mega knight jumps for nothing. And then we knight it. And then it dies. And then we firecracker on the princess. Stays alive. And then we can probably get something else out of this. We're just playing safe. We're not throwing against you. This is not a loss. This is a win. All right, so that bomb tower is kind of gone. Mini pack is going to be a problem. It, I don't want to be an Aragoner right now. I don't want to be an Aragoner. So I'm going to go Skeletons, pray that the mini pack just dies to that, and we can go Goblin Bear if we need to. Yep, we do. If he pre-spells again, I'm just going to cry. All right, he's going to Mega Knight. That's fine. Skeleton Barrel pops on tower. Maybe. Maybe not. Firecracker again. Mega Knight should just die. He's going to go Bats. We snowball them. You're so predictable. You literally are out of a book, my guy. All right, the fireball's annoying, but fine. The zap doesn't kill. Interesting, unique. This is really bad gameplay, man. I don't know what that firefighter was supposed to do. He needs to shoot the tower for lucky, but it doesn't. Uh, I think I win this because he can't like zap through a uh, goblin barrel. So I think I win. 
All right, we're a bomb tower, no princess, no shenanigans, no bamboozle. Got one barrel twice, and I think I win. The strat. Fireballs on that, that was really, really good for us. Bad night, that's fine. Goblin Barrel again. Okay. We're gonna try to protect this as much as we possibly can and throw more Goblin Barrels on the tower because he doesn't have an answer to Goblin Barrel from what I see. There's like no answer to Goblin Barrel in his deck. Ooh, that's not good. Maybe not good thing. Wait, this Firecracker? Why am I throwing so much? <sighs> Alright, let's not lose this. I lost. He fireballs. Oh my gosh! There's no way! I played so well until... I, this is... I swear I'm not doing this to make the stream go longer. I swear I'm not doing this to make the stream go longer. Oh my god! Alright, two more. Two more. <laughs> oh, I just cycled the night at the river. I should have firecracker multiple times. I choked because I wasn't confident. Oh my goodness. It happens. I tried. Choke master? I know, dude. I know. It happens. I'm literally choking... I think this is probably pretty relatable for maybe some of you guys where you're trying to get the last thing and you just freaking lose every time. You're like, oh, erp to derp. But yeah, the, the, the goblin barrel that wasn't dropped directly. I should have thrown more goblin barrels. I had matchup advantage. I really did. Now I don't have matchup advantage. I had matchup advantage. I lost because I don't think he had anything. Like I played so well at the start. I played really, 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 really well at the start. And then I just threw. Sometimes when you're playing too safe, you play so safe that you can't, like, do anything. Like, I played way too safe that game. I played way too safe that game. Way more, uh, way too safe. But hey, it happens. Need more tricky barrels? No, I just needed to drop the goblin barrel in the tower instead of dropping it so then the Mega Knight could kill all the goblins. Bad gameplay on our end. But it happens. This is a terrible matchup for me. By the way, he hard counters the hell out of me. Like, having a Rail Giant into a uh, Bomb Tower is not good for us. We, he knows that. He just drops it. Probably going to lose. Okay. Firecracker here. I don't think I could have played that better on defense. Thanks. All right. Ice Spirit. Run it back. Barbarians, uh, kind of annoying. I don't have much for that, and I can't. I can snowball and then get back to an Evo Firecracker, but that's all I can do. And that doesn't even kill everything. Why do you have poison with Royal Giant? You know that doesn't even work, right? Like Royal Giant, fundamentally, you want to break through buildings. But I guess if you have level 15 Royal Giant, it doesn't matter because it still breaks through buildings anyway. Yikes. I think we lose. I think we lose. I know we lose, actually. Unless he seriously finds a way to throw a 100 but I don't think so. I don't know if I can even kill that. Okay, I do. Lucky, lucky, very lucky. Okay. Okay. Wait, there's a chance. If he continues to do things like that, he can lose. Really, really hard for him to lose this, though. If I don't get this knight down, I lose. Oh, I didn't need to. Uh, I thought that the bandit would dash, so I was freaking out. Wait, the firecracker didn't hit anything. How? How did she just sit there and not hit? This firecracker's going to hit my tower from the other side, but I can't do anything about it. I lose. 
This matchup is so unfair. Damn it. I can't believe, like, we get a good matchup, we throw it, and then we get a matchup that's impossible. All right, we'll go next. We'll go next. Well, you got to win three games in a row now. Oh, my goodness. The tilt. Actually happening. It's actually happening here. By the way, guys, I do not need tips or any help. Uh, I understand how to play the game at a decent level. I'm top 1,000 in the world at all points in time. At the end of the season, I'll show you guys my profile if you don't believe me. Um, I am just trying to win. I am trying my hardest. Um, yeah. Tips and tricks. like I know like Tricky Barrel, all that stuff. I, I know all that stuff. It's not really going to help me. Those type of things like do not help. Uh, we can do this and then go for Skeleton's round on top of the Executioner and hopefully it doesn't hit our tower. It shouldn't. Ice Spear here as well. Firecracker kills. We're good. No, we're not. Uh, this Rogue Ghost gets pulled. I don't think people understand Tag's levels are four levels under leveled. Yeah, I don't think people understand that either, but it is part of the process, right? I'm on all. I'm all in for a 24-hour stream. It's not gonna be 24 hours. It's not gonna be 24 hours, but it's 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 reaching a pretty ri ridiculous point. Four hours and 11 minutes is longer than it's ever been for me. Never struggled for any of these before. Okay. Um. But yeah, if I had even card levels, these people would never, 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 never beat me. To be real, just to be real. <laughs> Um, that's part of the reason why this is a challenge and that's why it's like something that I'm doing. If you don't understand that, then uh, that's pretty crazy. Um, like level 12 Skeleton Barrel just does not do as much as a level 15 card, for instance. It just doesn't do as much damage. But it is the way to play with a level 12 card. That's how you can beat level 15 players. It's possible to win. It's harder, you know. All right. So it looks like we win this game. Which is good. I'm really happy. I'm really, really, really happy that we win this. I'm surprised that I still have like a mental after playing for four hours of Clash Royale. You guys got to give me uh, some credit for that or some respect for that. Four hours of playing Clash. Imagine. Also under leveled for four hours. Not easy. While co commentating and you know talking to everyone. That should not have hit right. Okay. I'm gonna fireball it anyway, I guess. Alright, I think I have an okay matchup because. No, I don't. I don't. I really don't. The Royal Ghost is super obnoxious. Does Tesla hit it? Oh, yeah, it does. Let's try to keep his elixir low and maybe we can Evo Firecracker in his butt. we bond tower here? No, I just get nothing. Like, if we drop it this in the back, it just doesn't do anything. You guys are saying Tricky Barrel against someone that activates King Tower? It's like, look at that. I get one goblin and it just dies. I just want to show you guys. It just doesn't do anything. It doesn't, doesn't matter. This Tesla also kills my bottom tower, so if it was like even level, this would be different, but it doesn't work out. Can't afford to lose this game. We do want to outcycle. Maybe that's like a small chance of winning. I didn't trust it. I thought it would like reach. Can we please kill the stupid Tesla so we can get a firecracker? It's not happening.
Why is he fireballing that instead of our, our weaker tower? Alright, we win. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Vlog fast cycle with like 67 different annoying splash damage cards that we had only a night for. Not easy. But not a bad matchup comparatively to what we could have played against, I guess. He just didn't have a link edition, so... Wait, how far away are we away? We're like many. Yeah, we're super far away. Oh, we're two games away. Two games away. I thought I was like three games away again, so I was like, oh, wait, did it not update? But no, we're still fine. For night, because Dark Goblin doesn't die to Skellies, unfortunately, I don't think. Um, at our level, at least. Um, what do we do? Executioner. We go Skeleton Mirror, other side. This is important. It's just to constantly apply pressure. If Firecracker hits tower, a lot of damage. I'm not even going to get excited until we get it. <laughs> I'm like, like, even if like it looks like we've won, I just can't even say it anymore. A snowball. There's going to be a lot of damage because I didn't optimally drop my placement. We're going to go Skeletons and we do kill the Executioner without it hitting our tower for two more times, so. We're in a really bad spot. We're in a really, 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 really bad spot. Why do you keep Dark Goblin? It's so bad. Alright. Um, Tesla is also awful. You dropped seven Elixir there. No, eight Elixir. You dropped eight Elixir on top of three Elixir Knight. That's crazy. Like, those type of trades, like, this this would not be a loss because I would be able to drop a bomb tower. And if you understand anything about the game, a level 14 bomb or level 15 bomb tower and a little into a level 15 executioner and uh hog rider is fine. Like I don't lose that interaction. Like I'm fine. I don't have to spend any extra elixir and he loses because then I would have more elixir to throw goblin barrels. But instead, since the executioner survives, I take a lot more damage. So it looks like I'm playing worse. I'm not actually playing worse. I, I dropped one incorrect tile. I dropped a tile incorrect. He's dropping eight worth of elixir to counter three. There's a huge difference in skill level from that department. So if you lose games against stuff like that, it can get tilting really quickly. If that makes any sense. Like, I am making one small micro decision away from being perfect, and his, like, is a galaxy away, where it's like, I'm dropping the wrong card at the wrong timing, and also, like, doing everything wrong, basically. Um, but sometimes, like, higher level cards allow you to do that and get away with it. That's, uh, I guess that's the explanation. That's the explanation I'm going to give you guys. Um, which is fine. It is part of the game. It is part of the game. And it, it, that's what makes this challenge so satisfying too. Like being able to accomplish it and be like, I did it. Cool, you know? Usually the things that are easy aren't worth doing or aren't as satisfying doing, in my opinion. At least from my experiences. We definitely want to go opposite side. Hopefully the firecracker stays alive. It does stay alive. It's huge. Knight here. Oh my gosh. What happened? How? How did that? I don't even know. I don't want to know, but I do want to know, you know? Oh, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, God. We don't want the Dark Goblin to lock onto us, so we waited a little bit. I have to kill the Spear Goblins. Can't, like, risk any of them hitting my tower. I forget his small spells. The Firecracker hits. What? Oh my god, how'd that die? Bomb... Is there any way that a skeleton reaches my tower? How do we kill this? We have to go, like, skeleton barrel on it, right? The knight? Dude, I almost misclicked and didn't drop the knight. Does that kill? I can't see the hog rider HP. Misclicked. Really bad.
Yo, I'm just glad he doesn't have a firecracker. I can't kill the knight, at least. I wish your cards weren't like that, man. Wish you didn't have a level 15 Evo Knight, but it's whatever. That is upsetting. Oh, fast cycle log with a freaking level 15 card I can't kill. That's the, that's the issue. Oh man, this guy's so much lower than us too. There's gonna be a lot of trophies lost if we lose. We can't lose this. All right, we got this. Brutal but good game. Yeah, tough match. Dude, it's gonna, gonna have Archer Queen too. <laughs> Every match is life or death situation now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm getting more tired as I play more. So, like, we can't lose. Because it'll take longer. Got ready to go night here. Galton Barrel? Yes, yes. This guy's not good. Thank God. God, that was so lucky. You're running minor poison, which would hard carry me all the way down. And I would not win if he plays this at all good. He's not going to. Based off of what we just saw. Might go like Bomb Tower, Tesla, and Fire Tower, or something like that, and Skeleton Barrel just cost three elixirs. So this is a bad trade. I think King Tower is awful for us, but I think we would win. Next time, I'm probably playing a Minor Poison deck. <laughs> like, uh, to reach the top leaderboard, just because um, it's even easier. Like, I, I can't get hard countered, really. I just kind of win everything by throwing poisons at the tower, and I win. Having no big spell makes this a little bit more challenging. Um, if they do end up having a lot of like cards that you can't kill. But the Evo Firecracker generally does pretty well. That's really good. Nice, we force a lot of elixir. The bomb tower here. Maybe he'll soak up the rest of it. Remember, he's got minor, so we want to save the knight for that. Very cool. So, I think if there's any shot that we get a delivery from him, he loses. But I don't know if he's that bad. Got log delivery. We're really hoping that he drops delivery in front of his tower and we outcycle his log. That's how he loses his game. By, by being really dumb and dropping a delivery. That's what we want to see. That's the only way we win this. He's going to do it eventually. We know he will. We just are waiting for it to happen, kind of. Log delivery, fast cycle again, guys. Like, come on. And this guy's way lower than us with trophies. It's not like we're even getting sniped. I mean, we might have gotten sniped a couple times, but you can't really tell when. It's more so just getting unlucky. This is extremely unlucky. We're gonna try to whittle him away with uh, keeper cards, and then maybe we can get like the skeleton barrel to connect. Maybe he'll like mess up, like keep the firecracker alive. Like this is really good. He couldn't have played that much worse. That's what we're looking for. Well, ice spirit. We're not gonna spend extra elixir on the queen because he messes up. Really bad. Drop a goblin barrel a little bit further back, see if we can finesse it. Logs a lot later. Yeah, I don't think... I mean, he should start Minor Poisoning us and going same side, but maybe he's not good enough. Snowball is probably okay. Wait. Goblin Barrel directly on the tower. Right here, keep the Firecracker alive as long as we possibly can. We need this Firecracker to stay alive for a century. He should be poisoned on this. I don't know what he's doing. Miner on it. Skeletons protect. For a little bit longer. Not long enough. Uh, Firecracker does hit the, the Archer Queen again. There's no way he's going to try to make a push with this. It's not going to work. Fine. The Firecracker does a breakthrough. Good delivery on this. 
The Ice Spirit Skeletons, Knight, Skeleton Barrel, Goblin Barrel. Fire Cracker, other side. Ice Spirit Skelly's Knight. Ice Spirit, so you can always catch the Miner and then you drop your stuff after. He should never lose this game. Yeah. This is ridiculous that we won that. Wow. Alright, Clash Royale. We're not going to get any more of those, right? Okay. Glad we had this conversation. No more Miner Poisons or anything with three spells with a fast cycle. We only got 26 for that, too. We got a back-to-back. -back. Two quick card cycle log decks. But this one's worse, obviously, for us. Imagine having to get that, like, after getting tilted. That's really, really hard. That's really hard. Royal Giant, specifically, and then that. Those are the two that we're scared of. And Expo, I guess. So three decks. Golem is more okay, because most of the Golem decks don't have Elixir Collector at lower ladder. They'll just be running really random stuff. So really random stuff just kind of dies to Firecracker spam. And yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's really a numbers game. A lot of things in life are. Um... A lot of things that you want to do, like finding the right thing to do in life with, that you enjoy. A lot of things you have to experiment with. Um, Clash Royale, sometimes it's a numbers game. You just have to play enough games and then eventually you'll get over the hurdle and you'll win your, your matches and you won't get unlucky. Sometimes when you're dating, right, you're trying to find the right person. It's a lot of numbers games until you find the right person that you like. So many things. Friends as well. Kind of same thing that universally applies in life. I'm gonna firecracker here. I don't think this is great, but I do want to kill the musketeer and I want to I mean cycle to the firecracker Evo, so I'll be it. I'll pay one more elixir to get to the Evo faster. Might as well. I don't care. I misclicked the Bontar again. I'll ice spirit just to uh Oh my gosh, is that skeleton gonna move? Oh, it does, thank god. Um alright, we're we're fine. Bomb tower should be one more tile lower. If if you're at higher ladder, it does matter. A little earthquake, and then you won't be able to counter it as effectively. You want both princess towers to be shooting on the uh, the hog rider, so that matters a lot at le a higher levels of play. At lower levels of play, it doesn't matter at all. Drop a little 15 uh, bomb tower, and you're fine. You can be worse at the game if you have higher level cards. Sometimes. You're allowed to. You're allowed to be bad. Uh, but with ours, there's not as much room for error. You have to just drop it here every time. If you don't want to spend anything extra elixir. Otherwise you get punished and you have to drop an ice beard or skeletons. Which is fine. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it's not something you want to do. Can we not have that die? Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, our ice beard actually dies in one shot. That's a pretty big difference. Uh, do we lose? No, no, we're fine. The the sometimes the um, evolution just goes through uh, spells. Terrible play on his end. We lost. Didn't really matter yet. Maybe it will. If that giant skeleton just doesn't die, I think we lose. I think we lose. What a fun matchup. We can't kill his cards. Tragic. He made a pre-log and still got away with that. That's crazy. Usually at a higher level, they just lose. Like if they do, if they do a pre-log like that into a goblin barrel, just freaking lose the game. 100 percent You can't just do that. Unless you have like uh I don't know. Unless you have like the right supporting cards, but like level 15 hog right just allows him to stay on offense and wins. Great. Okay, we'll go next. It's fine. We just won't match into a hog cycle deck. We'll match into some more scuff decks because mid ladder still has more scuff decks than it does regular decks. We'll, we'll match into some like scuff decks that aren't that. Um. Oh my god! Why? Why are we playing against another person forty trophies under? Can we just play against like same trophy count or higher so we can get more? Unlucky. All right, all right. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Why not take a break and try later? Uh, because I want to get it. That's the entire purpose of the stream. I'm not stopping. I'm also, like, not super, super, super tilted to the point that it's unhealthy for me. Trust me, guys. Like, I do this till the point that I want to. 
so do not worry. Like you, you guys see how motivated I am. This is like uh, when I really, really want something in life, or when I really want something, I get it. Like I'll, I'll try. Like I, I have that internal drive. So just I don't know. Like uh, again, don't project your feelings onto me. Um, this is myself knowing myself and knowing what I'm capable of and what I want to do. But yeah, uh, like when we see a lot of people like worried about it, I understand. Sure, that's cool, but also I don't want to see that flooding my chat. I want to see like, you know, comments, suggestions, different stuff than the same thing like take a break or whatever because I don't want to see that anymore. Why'd you lose? I didn't play as well as I should have in the other games. I lost a lot of games because I didn't play well. That last game, um, I think I could have played better in one as well. Not easy. It's a really tough matchup. Level 15 Hog Rider kind of shreks when they have uh, like that level of card. When they have a lot of high level costs, when they have a lot of high level cards into a bomb tower and they're able to earthquake and then the giant skeleton stays alive, you're kind of screwed. Pretty pretty impossible to win. It is possible if you're just like way, way, way better than everyone. But I was better and I still wasn't enough. Um, why don't you just upgrade the Musketeers? Uh, I don't want to upgrade the cards. I could upgrade the cards and easily get it, but like, that's part of the point of the entire process. I said this again, say it right now for the last time. Whenever I am doing these type of challenges, I want to be representative of like the actual meta and what it could be like for you guys if you're running with level 12 cards until level 15 players. Like, it's really hard, but it's possible. You can do it. And obviously, like, for you guys, I would level up the cards a little bit more than this, most of the time. Then you have a bit of an easier time. Instead of running like level 12 cards into, into a Royal Giant. Like the Royal Giant thing, I think like, realistically, I also could have won a lot of these games earlier. Like the game that I lost against the Mega Knight player when I hard countered him, um, like with my deck, not necessarily the matchup or the uh, card levels, um, I should have won that. He also played a lot better than everyone else. That Mega Knight player that we lost to, I played better than him at the start, but it wasn't good enough. He needed to play better. All right, yeah. All right, please. please, please, please. No minor poison. No royal giant. No hog rider fast cycle log deck with level fifteen hog rider earthquake. That's what we're hoping for. Do you ever uh, play chat recommended probably scuff decks or videos? Uh yeah, I do it for YouTube uh, streams actually. If you check out my stream last time, I think I did do uh, viewer requested decks. Oh no. All right, we have to play so well right now. I'm not going to read, guys. I'm going to focus. All right, so we want to go for recruits counter with firecracker right down the middle so that it's able to hit most of the recruits. If they fly machine, we ice spirit immediately. Tombstone. All right, this is decent. Ice spirit pulls everything back. Tombstone doesn't pull the skeleton barrel, and then we can go for goblin barrel as well. Activates king, probably. No, he doesn't. Really, really, really interesting ghost. Terrible freeze. We're up so much. If only we could steal the freeze. We're up like 2,000 damage. They're going to have Evo Recruits probably, so... <sighs> it's going to be tough. I mean, Evo Recruits, again, it's not actually that bad if it's freeze. It's probably going to be Lumberjack Balloon Freeze, to be honest. So let's fight, cycle our Firecracker and hold our Bomb Tower. It's definitely Lumberjack Balloon Freeze. Or something like that. Something scummy. Oh, they actually have this. That's not good. For me. I have to stop the charge. And then we can go for a firecracker. If I can somehow stop this Inferno Dragon from hurting me, then I'm okay. Perfect defense. I've done anything better than that. That was really, really good. Skeleton Barrel gets pulled by a Tombstone, and then he activates King Tower if he d doesn't play this like a fool. He's playing this like a fool. Tombstone should have been middle. We want to go for Skeletons a little bit earlier than that, so then we have more time to kill the Ghost. But it's fine. It worked out really well because the Ghost was damaged from the Firecracker Evolution. So we're going to go Goblin Barrel first, then we're going to drop our Ice Spirit. Reason why we don't go for our Ice Spirit first is because it dies to the tower. We get nothing. We get a Freeze and Ice Spirit damage. Okay, so we get like a, a better trade than he got. We're going to go Knight, and we're trying to keep his Elixir low. We don't want him to go for Recruits. We really don't want him to be able to go Recruits. He, he can't afford it. My man's in shambles. He doesn't have anything for the Skeleton Dragon, or Skeleton Barrel. He has to do that. Then Arrow's out of cycle. He literally lightnings on that. This guy is foolish. There's nothing. There's no way he defends that. The way he defends it effectively, at least. 
All right, we can firecracker on top of this. Please keep his elixir low. Let's go. This is a win. Let's go. All right, that's a W. We take these. What is he gonna do? Like lightning on top of a goblin barrel? Honestly, like that'd be pretty funny to watch. We actually won. This is such a nice W. Ooh, maybe not yet. Nah, Bontar pulls. We're fine. Dude, that was such a clean game. Go. So, and then we go Bomb Tower to pull it to the King Tower. Ha! Got him! Let's go, guys! Alright, one win away. One win away. It's been a journey. It's been a journey. We got this. It's been wild. It's been wild. Smurf Blade greater than Tag? Oh, yeah. Smurf Blade is better than me. 100%. He's really, really good at the game. But, yeah. If you guys don't know who I am, I guess like I'll show my main account. Every single season, I finished top 1,000 in the world, or top 1,200-ish. Um, 2,800 trophies last season, 1,100 in the world. So obviously, like the people that I'm playing at Trophy Road, we are a lot better than. Um, so if we lose games, just like understand, like you guys will lose games too. Sometimes you will make misplays. Sometimes you'll be the worst player in a specific game against someone that you're better than if you make misplays, and that happens. That happens. Um, this is casual trophy road and we're sweating very hard because we are running like a lot of level under leveled stuff into pure level 15 a three card disadvantage is pretty massive one card is actually pretty big but a four card or five card level disadvantage is unplayable three three is playable if you're like pro or if you're a lot better than the person but yeah all right let's get it this should be the last game of the day we got this they go goblin barrel counter with the snowball and skeletons we shouldn't take a hit Ice Spirit doesn't reach. He's going to go Princess. We got to snipe it with the Knight. Galton Barrel the right to keep up the pressure. Firecracker, he drops a bait card. Goes in for a Valkyrie. That is Firecracker or Bull. He does hit the Log. Firecracker hits Tower. Snowball here with an Ice Spirit and then a Knight. Usually I wouldn't be aggressively protecting our Firecracker to this extent, but I want to see what we can get here. We should have been able to outcycle the log too, so I can probably go in for a goblin barrel and maybe do a lot of damage. Especially if he doesn't have the right card cycle, like he doesn't right now. We outplayed him really hard because he 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 doesn't realize that we have ice spirit skeleton fast cycle, and he used the log on the goblin barrel, and now he had nothing. So we're gonna wait for the princess to lock, and then we'll use skeletons, and then we're gonna use firecracker skeleton barrel on the right hand side. Even though we're not going towards that tower, we're just trying to force elixir there. We're forcing him to log it. He has to log it. Yep, nose card cycle. Now he has to go Goblin Barrel to try to recoup his damage. And we'll Snowball it for a plus one trade. A little bit further back, we adjusted our Snowball for it. We didn't want to get finessed. He might Princess of the River to try to get more damage. If he Fire Spirits, we could Ice Spirit on it. And then we soak up the damage. Then it also secures the Princess Shot too. So we Body Block for one Princess Shot. Now we go Goblin Barrel. He doesn't have Log and Cycle. He has the Valkyrie in front. We Firecracker it. This is so good. This is what we needed. We forced a Tesla! Oh, that Valk? Ah, it kind of kills everything. Alright, if he princesses, I kind of have to, like, firecracker on it, but it's kind of scuffed. Go this, so then it, the princess targets that. I hit the fire spirit, right? Did I kill the fire spirit? I killed the Fire Spirit with the Snowball! Wait, I think that was better. I'm not sure. You guys tell me the calc. Does the Fire Spirit do more damage than a Goblin Stabby Stab? Someone let me know. Alright, we can't get excited right now. All right, we messed up his fire spirit that he was planning on using. Here. Again, we don't have like the best answer to the Valkyrie uh, plus Princess stuff, so I'm just going to do this.
Firecracker just dies, right? Why is he doing that? Does he not realize it's not going to take his tower? However, <laughs> he uses log so we can skeleton barrel. I think we get it. I think this is it. The final countdown. Da -da -da -da. Please. 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 Yes. Let's go. <laughs> we did it. Finally. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> this is excitement and pain infused in one for maximum fun. Wow. Oh my goodness. That was a total journey. New arena reached. Guys, I love you. Thank you for being here with me on this journey. We persevered through the pain. We finished at four hours and 40 minutes. Insane. So definitely like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more daily content on the channel. And also, you know, stay connected because every single time that there are these new tournaments and stuff like that, I do showcase how to win them. Believe it or not, it's very easy for me to win those. It's also easy for me to play on top ladder. It is very difficult to play an underleveled ladder when you are down so many card levels and getting tough matchups when you're already down. So I have the utmost respect for everyone that is underleveled in Clash Royale. It is a very tough experience especially when you're playing against level 15 cards with evolutions that are broken. The evolutions that are broken accentuate the lead that the opponent gets. Like if Evo Skeletons stay alive because you can't kill them with your NATO and then they kill your tower, it's just like a horrible feeling. <laughs> so that's, that's one of the reasons why it can be tough. But yeah, definitely like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more daily content. Check out the pinned comment because it will have a playlist of all of the arenas before this. The other arenas were a little bit easier and pretty fun. Um, this one was, was spicy and difficult, so... Check that out. Arena 19 will be in the pin comment and a playlist showcasing all of these games and all of the arenas are in the playlist comment. Yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Peace. Good luck in the rest of your days. And uh, yeah, you know, it was it was definitely a journey. Let me know down below in the comment section what you guys uh, are playing and where you guys are going to be at. Stay connected for the next session where we push to Arena 22. We're going to be going from Clash Fest to Arena 22. If you stay subscribed, you guys will get notified when we do it. It was a wild stream. <laughs> and I can't imagine what the next part of the stream will be like either Smurf Blade. I don't know. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a journey pushing from 8,000 trophies to 8,500 with like level 13 and 14 cards. Maybe. And maybe I'll level some up. Maybe I'll have to level up my bomb tower level 13. I probably will. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Peace.